Good morning, jewellery makers, and happy Monday to you. And happy Monday to you, lovely Debbie. Hello. I look really short. Someone's put this chair down oh. a bit. Oop. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. We're both the same height. Now. That was brave. <laughs> that could have gone it? wrong. <laughs> could have gone terribly wrong. Oh, that would have brightened up everybody's Monday morning, I think, wouldn't it? <laughs> How are you doing? Um, hopefully you're well. Hopefully you had a nice weekend. Did you have a nice weekend? Very nice, thank you. Yeah. Good. Did you have a nice um, Mother's Day yesterday? I did. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. I spent Aww. it with the kids and Clemmy. Oh, how gorgeous! So it was very nice. How lovely as a mum and a grand and a grandmum. That's it. There you go. Gorgeous. Good morning, Dan. He's on cameras this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Look at his lovely luscious locks all just flowing down his back. Yeah. Uh, we've got Neary Nunu. He's going to be producing the show today. There he is. Ho, ho, ho. We've got production manager Ali here directing. Hello. It's behind you. And uh, we've also got Kinga. She's back from Poland. Yay. So that means we actually do have the wall of fun today, which is a relief for everybody. Because uh, nobody else knows how it works, to be fair. Uh, but anyway, um, let us know how you are. We'd love to hear from you today. We've got an amazing show for you today. 12 o'clock hour is all about tools. Yes. My serious, passion. Serious amounts of tools coming up in the 12, aren't there, Debbie? And finally, we can actually stretch rings with gemstones in. So this is absolutely amazing for stretching your rings that have got the gemstones in without yeah, damaging yeah, yeah. the ring. We've got charm necklaces. Oh, in the nine, they're yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, that's 9 a.m. So, you know, get some, you know, the charms. I've got charms from years ago. You can add the old and the new. That was the idea. Really, really lovely. So those are your nine o'clock kits, which are absolutely gorgeous. Um, we've got a brand new gemstone launching uh, in the 10 o'clock hour. It is Highlight Opal. Uh, we've got launching in the uh, 10 o'clock with Dave. That's going to be really exciting. Beautiful gemstone. Um, we've also got Grandidiorite. Amazing, amazing, amazing showcase of Grandidiorite coming up in the 11 as well. This is your early bird special I love this i'm in love this is black rutal quartz it's going to be coming up in this hour as your early bird special um all of these items in the eight are only going to be available for the next hour they're going to be um disappearing at 9 a.m so make sure you get as many pieces as you can everything from uh taipei green burmese jade out cubes we've got all oh, the gorgeous interchangeable necklace we've got a gorgeous celestial connector we've got malachite we've got gorgeous um oh that enormous labradorite sphere uh loads of spacer beads we've got a bangle we've got sliding class bracelets spiny oyster turquoise absolutely beautiful black diamonds um, yeah, so all of that. Add as much as you uh, uh, to your order as you like. These are all kind of ones and twos left in stock. Um, and at 9 a.m. it's all going to disappear. So get them as quickly as you can. Take a little look at those. Stacking. Aren't they things. stunning? Oh, yes. Love, love, love. You could claw set those then. But, you know, when they sit proud, that would be so beautiful. Letting Absolutely. the light come in underneath. I love, love Black Rutilating Quartz. This is absolutely gorgeous. That's going to be coming your way in this hour. It's such a gorgeous collection. Uh, before we do anything, though, let's go to the Wall of Fame and see some of your incredible designs. <laughs> So let's start off with number 484. It's Diane Dubois. Ooh, what, what a, a name. name. Gorgeous. Hello. Oh, um, that fight. That's very, that's old school having the date in the corner of the thing, isn't it? That's all right. Doesn't matter. Um, so hello there. Uh, here's a make I did this week. It's made with gold colored lava rock and sea beads. Sea glass is from a local beach here in Jersey. Oh, wow. Diane, that sounds gorgeous. Wrapped with gold wire. Hope you like it. Not sure about them. Good luck to everyone. I think you've done an amazing job, Diane. Yeah, they're lovely. I love it with those pops of colour that you're getting there as well. Yeah. They're big pieces of sea glass you've got there. That's really impressive. Vera Barini, your number 485, my lovely. 
Oh, it's a picture of a doggy next to that necklace. I didn't, I just noticed. Hi, JM crew and viewers. I was commissioned to make some cufflinks using malachite and JM Carney delivered by stocking a pack of four cabs of varying sizes. I bought two sets and my client is over the moon. The base of the cufflink was from my stash. Uh, keep on making everyone because we love jewelry maker. Oh, Vera, you are so sweet. Gosh, they are professional. Those are, aren't they? Oh. Really professional. How gorgeous. Um... Anne Clark, your number 486. After watching Mark's uh, tutorial, I made this long line necklace with Ato black agates, uh, Ato's black agates and Chex uh, glass beads, all from JM. Good luck to my fellow offers and thanks to JM for the wonderful products and inspiration. That's from Anne. How gorgeous is so that? So pretty. I love the colours. Beautiful colours, aren't they? Really lovely. I do love those Heshies. They're wonderful. Gorgeous. Thank you for that. So I've got 487 and that's Deb Briggs and it says, Hi all at JM, please find attached my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. Why on earth have I, have I never thought of this? This is my rook piercing and since I've had it done, I've never been able to get a bar or hoop small enough. They all either hang too long or they stick out. Today I decided to make a hoop, so I got out my sterling silver wire and I made a hoop, approximately three to four millimetres, and it fits perfectly. What a great idea. I love it when my brain works. The others aren't made by me. I hope you like it. Lots of love. And that's Deb Briggs. Thanks, Deb. Awesome. Very good. What love a great that. idea. Good ear furniture, I think they're called. <laughs> ear adornments. It's, it's an ear party. It is. It is a party <laughs> going on in my ear. Gorgeous. Well done. Um, We've got loads coming up in this hour, so just go and have a look at the website. Um, scroll down, look at everything that we've got coming up. It's absolutely, it's looking absolutely brilliant. Shall we get going? Okay, where should we start? Yes, I was going to say to you, can we start with this? We were saying just literally before the show, oh. how much we love this, Gem. Yeah, I've not seen it in a strand. I've only seen it in cabochons, and I just went mad for it and kind of bought everything. But I just absolutely love that. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. What well, we were saying, it's like it's like a holiday. It's a holiday. <laughs> yeah. It's a holiday in a strand. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? You've got here um, an amazing fusion of turquoise and the spiny oyster um, uh, shell. That looks absolutely oh, wow. amazing, doesn't it? Virginia's already taken two. This is great uh, to see. Well done, everybody. Um, it's got that wonderful kind of Native American vibe to it. You've got this really, really beautiful fusion of kind of cool colours and hot tones as well. Um, we, we started off only ever doing cabochons, and it's really exciting that now we're able to bring you uh, strands as well. We bought you a strand of rounds last week. I think that pretty much sold out. Uh, but you're absolutely right, Debbie. Um, really, uh, all of the strands are pretty much sold out. In fact, this is about to sell out. Oh, no, it has sold out. Nancy's oh. taken the last one there. Well done. Oh. 19 99 for beautiful spiny oyster turquoise. Oh, well done, Nancy. It's absolutely beautiful. Such a cool stone. Great for this time of year as well. It's the first day of spring today. Did you know that? Oh. And I the blossom are coming out. I saw some pink blossom this morning because the white usually comes out first. Oh, our it? blossom's almost done, actually, on our ornamental oh, cherry tree. Beautiful. So, yeah, it's almost done, but it's beautiful. Mm. And the magnolias are just about to oh. come out. Love them. Um, right, this is obscene. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Shock us, <with> anyone? <laughs> no, this is a labradorite sphere. This is absolutely amazing. Oh, my word. Oh, nearly can't find a pen that works. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, look mm. at that. Labradorite is such an awesome stone, isn't it? And this, this kind of uh, piece, this kind of quality is going to look absolutely amazing in your home. It's got such an incredible power attributed with it. If you are into kind of feng shui or if you're into the holistic properties that gemstone, uh, 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 gemstones are supposedly uh, meant to have. It's got the most incredible power, this uh, gemstone. This measures 90 to 110 millimetres. You're looking here at, a, at 6, 000, over 6,000 carats of gemstone. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. Beautiful. Hi, gorgeous girls and team JM. Happy Tooltastic Monday. There you go. I like that, Miss Janet. Tools. The 12 o'clock hour <laughs> just needs to be called the tool. Just it, This is the tool emporium. I did an Instagram and I forgot to put this one in because um, it was on my desk. I was playing with it. But it's um, it's a holder. Oh, I can't wait to show you these. Yes. Ring holder, plastic. ring stretcher. Uh, you can uh, ring sizer. Um, uh, solderer. Solderer. <laughs> Holder. -er. I think I just made up a word. I think you did I quite as well. Like it. I, I like that word. Can I Everybody, touch that? yes. <clears throat> touch the sphere. 
with the thing with spheres, I find them very, very relaxing. So that if you're going to do yoga or um, meditation, it's quite nice to have this in the room. Yes, or even hold it. I've got a little um, rose quartz one, and I think I've got a little tiny moonstone, but nothing as big as that. That's amazing. It's huge. It's an absolute beauty. Um, are, we doing, are we doing the black diamonds? Ooh, Come on, let's see this black diamond. Now, these are rondelles. This is a really, really good strand. Sheesh, look at the sparkle on those. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. You know what I want to do with those? Go on. I want to um, Break free. sand cast. <gasps> Can you imagine little yes. tiny black diamonds in um, sterling silver, you know, just doing their own thing, going where they want to go so that you get clusters? Wouldn't that be absolutely gorgeous? I absolutely love that idea, um, uh, Debbie. That would, and to do it with black diamonds. And all that sparkle you would see, and then as you wear it, it would unearth more sparkle. I love that idea. Sand casting, I think it is going to be, it, it, it is, well, it has been very, very popular. I could just, it's got real legs, though, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. It really does. And you never know what you're going to get, which I absolutely love. So you can never get two things exactly the same, even if love you it. try. Love it. And this would be an absolutely beautiful strand to, to pop in there. Oh, how gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. The hardest mineral known to man. Uh, 49 99 Can you believe that? That's absolutely amazing, isn't it? Gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Strand of Jade. I've got, uh, what, the cubes or the rounds? Rounds. Beautiful rounds here of gorgeous jade with that wonderful kind of glossy wet look that you're going to be getting with these. Um, it's that it's that kind of blossom colour. It's the colour that we're seeing at the minute, that really lovely, delicate, delicate tone um, of, um, of, um, of jade. Absolutely beautiful. Here we go. These are your six mil uh, rounds that you're going to be getting here today. Absolutely perfect for so many of the things we've got coming up today, including... Look, these beautiful, this is coming up in this hour, by the way. Look, this was a deal of the day a few weeks ago. Look, this beautiful little pendant pack with um, three different stones, interchangeable. You get the pinch bales with these as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Look, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? Yeah, so you've got the pinch bales coming up. Um, uh, this would work absolutely beautifully with these. Also, look, we've also got shell pearl coming up in this hour as well, if you want to kind of put it for something um, uh, uh, round, but, you know, slightly different tones, you absolutely can do. Gorgeous. 99.99, not your deal today. Oh, nice recording. That's really, really lovely. Closed at 99.99. Also, sliding class bracelets coming up. Anything that you want to add onto your order, please just get them now. That in the middle of a sliding class bracelet. Oof. Absolutely perfect. Gorgeous. Here we go. Here's your deal. $34.99. Well done, everybody. 0800 644 Well done, everybody. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done. £34.99. Well done. Go, 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 go. Absolutely superb. This closed at £99. I love this size in the jade. Mm. I've got a lot of the larger ones and then I've got a strand of these as well and they're great for putting in between the larger beads. They're great for adding in to it, pearls if you just want one here and there. Oh, nice, yeah. Um, I just think it's a really great size. Yeah, and of course, you can, the, the, the beauty of a six mil is you can make it into a bigger bead if you want to do things like um, uh, beaded beads yep. with it or if you want to do your bubble star yep. pieces with it, you can really kind of make it, you know, get a really big look from it as well. Ala, well done to you as well in Surrey. Great to see you. Time for um, the what, sorry? Cubes. Oh, these are Ooh. gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Ghostbusters, what do you want? Here we go. Cubes of your jade. Oh, I introduced my youngest daughter yesterday to Big. The oh, movie, the Tom, Tom Hanks, Hanks movie. Oh, that's brilliant. <gasps> Got very excited uh, because uh, she'd never watched it. It's such a great movie. It's a great movie. It stands the test of time, that one, doesn't wonderful. it? Wonderful. Tom Hanks. I love Tom Hanks. Got, so do I. Just the most wonderful man. Um, these are enormous. These are eight millimetre. They look bigger than that, by the way. Eight mil type A green Burmese jade cubes. Oh, my gosh. Do you know what I love about this, uh, Debbie, is when you get a gemstone which is so beautiful and whimsical, but, you know, ethereal and powerful, and it's in a cube shape, it's in that really regimented, yes. equilateral kind of geometric shape. It's so, it just go. it's just that lovely contrast is wonderful, isn't it? It just adds to it. And I love taking one of these on a ball uh, pin and just putting it on the end of a little bit of chain for an earring oh. or a pendant, or you can actually do tassels with these as well at different, oh. different, um, 
lengths. How lovely. And I just, it's something unusual, very unusual, isn't it, when it's a cube? $29.99, anyone? Ooh. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh my gosh, we're going lower. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Um, right, get this now. Add it to your basket now as quickly as you can. That is absolutely amazing. I can't believe it. We're about to take this even lower for you today. Go, 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 go. Wow. Dawn Makeup. Paula's got two in a basket. Check out when you can, my lovelies. Well done. You could make dice. If you're into your gem, um, if you're into your... Um, kind of etching or carving you absolutely could have a go to try with one of them you've got plenty of them to have a you know you know if it doesn't if it doesn't necessarily work out exactly how you wanted it to tessa lorna maker well done to you uh, warwickshire's there well done to you as well paula in greater london still with multiples in her baskets well done maker as well loads of you there 19 pounds 99 wow oh i didn't see that it's too busy looking at the cubes that's good is that jadeite that is is it? Quite an exceptional price. Okay, wow. 420 carats of jadeite. And I tell you what's so nice about this as well. It's that lovely sage green, isn't it? It's that really yeah. lovely sagey colour. Gary, Tracy, Lorna, Dawn, Maker, Cheryl Ann. Do you know what? A lot of people who've come through to get one are now coming through to multi buy. Dawn, are you going to get another one? Uh, we've also, oh, yeah, she has. She's got two now. Well done to you. Cheryl Ann, well done to you, my lovely. Tracy in Norfolk, well done. You're through. That's great to see. Um, Gloucestershire's through. That's great. Well done. Another maker. Another maker. Suja Joan. Is it gone? That does not surprise me at all. For 20 quid, that is unbelievable. Unbelievable, That's Jeff. Very good. Wow. I do have a strand oh. of angelite. Go on, I'll let you hold this one. It's, I don't, I, there's something about angelite. Totally, totally agree with it's you. It's that word again, ethereal. Yep. There's something so ethereal about angelite. Yep. Just even like my daughter's really drawn to it as well. Like she's just turned 16, but I don't, I, you can see why it gets its name, can't you? I love it. Because of it's just, I find it very calming, very relaxing. Absolutely exquisite sometimes you just feel something don't you um i, yeah. I um, sometimes when i give my um when i give my daughters a, um, a cuddle you really feel that kind of trans that kind of transfer of energy that 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 love it's yeah. just it's just so powerful isn't it it's wonderful what's to say that a gemstone can't give you that what's to say that you you know who's to say that you can't kind of experience the same thing with a color or with the stone the color i have to say although it's intense it's a sleepy yes. daydream kind of blue isn't it it's absolutely Absolutely gorgeous. That's a great description, um, sleepy. And of course, it is the first day of spring today. It's the spring equinox, so that's absolutely brilliant. I think it's something like the sun is not going to set until after six o'clock until October. Yay! There you go. That is something to really get out of bed for this morning. That's amazing. Well done. Amazing. How much? Oh, good, 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 good. That's a great price. $9.99 for Angelite. Stretchy, so you can look and just fiddle and have them on your wrist, and I just... Love that. This is never $9.99. This is never nine. This is this is never $9.99. This should this should be $49.90. This is amazing. Paula, Susan, Carol, and Patricia. And do you know what? Everyone who comes through to get this today, do think back on this and think, I bought that on the first day of spring, 2023. <laughs> Feels like the longest winter, doesn't it? And it's just so such a wonderful um uh start to I think one of the most exciting seasons um, uh, uh, of the year, you know, when everything starts to wake back up. Yeah. We've seen a couple of lambs this weekend. Yeah. It's been, just been gorgeous. New beginnings, exactly. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, look at this. This is lovely. This is from oh. Angela. Hello. To celebrate the first day of spring, I thought I would share a photo of my magnolia tree from last year. We think it's over 50 years oh, and stunning in April. Do you know what? Um, I, was, I was saying just yesterday, we've got a load of houses around by us with, with magnolia trees and they're all, they're, they're not at that, they're not at that kind of stage yet. They're a little bit before that. They're not completely in bloom yet, but I reckon within the next couple of weeks, they will be. The, the sad so. thing is, is they only bloom for what? A couple of weeks yeah. that's it and then and then they just lose all the loot lo yeah they cause a horrible slippery mess on the floor don't they <laughs> darn it um <laughs> you would have thought with every with all the genetic modification now you'd be able to make a magnolia tree that didn't drop its petal oh, i don't know i don't know maybe not anyway 9.99 well done everybody gorgeous um another message coming through um do message in your first signs of spring i spent yesterday uh all day in 
in-depth cleaning in oh nice deep clean lovely uh cleaning everything up and downstairs every cupboard everything and warm myself out feels <laughs> good though do you know what and when you go to bed you literally feel like your house is lighter, don't you? Yeah, you yeah. Like the house it's a good just, feeling. Oh, it's definitely like that. Feeling. It's a great feeling. Yeah, it's just like decluttering is quite um, feng shui as well, isn't it? Very positive. I've got a um, I've got a cupboard at home. You know, one of those corner cupboards where it kind of swings out. Oh yeah. And there is a and there is a and there is a and there is a a bag of um, rice that split. I think it was before oh, Christmas, no. and it's kind of just all there. And I'm like, I'm, I really must do that. <laughs> I really must do that. It's the cupboard's rice. I have this absolutely stunning piece. It sits on my fireplace on a wire work stand. Oh, Miss Janet, you're talking about the um, you're talking about the Labradorite, aren't you? Amazing. Can't believe I've got a cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> a corner cupboard. Dawn and Nancy. Anne's got two. Elaine's got two. Cynthia's got two. <laughs> Denise has got two. Carolyn's got two. Well done to you. Absolutely amazing. Well done, everybody. Uh, gorgeous at just $9.99. That is just an amazing, amazing, amazing deal. Text us, what are your first signs of spring? Have you noticed any signs over the weekend? Maybe, maybe it was that great big kind of uh, yellow thing in the sky which has made a return. <laughs> What's what, it called what again? Is, I think it's called the sun. Ah. I bought. I, I went to Poundland yesterday. I bought one of those half coconuts with the kind of suet in it oh, yeah. and the seed. Hung it on the tree outside, hoping, hoping we're going to get some birds on there. Hi, ladies. I heard a chiff chaff. A chiff chaff calling for the first time oh. this year. Says Rachel. I don't know what a chiff chaff is. It's a little bird. Little oh my gosh! One. It's a beautiful little yeah, bird. Yeah, he's beautiful. Oh. Oh, hello. He's gorgeous. I've got a gold crest in my in my head at the front, which is about that big. Oh, with a little gold oh, kind of that's hat. So cute. So beautiful. Very cute. My next door neighbour is very jealous. But uh, <laughs> there we go. Rutilated quartz. Ollie's done the most beautiful recording of this collection of stones. Um, <laughs> It is absolutely gorgeous, and it's your early bird special. I think we do collections of gemstones so well. Sorry, say again. I think that we do collections of gemstones like this so well. I've got loads of these. Parcel. Because then when you want to make something, you can just go into your like gemstone drawer or box or whatever, and it's we're so competitive to other people who can charge for one what we charge for our to whole box for. To have the, the, the quality of what you're getting there and the amount and the carat weight and the, and the caliber of the stones. Yeah. You're absolutely right. And of course the price that we're gonna be taking these down to, it is an early bird um, special. So we're gonna be taking it down to the most amazing price point for you today. I can't wait, I cannot wait. It's one of my all time favorite gemstones. Um, and we'll talk about why that is kind of when we come to play them, but it's coming up in this app, only available for an hour though. That's it, so get them now ahead of time. I saw my first uh, my first cam camellia. camellia flower yesterday. I can't think what a camellia looks like. I don't know. That's very exciting. Oh, Cleopatra pearls. We're doing these ones. No. Oh gosh. Oh, hang on. Oh, is this part of it then? Oh my gosh. Do you get all of those? Oh, I, it looks like you do. What apricot freshwater, from? dyed silver, ombre freshwater cultured rice, white freshwater cultured keshi, white freshwater cultured potato, white... What on earth is going... They are huge. Oh, look at this ombre strand. Oh, oh my funny. gosh, look at that. I love that... What kind of... How would you describe that? That kind of grey is not right. Silvery. Isn't that beautiful at the top? Bluey silver, isn't it? I love isn't that it? Color. That is absolutely, look at that. It's like a, um, it is a silver. It's a silver, isn't but it? it's got blues in there and yeah. greys and that's beautiful. That is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, the ombre is absolutely gorgeous. You get so oh. much use out of that. I like the purpley ones in the ombre. Yeah. The ones at the bottom. Yeah, look at those. Yeah, those Lime. rice pearls. Yeah. Are, what is it about rice pearls? They're so elegant, aren't they? They're so slender. Yeah and elegant, aren't they? Um, and then you get these gorgeous keshis, which are basically the imprint of the inside of the, um, the mollusk, giving you um, uh, a solid nacre, absolutely 100% solid nacre. This is so impressive. And two strands of seed pearls. <gasps> now that's amazing. These are useful. And I tell you what, they are, they are not inexpensive. 
seed pearls are, are can be more expensive to uh, culture than larger pearls. Reason being is there's more input from the pearl farmer. They're in the mollusk for less amount of time. There's much more at stake. Um, and they have to be bead nucleated absolutely to, to, to such a precise level. Um, these, will have, uh, these will probably have taken less than a year to form. But that in itself means that there is much more work for the pearl farm to kind of tend to the mollusk to make sure that everything's okay. Um, whereas these pearls would have taken, what, two, three, maybe up to kind of four years to form, especially these larger ones here. Such an impressive quality you're getting here. 79.99, that is your price point today on individual split payments of 39 99 that is amazing absolutely got, look at that variety yeah everything that you could want from pearls like For all sure. the shapes including the seed pearls you've got the very kind of expensive high bijou like the jewelers like your, your grandma would wear or my nana used to wear right down to your seed pearls it's sort of every shape that you could wish for yeah absolutely it is you're getting absolutely everything and who was it he was saying the other day? Was it, I wonder whether it was Alison. Maybe it was you. <laughs> Make, no, it's you. Making jewellery that you couldn't afford to buy. Yeah, that was me. Yeah. Mm. But you're absolutely, I couldn't afford to buy a necklace made of no. all of these, you know, twisted together like that. But you're making jewellery that you couldn't afford to buy. Yeah, and I That's just, pretty cool. you know, pearls, especially at the moment, they're so high end. And like on a lot of the designers' websites, you get one or two pearls and they're over 100 Oh, pounds. for sure. And that's for lots of different reasons. Uh, but um, yeah, that, that is, um, that's incredible. That is amazing. Well done. Jade Ring. Oh, I love this saddle ring. Oh, I've this been looking so at this. This is so nice. This is a saddle ring. Um, this is so beautiful. Saddle rings are really, really popular. They normally come to you in kind of gold or silver. They're normally precious metal. Very rarely do you get a full gemstone version of this. Um, I, I thought when we first played this, it looked like a seal ring as well. You know, something that you'd kind of put your own uh, kind of seal onto. This is so lovely. It's so comfortable to wear, by the way. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I love the way those kind of top plates are kind of slightly wider. They sit just kind of over the top of either finger, um, on, on the finger either side. Such a lovely full jade ring that you're going to be getting here. Um, believe it or not, it's $29.99. I know. It? Yeah. We launched this as an early bird I believe it was a few weeks ago and there's literally only a few opportunities available that is it uh 29 pounds 99 pence don't you just love the shape of that Debbie I'm very into huge rings oh, nice. I think that's such a statement they're really coming in for spring summer 23 as well the large gemstone rings and I think this it just makes such a statement to have like just on your hand maybe it's the only piece of jewelry that you're wearing yes nice lovely and I just think to be able to get it i wasn't at all expecting you to say that genuinely 29.99 no well I, well I think actually when we launched this we weren't expecting you to take it down to that price no. we just did and also can i just say as well if you know if you find that um uh it, it you know it's going to be a little bit too large a little bit too small then as a pendant it's absolutely beautiful oh, you know yeah. if you wanted to dangle chain from there you know what however you want to use this just just go for it it's, it's a beautiful it's a beautiful uh, piece on its own. It really is. And you can choose whichever way around to wear it. It's really nice like that, for instance. Um, but it's entirely up to you. Ooh, yeah. Just gorgeous. Look at the thickness of that band. And a it's thumb incredible. ring as well. As a thumb ring. I Absolutely. Like thumb ring. I do love a thumb ring. Yeah. Really dead comfortable um, uh, to wear. Twenty nine ninety nine. doesn't say what the size is, does it? Does it say what the size is, Neary? Did, sorry, Livy. Does it say what the size is? What size would that be? I don't, I don't, it doesn't say. N to O. Ah, right, okay, so yeah, size is N to, no. Mm. No, no this great. comes in one size. This comes in one size, I remember. It, it's a size nine, R to S, I believe. I believe, oh gosh. You've got your 30-day money-back guarantee. Um, you know, you know, sometimes we're kind of between sizes, sometimes, you know, if you've got, um, uh, rheumatoid arthritis as well your kind of your finger sizes will change mm -hmm. or kind of the you know you know you want something which is really nice and comfortable to wear this is one of those pieces absolutely but please you know use your 30 day money back guarantee um speaking of something quite unbelievable you know we've got this gorgeous ring but we've actually got the most amazing star by now i can't quite believe we're doing this in the eight o'clock hour this feels <laughs> very wrong but feels very very right and i feel very very fortunate to be able to bring this to you we have got the last few and i do mean few remaining strands of the cleopatra pearls star by
<clears throat> what I want you to do is appreciate, actually now I'm going to start here because just look at the delicacy of these. They are adorable pearls you're going to be getting here. Absolutely stunning. Graduated right up. <gasps> oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? Look at that. It's a bit special, that strand, isn't it? Love. Love that. Top drilled with that beautiful little kind of kiss at the top of each one of these pearls. It's beautiful. My gosh. The depth of colour you're getting here. That lovely ivory kind of tone. <gasps> Have a look at this PowerPoint. Oh, my gosh. Take me there. Oh, look at that. That's your Japanese sea. Oh, my gosh. You're getting 105 pearls on each strand. You're looking at round about two years to grow each pearl on the strands. So that's accumulatively over 200 years, 210 years of growth. These are um, made, uh, cultured in oysters, <clears throat> which are taken out the sea every 10 days to clean them, to get rid of any kind of barnacles or algae. Um, and what's so cool about that is it gives you a better quality, a healthier mollusk and a healthy, a healthier oyster, a healthier pearl, a better looking pearl. You know, if you've got mollusks which are under stress or haven't been cleaned regularly, they're not going to be making decent pearls. These are absolutely top, top, top quality. And with regards to kind of drilling them, and then stringing them, it's only entrusted to third generation pearl stringers uh, to work with this, uh, to, to kind of make a strand like this up. This is as good as it gets. Um, oh, now there's a, a lovely, lovely image here of Cleopatra. And you can see she's wearing pearls and these are, this apparently is how she loved her pearls to be strung. Um, you've got here, yeah, Baroque's, Koyas, basically exactly as they came out of the oyster. Um, and you've got here a lovely Renaissance painting. Who's the dude at the back? He's, he's, looking, he's looking pleased with himself. Um, you've got a delicate graduation, natural, brilliant luster, incredible skill to drill the pearls as well. When you're, when you're looking at pearls like this, you're looking at pearls of really exceptional caliber and quality. Um, and pearl drillers, people who work with these pearls, who have to work with the larger baroques and the smaller ones as well. These absolute little babes down here, which are just gorgeous. Ladies, outstanding pearls, so different. I guess they're difficult to drill so close up to the, uh, to with the fear of loss. Absolutely. When you're drilling closer to the top of the kiss, that kind of point of the pearl, um, it's an incredibly difficult thing to do. Don't forget, pearls are reasonably, although they're very durable, they're reasonably soft. It's an organic gem. It's not a gem stone. So to drill it and get it wrong, the, the, the risk is very, 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 you know, the odds are stacked against you. Mm. What does 210 years of growth mean if they're growing for two years? There's 105 pearls. So collectively, you're looking at over 200 years worth. Um, now... There's a lot of work, there's a lot of time, there's a lot of effort that, have, that has gone into this incredible strand of pearls. It's absolutely beautiful. Would you want to use all of these together, Debbie? I yeah. mean, for me, I think it would be yes. a travesty not to. Absolutely. Just the way they sit together. They've obviously been very loved in, in the way that they've been cultured. Yes. Um, I just think that... You know, I like having a story with my jewellery and I think mm. this adds to the story to tell somebody about the history so that every time somebody admires the pearls, they can tell the story to go with them. Um, it's a legacy, isn't it? It's passed down. It's If you don't know what to do with it now, pop it in, in your special box and, you know, for a special birthday or a special commission. It's just stunning. I think, oh, look, you've got 14 seconds and then the graphics are going to be live. We've literally got single figures left. 
I think you're absolutely right, Debbie. When you've got this story, this pedigree, this providence, this stature, this kind of story behind the pearls, to split them up seems like such a shame. They've come this far yeah. and been given this much love and care and attention. But to split them up now would be such a shame after everything they've been through. £129 on individual split payments of £64.50. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, uh, now when uh, we bought these to wear for the very first time with Charlie Barron, he said he would not change uh, this at all. All he would do would just be to re-strand it onto, onto a stronger um, uh, threading material. Um, and we launched them at 149. And you know, that, that, that really would be it. I think it would be such a shame to kind of start taking these off the strand and using them in other pieces, unless you're gonna be making earrings uh, to go with the necklace or you know, a bracelet to an earring set or you know, whatever it might be. But I think keep the pearls together. 129 pounds for you today on individual um, split payments of 64 pounds 50. That means that each one of these pearls is one is just over one pound twenty <laughs> each, and that's taken years and years to grow. Dedicated quality, and um, and you know, an, um, 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 a, a mollusk that has been cared for like a thoroughbred racehorse. It's absolutely crazy. It's the first time I've seen the Cleopatra stand properly. It's so delicate and pretty. It's unlike anything else we've ever done, isn't it? The colour is unlike anything else we've ever done. It's as close as I've seen to your um, to your actual natural pearls, i.e., the you know, if you ever get natural pearls that people kind of dive for, oh, yes. it's that kind of it, it's described. It's, it's it's not a very nice way to describe them, but it's called a chicken soup uh, yellow, and it's <laughs> this and it's but that's exactly what it is. It's that lovely ivory colour. It's that nat. It's yeah. Close to a natural pearl colour as you're ever going to get. It's just beautiful. And it is naturally coloured, by the way. It hasn't been dyed to make it look this buttermilk kind of colour. It is completely and utterly natural. But it's as close as you're ever going to get. It's beautiful. Um, well done. How many do we have left, Neri? Five opportunities remaining. That is it. Well done to everyone joining us this morning. Don't forget, all these, de uh, all these deals are going to disappear at um, 9 a.m. So well done to everyone coming through. That's absolutely gorgeous. Go, 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 go. Well done. Okay. Beautiful elephant. Um, carved out of jade. <gasps> Look. Isn't... Oh, I've got this one. I've got this one. Oh, do you? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I just, I love him. And he's on the bottom of a, a long line necklace with pearls and just occasional jade beads. He's beautiful. He's wrinkly and lovely. I... <clears throat> <laughs> Here we go. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Off he goes. <laughs> Oh, I'm out of practice. I used to do those noises all the time to my kids. This is beautiful. Little drill hole here if you want to use it, but don't feel free that you have to. My grandpa used to collect um, ele elephant um, little figurines. He was massively into feng shui, and towards the end of his life, he kind of did lots of incense and kind of had everything placed just so to uh, welcome the energy into the room. How it was just cool. absolutely. His name is Hatha. He was named after a type after Hatha Yoga. Oh wow! And, uh, you know, this was kind of his parents were kind of hippies back in the kind of late 1800s. It was crazy, That's really bonkers. What a story. Uh, but really into kind of, um, <clears throat> can I put him where? Would he, what, sound like that? <laughs> I don't think you get an elephant sounding like that. Anyway, um, but he's absolutely beautiful, isn't he? And he just, I love his trunk. He's like trumpeting. He's just beautiful, isn't he? You meant having him facing into the room or out the room? Don't know. I don't know either. I've I wish I knew. very into feng shui, but I do love my elephants. I take my granddaughter <clears throat> to see elephants at the safari park. And they were, I mean, I know they were actually playing the baby ones and climbing on top of each other and sitting up like you just did oh, with that carving. Oh, no, how gorgeous. And I just, I love the wisdom of an elephant and the symbol. They're, they're such wonderful animals, a, a symbol of family, strength, um, stoicism, um, incredible memory as well. Yeah. Um, 39.99, Julie, oh. Aleph, Maker, Shirley, Emma, Teresa, well done to you. What a great deal. Such a lovely little charm. And do you know what, if you've got 
things like this dotted around your house and your grandkids or your kids uh, kind of come over and, 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 and see, you know, your grandkids. I just remember playing with things yeah. like this and this will stick in their mind. And years later, they'll find it and go, I remember that. Yeah. And I love things like that, don't you? It kind of re reignites your imagination. 39.99, well done everyone. Shirley through makeup, well done to you as well. Beautiful little elephant. Absolutely little gorgeous. Ellie. Absolutely beautiful. They are lovely animals, aren't they? They're just so humongous, aren't they? It's quite unbelievable. Gorgeous, well done everybody. Um, my, uh, my kids were looking through um, uh, a copy of the Kids National Geographic uh, the other day mm. and um, there was just a whole thing about baby animals, baby oh. hippos. <laughs> Baby, baby hyenas, very cute. Aww. I was like, yeah, but they turn into horrible hyenas. But anyway, yeah, anyway. Um, a request day for what? For what? <gasps> Zircon earrings. Oh, Barbara, you've got an amazing, you've got amazing taste. You really do. These are lovely. We've got the early bed coming up. Okay, here we go. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at this. Sterling silver, white zircon ear. Oh, oh, wow. they're lovely, aren't they? Yeah, they're really lovely. Sterling silver, white zircon earrings, that beautiful white zircon at the bottom. There it is, uh, with your beautiful little soldered loop. I think that's soldered anyway. Yeah, I don't think it's open. These would be amazing for wedding jewellery, wouldn't they? Or oh, occasion jewellery. Absolutely. Absolutely. Really crisp, really simple, beautiful. Um, so let me just pop those. Oh, really? Oh. How gorgeous. Um, in fact, Neri, who's getting married at the, um, um, uh, later on uh, this year in May, not too long no. away, Neri. Mm. Um, his, uh, get me on a plane. Uh, his mum was looking at these earrings just to put a pearl on to, um, to make earrings that for Tom so to wear funny. on his wedding. No, sorry, for <laughs> Sam to wear on, on the, oh, for her mum, for your mum to, oh, earrings for herself. <laughs> I love it. Well done. Look at this. Gorgeous. Uh, so you've got your white zircon here in the beautiful little drops as well. That beaded quality, absolutely beautiful. Like, like the fact you've got those soldered loops there. So anything you hang from there, be it a pearl, whatever it is, you just know it's not gonna, it's not gonna go anywhere. They are so lovely. They look, um, I don't think you'd be able to tell if, you know, they look like diamonds in your ears. Oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah, they do look like diamonds. Uh, 19.99, well done. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So two pairs of earrings there. That's 10 pounds per pair. Uh, per pair of earrings absolutely amazing right early bird special this is going to absolutely fly this is your chance to get a parcel of black rutilated quartz <laughs> Do you, know, do you know something? We can all appreciate pristine gems like those gorgeous white zircons. We can all appreciate clarity and a blank canvas and one color and consistency. We can all appreciate that. But I like to appreciate sometimes in life the things which are a little bit different, the things which are a little bit more rebellious, that go against the grain a little bit more. And when it comes to gemstones, I literally cannot think of any other gemstone which that applies to more than this next stone. This is black rutile quartz. It is in my opinion, it is one of the most interesting, most beautiful, most charismatic, most rebellious, if a gemstone could be rebellious. This is like the James Dean of gemstones. <laughs> it's just so, it's so cool. It's just, it, it is, is cool. absolutely beautiful. Look. <gasps> I can't think of anyone I know who wouldn't appreciate that. It's just all of the different sizes just the faceting the shapes you can wow. see so many designs in your head that you could do with this parcel of gemstones well you imagine you make a gorgeous engagement ring and it's got a beautiful clear aquamarine and you know great clarity it's got a beautiful diamond in and then you think about making that same ring but using a black rutile quartz mm. that's edgy that's seriously cool that's got that's got real kind of 
grit to it. It's beautiful. And I think maybe that's why I love gemstones like Herkimer diamond, Herkimer quartz so much as well, because it's got that same kind of, ooh, it's just, it's just a little bit different. And I think the same applies to things like art. You know, you think of the great artists, you know, beautiful artwork and, you know, lots of people who love impressionist art, love Monet, or they love, um, you know, um, 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 or they love uh, Constable, and they're very aesthetically pleasing pieces. But I just want to show you the slide here, because this is what this gemstone reminds me of. It reminds me of Lowry's sketches. It reminds me of Jackson Pollock. It reminds me of all of that, kind of all of those energies in different directions. And it's, it's just so, I find that really exciting to look at. It's just really, yeah. it's just got loads of character, lots going on. Um, it doesn't play by the rules, does no, it? No, it doesn't. It's very contemporary. And I follow a lot of independent jewellers from all over the world. And a lot of them are using stones like this, like the Henneke Quartz, this. Yeah. You know, things that you might think are unconventional for fine Well, really. there, there has been a huge, huge um, deal made of uh, salt and pepper diamonds. I don't know if you've seen them over the last kind of few years, but you're absolutely right, mm -hmm. Debbie. Uh, uh, this, this kind of gemstone is, and it's not a resurgence. It's, it's, it, it, you know, it's, it's something which is, you know, a brand new trend. And your salt and pepper diamonds, which sell for hundreds, thousands of pounds in necklaces, rings, because they're diamonds, obviously. And they're just really beautiful, heavily included diamonds. Well, here you've got a variety of um, gorgeous quartz, which has got tourmaline, tourmalated inclusions. Yeah, look at this salt and pepper diamond ring. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. Rectangular rose cut gray salt and pepper ring. Isn't that gorgeous? That's gorgeous. over a gram. It's absolutely I, beautiful. I, I can't the tell the difference. I can't tell the difference. No, neither can I. No, absolutely not. And what's so wonderful about these is they've got like needle inclusions. It's like a sketch, like a charcoal line. Mm. They are so beautifully uh, formed, totally natural as well. I just find it's like it works of art. They really are. They really are. I think they take your jewelry to a next level. They they take it to you know the, you're you're following the trends. Like the, it's very trendy and contemporary to have this sort of stone in your jewelry, but you can do anything with it. I mean, yeah. absolutely anything. You, know, you can make an engagement ring with it. You can make, you know, stacking rings <coughs> with it. And you're going to have something <coughs> a little bit different. I would, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, yes, look at this. Salt and pepper, oh, black rutilated quartz engagement ring. One carat ring. That is a lovely. Do you know what I love about that? Very modern gemstone with a very, very traditional setting. Yeah. That is a, I love those moons, the wrong kind of the other, the absolutely wrong way round almost. Beautiful. That's such a cool piece. That's so me, that diamond. Do you know, and do you know what would be really cool as well? Let's say you use a lot of, I don't know, amethyst in your jewelry. Lots of brightly colored gems, lots of single color gems, lots of chrysoprase or jade. Just try it out. If you've got a, a craft fair coming up this Easter, maybe, if you've got a little craft fair coming up or anything like that, or over the three bank holidays in May, um, then why not just have a little section? Call it the salt and pepper collection. Call it whatever you like. Call it, I, 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 I don't know, call it the rebel collection. You know, whatever you want to do. And just have a little section of jewellery. See what happens. See what sells. See what people's take um, is on it. So put a little card next to it saying, you know, this is a completely natural gemstone. I think... It will fly. In fact, I know it will fly. And I think as well, this is going to appeal to all ages, but I think particularly to, to a younger audience as well, don't you think? Definitely. And people are going to start looking for it this year. They're going to start looking for jewellery with Absolutely. this. Absolutely. So get there first. Yeah. You know, it's the sort of thing that as designers, you tend to look for before you can get hold of it because you've seen it coming. And you yeah. think, I want to make stuff like that. Um, I'm definitely going to get... Um, this if there's any left do you think your do you think your daughter would like this your 16 year old daughter oh, would she like would this love you see look at this they're very different some of them are very 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 heavily included they're not completely black and that's and that's really important when we're sourcing quartz like this we don't want it to be completely solid what you want is you want a bit oh that is superb this is where we should we are celebrating oh, wow. the natural patina, the natural quality of these gemstones. They are absolutely head and shoulders. Look at this. There's oh my gosh. We're at 20 quid. That's amazing. Yeah, we are close to a pound each at this price point already. It's just gorgeous. Um, what about having, I mean, I don't know aesthetically how it would work, but having a round gem in the middle and then two ovals either an oval either side what do you think how could we yeah. recreate that beautiful design we've just seen in that lovely ring with the moons well we've got um moon uh soldable elements almost the same as that we do and i've used them oh. lots of times and some of you will have those elements Look at that. Um, and you could so easily cool. recreate that ring you know obviously inspired by we don't want to copy anybody else's design but inspired by that 
we do have the elements very, very similar to that with the moons. We've got stars as well. Um, and then, you know, have a play with the band. What do you fancy doing with the band? Do you want, you know, even with a plain band, that would look really beautiful. It would, yeah. I think, I, I think as well, you know, you know, we just and we just said how much we love that ring that we've just seen with the back to front moons, and the setting's quite ornate. Um, I don't, even though the setting is very ornate in that design, I wouldn't say that I wouldn't say that it overshadows the gemstone. No, it I doesn't. Think the gemstone is the star attraction, Holds there, the main own. attraction. Absolutely. I love that ring. So I really want that ring. That's beautiful. Um, Twenty-five seconds, and yeah, you've guessed it. We're taking the price down now. In this particular parcel, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16, there's definitely more than that. Two, four, six, eight, 10, tw oh gosh. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. No, there's 16. Gosh, I thought it looks like more than that, doesn't it? 16 of your gemstones in here. That is absolutely beautiful. Do you know what? Stuff it. Let's do a pound each. <laughs> Let's just do a pound each. Why not? This is going to get the gem out there. This is just, this should come with this recording. You should be able to play. This is just beautiful. <gasps> Uh, twelve ninety nine, less than a pound each. Oh my gosh, Neri, that's amazing. Eighty one a pence per piece. That is just and do you know incredible. what's great? I about love it. That, that if you want to experiment with these, you're like, oh, you know, I, I haven't been doing metal smithing for a long time. I'm not sure, or I want to set them in clay, or whatever you want to do. At that price, Look at this. you can have a play and not worry too much. Absolutely. You know, they're not thousands of pounds. I just love. I look at that. That is all natural. It's beautiful. Look. That is, yeah, you're going to see something different every single time you look at that. You'll find your favourite ones. Isn't that just incredible? All those terminations, all those gorgeous terminations. And yet, as light goes into the gemstone, it's going to refract off the, um, the rutilated inclusions on the inside of the gemstone. It's going to bounce back at you at different angles, which means you're going to get that dichroic quality, which means you're going to get that split of white light. You're going to get that incredible, um, you're going to get that incredible um, rainbow as the white light splits. I just find it so interesting. I find it so exciting. I think it's really current. I think it's got real legs. And I think the designs you could make with this, whatever you make with this, is going to look absolutely superb. Just gorgeous, epic qualities. Loads of people multi-buying here. Not surprised. Some will be more included than others. Some will be larger than others. Here you're getting a selection of rounds and, um, and ovals. I'd probably say that's going to be across the board. $9.99. Oh, my gosh. You... You cannot afford to miss out. You can't afford to miss out. This is, an, you have to get this, 62 pence a piece. That is absolutely amazing, isn't it? Each and every one of these is just gorgeous. They are just beautiful, aren't they? Well done. Susan's got two. Iris has got two. Cheryl's got two loads. Victoria's got three. Maker and Conway's got two. Well done to you, Diane. Gloria, Kerry, well done to you as well. Absolutely beautiful. Just take one and just and just and just make it into you know just make that design that you've you know your go-to design whatever it is you know Alison Terry's got you know certain designs that she loves doing I'm sure you've got designs that you love to your mm. kind of go-to designs mm. and then do it with a gem like this and just see just see what happens to the design how does the design change how does the feel change we are so conditioned aren't we to love perfect things which are perfect, things which are flawless, things, nothing is perfect, nothing no. is completely flawless, nothing is, and if it is, it looks fake, doesn't it? Yeah. That's why, you know, we should celebrate gems like this. Love this gem. Thank you for uh, letting us get it. Oh, Selena, absolute pleasure. That is beautiful. I would take that every single day over a flawless diamond. Oh, yeah, definitely. And I love diamonds, I really do, but I would take this every single day. This is like the future. This is ch this is changing at art, fine jewelry, yeah. you know? They're, people are putting fine gold and platinum with this kind of gemstone. You know? Absolutely. You don't have to do that. You can put silver, you can put base metal, and do what you want. But people are doing that. So we're going more organic, we're going more interesting with jewelry. And that's where something like this comes into its own. Okay, so we're taking the price point down in 40 seconds. <laughs> let me just, let me just kind of, you know, we always say, you know, little, little random acts of kindness, little kind of changes will change the world won't they you know yes. hopefully little little things yeah 
We're all conditioned to kind of seek that perfection, that eternal youth. We're all, you know, you know, the media and kind of magazines kind of condition us and condition young people to want that kind of that that kind of yeah. untangible thing, uh, which is perfection. If we can change it, if we can change jewelry one one piece at a time, just by using gems like this with a bit more character, a bit more going on in there than just that perfection. Oh my word, we're on to a winner. I, we really are. Well done. One more price. Here's your deal. Absolutely incredible. You've got about 16, 17 gems in here. It's absolutely beautiful. We can guarantee 10 carats. Um, so these are gonna be so you're gonna be getting. 16, 17, 18 stones, maybe a couple less. It, with this particular pack, it works out to 50p a gem. 50p. Well done to you. I had to buy these. Uh, I like different. Thanks, JM, says Deborah. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? So do I. And it's a real statement as well saying, hey, I love something a bit different. I love this. I, you know, celebrate. Celebrate, and I don't want to call them flaws, but celebrate the additions. Celebrate those mineral inclusions. Celebrate it because um, because it, it just... it. it, it this is what makes the world so interesting, isn't it? It's things like this. Just love it. The only thing you have to worry about is silver, gold, <laughs> rose gold, platinum. What am I going to go with? But I love that design that um, Neri found, that beautiful salt and pepper piece. Just beautiful. Well done. It's absolutely flown out the door. And it makes me so happy that this is going to be going out to so many people. Mm. You're going to be making jewellery, possibly selling it on, introducing people to a new gem they've never heard of, never seen. That is seriously cool, isn't it? Well done. And by the way... This is really good quality black rutile quartz. A lot of it is either devoid of any inclusions or has too many inclusions and you can't actually see any clarity. This is this is the this is that beautiful happy balance, isn't it? That looks like a salt and pepper diamond. Mm, absolutely, absolutely, it does. To me, obviously, yeah. it's my opinion. But enjoy. It, oh. And it's seven ninety nine. That's You're not going to get salt and pepper diamonds for that seen. price. Look at that front yeah, and centre one. I love that one. It's, it's just so good. cool. You know, oh, you, you know, we're on the phone sometimes and you're doodling with a pen. Yeah. It's like that, isn't it? Yeah. It's exactly what it's like. Well done, everyone. Oh, that was really popular. Well done. So happy for everyone. Thanks for that um, little lazy what's it. I don't know how to stop it. I can't stop it. I can't. St oh, it's going the other way now. Right. I'm just going to leave that. Right. Well done. I don't know how to turn that off. Uh, well done. Right. We've got Shell Pearl. Now, um, someone's called these raspberry. They're definitely not raspberry. They are. I'd say more, have I, have I got the wrong strand? Is that what it, no, that's a blueberry. That is a blue blue, we call them in our house, blue blues. Um, it's, it's a black grape, yes, it absolutely oh, is. Oh yeah. Oh. Love the colour, love oh, I it. I bought some grapes the other day. God, yeah, when you get a good bunch of grapes, they're so juicy, right. so lovely. Frozen grapes are nice in your drinks. Um, right, start price. Let's just start off somewhere silly, shall we? <laughs> Let's start off somewhere ridiculous. Let's start off at 9.99. Amazing. 9.99 for your gorgeous blueberry colored shell pearl. I don't know about you, um, Debbie, but for me, this is like a lovely wedding color, either a yeah. bridesmaid, mother of the bride, yeah. maybe. It's a lovely complimenting, um, complimenting tone for so many skin, skin tones and kind of hair colors. Also prom. Oh, I mean, I'm thinking of yes. prom because we were just sorting it for my daughter, but prom, you know, it's a modern take on pearls because it's a different colour. You could put anything, any other colour with that. You yep, could absolutely. really make them traditional or make them trendy. So prom, occasion, special birthday outing, it, it's something that is just adds that colour that you don't often see. Well, silver and gold, I think, you know, are the obvious choices. But then if you wanted to go for something like your Olmec kind of yeah. teal, that would Ooh. really kind of bring something different to the table, wouldn't it? Karen's got two, Muriel's got two, Angela's got two. And of course, with Shell Pearl, we can bring you uh, prices that we can't do with genuine freshwater cultured pearls. Prices which are ridiculous. We're already under a tenner. We're about to go even lower. Ready, steady, go. Crashy, crashy. I know. Carolyn Berkshire, you're there. Well done. Angela's taken four of these. Absolutely beautiful. Yours today. 
for £4.99. <laughs> That's pence. really, really, really good. Can I just show you as well? We might not have a chance to fit them into this particular Ooh. hour, but look, we've got these bad boys, these golden shell pearls coming up as well, um, which, we, which we're going to be playing straight after us. And you've got this gorgeous, gorgeous kind of difference in um, size, haven't you? But they, they, they'd they work really, really beautifully together. Um, also, with your shell pearl, um, a 10 mil round is a 10 mil round, uh, which is lovely. Whereas with your genuine freshwater cultured pearls, you know, there's going to be a little, there might be a few, you know, a millimeter or so difference in the size or in the shape. You know, the, it's not going to be as perfectly kind of consistent, um, but that's OK. That's OK. You know, if that's if, 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 if you want to do your right angle weave, this might be the better strand for you. Well done. Four ninety nine. Let's do the golden ones. Golden pearls. Here we go. Here we go. Very useful, aren't they? Yeah. This little size, so, so useful. Are you going to use them as spacers? Or, you know, if you're making your wire work designs, maybe you're making a tiara or a flower girl tiara or a headpiece with a little yes. um, flower, this would be a great size for your centre mm. rather than just putting a gold or silver spacer bead. Yeah, I, I think you're absolutely right for things like fascinators, brooches, yeah. things like that. Gorgeous, absolutely perfect. Um, also, mm, what did we have the other day? We had some, we had some the other day. I, th I think, you know, if you wanted to bezel around these, um, uh, uh, sorry, no, use these to bezel around a cabochon, something yes. like that, that would be really nice. Bead embroidery, great. Bead though, embroidery, yeah. that was it. With, bead um, embroidery Alison, is yeah. great. Like sometimes, you know, I, I think I did a, a DVD ages ago, which was a bead embroidered animals. I did giraffe and I did um, a giraffe with a butterfly on his nose. And, oh, you know, you always want little oh, ones because you might want it for the eye or the spots or... What's that thing called? French... Beading, French oh, beading. French beading, right. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. So where you make lovely kind of loops or flowers, yeah. things like that. These would be perfect for that. Absolutely. And of course, yes, your bead embroidery. 2 99 for you today. Oh, well done. Great good. is a little stacker, by the way. You know, if you've got bigger kind of gems either side, bigger pieces, and you just need something little on the, you know, in the middle, this is absolutely perfect. 2 99 well done. Maker and Greater London's got four. Victoria, Amanda's got two. Cardiff's got two. Northamptonshire's got two. Andrew and East Sussex has got four. Well done to you. Maker and Merthyr Tidville's got two. Well done to you. Gorgeous. Two pounds and 99 pence. Well done everybody absolutely awesome uh london's got five of these that's just great well done everybody uh gorgeous well done everybody um well done i, I don't know what this is he's just put next to me what is this no it's not are we doing this now i've got something which will go so beautifully with what we've just bought to you i that is amazing um, don't go anywhere. Star by Black Spinel Rounds. Oh my gosh! I, I've never seen these strands before. Are these new, near? I've never seen them. They launched last week. Oh my gosh. These are literally, um, these are incredible. Neary said this morning, he said, you know, what should we do this day, this day? I said, well, what about a spinel show? Because we haven't done black spinel for ages and people always use them as spaces. They're gorgeous. I've got three strands. We're going to play them separately. Just look at that. Isn't that lovely? That's stunning. Let's do the eight mils first. Um, it's so lovely, you know, from holding your, your shell pearl, which is warm, very, very light, to holding your black spinel, which feels... Um, heavy, <coughs> dense, cold. Black spinel, this is totally natural by the way. Black spinel gives you the blackest color of pretty much any gemstone out there. Blacker than black jade, blacker than pretty much anything I can think of. You know, your black onyx is lovely, it's gonna be dyed. Uh, this is totally natural. That is midnight black. And if there's any uh, of you out there today who want to make those Chanel inspired pieces, you know, your black and white pearl pieces you, or, or you want to use shell pearl or if you're looking for something to go with oh, your wow. black rutile quartz, you really know, beautiful, yeah. absolutely beautiful. That would, oh, drop one. Oh, it's there. I've got, I can see it. Don't worry. Um, like a gorgeous kind of gothic piece. 
This is the gem to use. My gosh, that's so good. You feel the weight and the temperature of those. I, you know straight away, don't you? Beautiful. The only other gem that feels like this, by the way, is a um, is a garnet, in my opinion. It's kind of yeah. dead. It's like cold and heavy. It, 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 this is off. It's got a really, really, really high density. So it's a very, very heavy gem. Oh, it's just exquisite. 19.99. This is a gem you experience wearing. Yeah. It's beautiful. It is the blackest of all blacks. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I think you'd be hard pushed to get another gemstone, which is as, is as glamorous, as understated, as useful as, um, yeah, look at this at the neckline as well. Oh my gosh. They're so tactile as well, aren't Very they? Very tactile. Look at that. 1999 and can I just say as well although I feel a bit bad saying this but if this was black jade it would be I don't know 80 quid this is 20 pounds two left Caroline Carol well done to you beautiful and it's natural so if natural is your thing this is the one to go for gosh that is so black but you know what I don't normally I mean I, I, I do wear some black it depends what kind of a mood I'm in um, but um the um that is a lovely shade of black I know it's the blackest of blacks but I think because it's so shiny yeah. There is a there is a a lightness to it. Oh, that is so one left. One left. Oh gosh, there's four in baskets. Okay, here we go. Six mil. Let's do these beauties. Anything you put with this, any pop of colour you put with this is gonna be accentuated. Um be it a bright blue, be it a bright red, be it a green. Actually, let's put something else with it. Let's put some grandidiorite with this. Let's see what the grandidiorite looks like. Oh, oh stunning. stunning. Gorgeous. Isn't I like that lovely? I like linking these because you've got the metal in between each one. Yeah. So you can actually great just rosary link all of them. Um, put, you'll see the silver in between. And then if you've got a pendant or a sterling silver leaf or something that you've made, you can pop it on the end. So that you've, instead of having a chain, it's more interesting. What a great idea. What a great idea because, of course, by spacing these out, you're kind of diluting it slightly aren't you are you? diluting and you're adding that metal That's nice. in between without actually having to use any other gemstone yes yes you've absolutely got a neutral piece that will go with a lot of things in a similar way to pearls go with most things yes absolutely yeah in the same way that pearls go with everything um uh, you've got you've got a gemstone here which will go with absolutely everything as well maker and card of carol diane maker and renfrew shire 14.99 that is amazing and yeah um, to get this kind of carrot weight by the way and these kind of sizes is incredibly oh my gosh have you seen where this is from Okay, that, that, that changes things slightly. Um, where, okay, the, the, the Magog Valley where these gemstones are from, um, oh my gosh, where things like your Jedi Red Spinel is from, yeah. This is August Birthstone, by the way. I know it's black, but it is August Birthstone as well as your other um, uh, Burmese, um, well, any Spinel. Um, this one's going to absolutely fly. Uh, this is, um, if we can do the, uh, the little baby one the four mils um the area of land where this is where this forms um is very very rich in granite and granite as you know is extraordinarily dense very very heavy very difficult to mine through to get through that granite kind of rock but what it does is it protects the gemstone that's growing within it so it becomes less polluted with other colors with other elements so the colors that you get from your spinels and your tourmalines and your sapphires and rubies from spin, uh, from uh, the from the magok valley are truer in color you tend to get that truthful color that that kind of more more strong undiluted unpolluted color which is why these are so black which is why these are so good my gosh, like this is this is like the best place in the world to get your spinel from, by the way, everyone. Renfrewshire, Greater London, Lincolnshire, Manchester, um, uh, Yorkshire, Isle of Wight, Wiltshire. And much like you were saying with the gorgeous shell pearl, um, it's such a useful size, isn't yeah, it? very useful. This four mil shape. You always, these tend to go first, I think. You like the seed pearls, the, the four mil. Yes. Go first from your stash because, you know, use it in your seed bead. You can use it in your seed bead designs, more intricate patterns. Oh, wow. You can use it as spaces. Yeah, I would, I think, just have a, um, 
a bracelet that I could look at. You Absolutely. Know, you could do that with the three sizes, couldn't you? Yeah, That would be definitely. a lovely bracelet stack. Nine ninety nine. 9.99, that is absolutely flying out the door. Look, and, and just everything that Debbie was just talking about, just kind of a little bracelet, put a little charm yeah. on there. And that is absolutely, that is gorgeous. Hugely grounding gemstone, hugely um, powerful gemstone. If you're into crystal healing and chakras, this is one of the most grounding gems, black spinel. Um, and um, I think that's just amazing. It comes from Burma as well. This is amazing. This is, this is a gemstone which... Honestly, the world, the world wants at the minute. And um, yeah, we're very, very lucky to have this at all. That's amazing. To get it in rounds as well is just, yeah. it's just super, super um, exciting. Gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what are you doing to me this morning? Oh, look at those. <laughs> Three left of this strand. Oh gosh. Oh my word. Gosh. Right. Oh gosh. Oh, Look at Neary. The sparkle. Of that is those. amazing. Now, here, here we go. Here's like an interesting. Well, I think it's a, an, an interesting story just because it's a memory. It happened to me. Um, so it, we're, we're talking. Oh gosh, nine years. Nine years ago. I can barely remember what happened last week, let alone nine <laughs> years ago. But I do remember this. About nine years ago, I went to um, I went to India with the jewelry maker team, and uh, we went into their vault, which is a huge, huge. Um, a huge, huge operation. Walked into the vault, saw some of the loose gemstones, saw some of the incredible pieces that they had. And on the way out of the vault, I just saw, just something caught my eye as I walked out. And it was a, it was like a, a, a table with strands laid out. And I said, what is that? Because it was sparkling. And they said, oh, this is, this is black spinel. We're trying something new with black spinel. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna see if we can kind of um, cut it into some really interesting shapes. If you're gonna cut any gemstone into, interest, into an interesting shape, you need to do it with black spinel to kind of test it out first. So this is the very first strand that we tested our, our um, oh gosh, it's 9.99. Gee whiz, <laughs> just get it. This is the very first gemstone we tried our um, German cut saucers, our micro faceted gemstones with because it takes a facet so beautifully. It's got almost exactly the same molecular structure as a black diamond. So when you facet it, it looks like a black it diamond. Does. I thought. It looks like a black diamond. And you, and you get a luster. I always think of it like black spinel's like a giant. And when you facet it, you wake it up and it just, look at it performing. Look at it performing. It, it gives you everything, gives yeah. you everything. Highlight Opal coming up at 10 a.m. this morning, uh, Valerie. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, about 45, 50 minutes away. Well done. 9.99. There's loads of people there. Well done. One more strand. Oh, gee whiz. This is kind of the largest size of black spinel that we would normally expect to get. You know, this is, these are going to be bought. I tell you what, if Susie Menham's watching, she's literally going to buy all of these. <laughs> <coughs> this is, this is Susie's. Oh, look at that recording. Oh, it's incredible. It's Do you know so what? Amazing. That is like... That is so sparkly. That's if you've got incredible. photosensitive epilepsy, you, you know, I'd probably look away. That is unbelievable. That is a strobe light so of energy. Chic. So elegant, so chic, it so is, expensive looking. It, I can't think of another gem, another strand that looks more expensive or more chic or more expensive. That is extraordinary. And that gives you more luster than a black diamond. 6 99 sold out, well done. <laughs> Beautiful strand. Faceted squares, do we? Oh, of black spinel. Oh my God, this is so lovely. Okay. <gasps> oh, they're gorgeous. So is this this strand? Oh gosh, look at this. Look, they've got chamfered edges. Oh, oh my gosh, look, they've got chamfered edges. By that, I mean, it's like not a, not a square. Can you see it's got like these little shoulder facets? Oh my gosh, this Imagine is so that. nice. Imagine that in a choker. I, a, oh yes, a choker. I want that in a bangle or something like that, a channel set bangle or, do you remember um, guest designer Jan used to do, um, Jan Dwyer used to do beautiful channel setting. I'd love, oh my gosh. That is, that is extraordinary. You could make that into a ring, couldn't you? You absolutely could. I've not seen them in this shape ever before. Claw set into a ring, maybe? What really, do you reckon? You could claw set, you could bezel set that, because you'd just ignore the hole, the drill hole. Of course! Um, they are stunning. They look very sort of Chanel-esque, very breakfast at Tiffany's. 
you could pretty much do anything with these. You could sparkle them up. You could have matte gemstones with them. You could have gold. You could have silver. The sparkle is just amazing. It really is. It really, 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 really is. That is amazing. 18 left, 9.99. Um, actually, that's pretty much sold out. Well done. Oh, my gosh. Uh, eight left. Six left. Oh, gosh. There's billions <laughs> of you there. 9.99. Well done. Computer is behind. Oh, my gosh. I love all of these. The rice beads. These, these are. Look at that. That's Oscar red carpet jewelry. <laughs> you have to get this. Oh, look! My gosh! Oh, just stunning. Imagine earrings, and then they catch the light. Oh, beautiful! Look at them. Get a piece of chain. Yeah. One in the middle of a chain. Yeah. That looks expensive. So Speaking of expensive. One on a necklace, as you said, and two in your ears, and that's a suite of jewellery. Yeah. I wouldn't put anything... So if you did make a pair of earrings, I wouldn't put anything underneath that um, spinel. I'd just have it as the bottom of the drop. Yeah. Agreed. And a flat head pin. I wouldn't yeah. want a ball coming from underneath it or anything like that. I just flat. That is... Oh, my gosh. That is so elegant. Mm. So, it's so sexy, isn't it? Look at the smaller ones as well. This is, <laughs> I love these. I, I love these. Beautiful. <sighs> you know when you walk into a shop and it makes you want to redecorate your entire house? <laughs> I don't know if you've ever visited, um, or oh, wherever it is in, um, in uh, uh, Dalesford, it's this lovely kind of, uh, kind of farm shop in the Cotswolds, owned by Carol Bamford. And, 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 and you go there and you walk in and you go, oh, I want to redecorate my entire house. <laughs> um, this makes me want to just overhaul my wardrobe. And um, yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Makes me want to change. <laughs> Faceted cubes, these are just, Ooh. oh my gosh. Go on, you hold that. You feel the weight. Feel the, feel the weight of that, Debbie. Cubes. Oh, these are gorgeous. It's like patent leather. And do you know, I'd probably, sorry, I'd, I'm too busy pointing them to myself. <laughs> do you know what? I would do exactly that. I'd put a little uh, spacer in between because then they, they, you know, they can move around as well and you can get the benefit of all of those facets. Do you, do you know what's interesting? Do you know what, did, did you hear what Ollie just said? No, sorry. It reminds him of glass. It's got a vitreous luster. Yeah. It's like a volcanic glass. Yes. That's what it is. It's got that diamond ad adamantine luster, which you would normally think, oh, it's got to have clarity to be like a diamond. No, it doesn't. Luster's the outside of the gem. Brilliance is the inside of the gem. If it's got an adamantine or a vitreous luster, that's glass or diamond-like luster. Very closely connected to, back to, uh, to, to black diamond. So, of course, it's going to look glassy and diamond-like. $12.99, that is a bargain. <gasps> Put the seed pearls in between. Oh, that's Coco oh. Chanel. <laughs> Imagine that piece, that piece of jewellery with the little seed pearls in it. I want that. It's very exciting. You wouldn't sell that, would you? No way. No way. <laughs> That's mine, thank you. Yeah, that is mine. It's <laughs> like when you crack an egg and you get a double yoker. That's for That's me. That's for me. That's for me, the old double yoker. Uh, gorgeous, well done. Justine, Victoria, Maker, Olivia, Wanda, Elaine. Oh, there's just about a thousand of you coming through to get these. And of course, look, put it with something <gasps> which is perfectly imperfect. Oh, stop. Look at that. I love that perfect black with the perfectly imperfect black, sp um, black root oil quartz. Just shows you, doesn't it? We can get as excited about these as we can with the black root oil. Um, baskets are stashed. Look, Julia, Lorraine, Victoria, Maker, Linda, Tracy, another Victoria in Dorset, uh, Muriel, Valerie, Julia, you've literally, you, you've gone nuts. The reaction to these, amazing. It just shows you, doesn't it? Great quality, like supreme quality black gem. Just shows you. I've got one final strand. Now this final strand here is for me, I don't know about you, but I've got one word. I've got one word that comes into my mind when I look at this strand and it's Victorian. Ooh. It looks for me, you know, with your beautiful kind of Victoriana um, rings, 
cameos. Yeah. Yeah, with that lovely kind of faceting around the edge of that table facet, which almost looks like a star, doesn't it? My grandma used to have a beautiful marker site ring in this, a little bit more of a marquee shape, but in a, it, it just very, very plain, but all about the gem. Mm. And this is a lovely frame. You know, if you're very good at doing little miniatures, maybe you want to put a little miniature cameo over the top of this. Um, in a ring, yeah, for sure. Uh, I, I'd probably bezel set that. I don't know, how would you get that? How would you make the motor? Because I'd be worried about claw setting this because I don't want to cover any of the gem. No, I want all that luster. I think, yeah, you'd want to bezel set them. Um, mm. But equally, I want them to move. So you know what you could do? Oh, interesting. Okay. Make a charm ring or a charm bracelet and have them as little charms. So you could have one. Like basically, a charm ring is just um, a piece of metal with a loop on the top. Yes. And then you attach oh, this. Oh, so get a little baby one. Get a little one and have it moving on your finger. Or look, one that or two. one. That is going to look amazing, isn't it? Or that with two pearls or to that with a faceted quartz or a, yeah. you know, peridot if you want to add colour. Yeah. Well, Stunning. August 2nd birthstone. Isn't there's, that interesting? There's nothing that you couldn't really do with I, that. I just love this. It looks so of the of the Victorian kind of era, doesn't it? It's just so beautiful. I love the idea of a charm ring because that would give it a really modern kind of yes. twist, wouldn't and it? And it would move and you'd see all of that beautiful sparkle. It does seem like a shame, doesn't it, for them not to be moving. Uh, that is seriously good. Look at the shiny, glossy smoothness of that gem. That is extraordinary. We're going to leave this selling out. There's still a couple of these left. It's going to sell out. Well done. $9.99. Woo! Please do not move a muscle when we come back. Oh, it's going to go beautifully with your kits. Yes. It's going yes, to go yes, beautifully yes. with your kits. Coming up, you're going to love these. You love all the black spinel we've just bought to you. You're going to love these kits. It's all about kind of charm necklaces, combining kind of older pieces with new pieces, really putting your own stamp on your jewellery designs. They're coming up next in these beautiful kits and of course a gorgeous demo. We'll see you in a sec. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. makers did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee no matter the size weight or quantity of your order how many times you check out that day we will still only charge you that single pmp keep things simple on jewelry maker jewelry maker are proud to be part of the gemporia partnership 
Our partnership family includes jewellery maker, gem collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. We were just all saying how much we love that black spinel and the um, and the black rutile quartz, weren't we? Just saying what I'm going to buy after the show. <laughs> Any of those left? I'm going to get some of that. It's just, um, it's just, it's just, it's just been oh, what an eight o'clock hour that was. Great, um, beautiful, beautiful kit. This is. It's such high quality. Um, I'm, I'm, I weighed the sterling silver on the break. There's over 21 grams of sterling silver in this kit, which is vast. And you also get the crispest, most claritiful, that's not a word, <laughs> transparent, like it. it is a word. It's a good word. The, the bestest, <laughs> the bestest uh, garnet I think I've ever seen. This round brilliant cut garnet is flawless. It is amazing. And you get it in this kit. Um, could we see the recording of it? Um, Levee, there we go. It abs, that, what, do you, oh, what can you say? Oh, that's what you can say. Whoa. Whoa. Look Ding dong. It. Gorgeous. It just looks like paradise in a gem. Look at it. It, it takes me in. Like, it mesmerises me. It's doing exactly what it should do. A round brilliant cut gem, you want light to go in, refract off the inside facets and come back out at you. And it's crackling. Yes. It's almost like it makes a noise, isn't yes. it? It's like a crackling. Look at that, it's not windowed at all. It's been cut to abs. You can see the star at the back, but it's been cut to absolute perfection. And then you get all the silver. First piece of silver that I'm going to show you is, of course, this gorgeous um, uh, pendant. Oh, I can hear a helicopter outside. They found you, Debbie. Oh, no. They're coming for you. I may be off air in a minute. <laughs> Customs and excise. Yeah, making in. off with the Rutar quartz. We've <laughs> <laughs> got here. Beautiful sterling silver pendant. Really just, just dead, dead simple. Yeah, easy to set that one. Is this one of these kind of snap settings where you push the gem in? And yeah, you push the gem in and then um, I just went round the top with the burnisher the just burnish, to make sure yeah. that it that he was nice and snug in there. Isn't that lovely? Beautiful setting. You then get one of the biggest magnetic clasps I've ever <laughs> seen. Yeah. This is silver. We have done slightly bigger ones, but they've been silver plated um, brass, I believe. Look at the size of that. That magnetic clasp you're getting there is an absolute beauty. And that is a feature. You've got to admit, that is an absolute 100% feature. It's beautiful, isn't it? So that's sterling silver. And so's that. You then get all of these. Now, these are very, very, very large jump rings. They look like, yeah, they're seven mil. They're seven mil inner jump rings, which gives you a nine mil outer, I believe. Is that right? Yeah, it's in the context of the huge. kit, they are uh, meant to be charm carriers. So I'll show you that in the demo so that you can add charms to them. But of course, if you do your chain mail, these are sterling silver. Yes. And they are very substantial jump rings. They're beautiful. You can solder them. You don't have to solder them because they're very well made. But um, yeah, they're meant to be sort of Ooh. charm carriers so that you can add charms to them. And I'll tell you a little bit about my inspiration for this kit um, when we come to demo. Um, how many of the jump rings do you get, Neary? Do we, do, 
do we know? Is it 50? It looks yeah. like more than 50. Possibly 100. We're just double checking. Yeah, you can see that why you need to have those bigger jump rings, can't you? Yeah, and it, it, this <clears> is based, I wanted a charm necklace for myself. And it's going back to that, what you can make, but you can't afford. Yes. And in gold, they started at about £1,500. Oh, wow. I wanted silver. And then the ones in silver, they started from about £800, um, including me. charms that you pick yourself. Now, my idea behind these kits is to have all of the ingredients that you need to put the charm together. Now, I'm sure there's loads of you that have bought lovely charms from all of our designers' collections from Gems. I've put some on mine that I've had since I was a little girl that, you know, they're in the drawer and you get out and go, I remember, but I'm not really into charm bracelets anymore. Yes. Um, and these charm necklaces are making a massive, massive statement in this, you know, in the future of jewellery. There is a one final feature in this, which I have to say is I love absolutely this. stunning. Yeah. It's a double chain, which, of course, you can wear as a as a bracelet if you want to, I suppose. Um, it's meant to double O. Is it meant to? Do, I mean, it's just it's just it's just so beautiful. Yeah. You get two chains in one, don't you? It's very on trend. And usually with a charm necklace, you might take old chains and cut them up and put them together. But this is absolutely perfect. And I'll show you the one I'm wearing in a minute. And I had to actually use a lot of chains to get this effect. And then when I got sent this in the kit, I thought this is genius because actually as a necklace on its own, if that's what you want to do with it, mm. it's so elegant and high end. So you get this kind of drop at the yeah. bottom and here, which is beautiful. And then there's a little gemstone With the gem the in the bottom, yeah. which is adorable. Yeah. Then as you go up either side, you've got this lovely elongated rectangular link chain on one side and a beautiful curb chain on the other side, all sterling silver. Yeah. Isn't that just gorgeous then at the top look you've got your beautiful extender chain here as well with your um little tag on the bottom there as well it's just as you say it's so on trend now charm necklaces charm bracelets what's it all about well jewelry in its very kind of earliest form uh was you know people wanting to adorn themselves with things which they felt were good luck or bestowed them with a certain power and then of course Charm necklaces, charm bracelets, which kind of became very popular during the Victorian era as people were maybe traveling yeah. a bit further afield or going away to war or whatever it might be, were kept as little mementos. Yeah. Charms should be, you know, you should look at a charm bracelet and go, that's a real journey. I remember getting that. That was yeah. on my first day of school. Or I story. remember this on my 21st birthday. It's they should story. all be unique. And that's exactly what you've done here. Um, you're getting over 21 grams of sterling silver here. Because you're getting so many of your um, nine mil outer jump rings, we figured out it's just shy of three centimeters per jump ring, which if you times that by 50, um, is about, yeah, a meter and a half's worth of sterling silver wire. That, that, that's one mil engaged. This is a phenomenal kit with a really heavy weight amount of silver. Over 21 grams <laughs> of silver. And you've got your garnet. And you've got the potential to add in charms you've been gifted over the years. Charms you've been gifted um, at recently. Mother's Day pieces. Um, I was with my kids yesterday and we were walking around an arboretum. We found bits of silver birch yeah. bark. And if you wanted to get that, you could dry it out, set it into it's resin. resin yeah. And that could be another little charm that you get. You might want to put things of, from your uh, wedding day um, 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 and hang it from these. It's all about memories. It's all about creating that lovely memory, that lovely kind of uh, bespoke personalized story is it absolutely it? love what you've done here debbie this is very very you this jewelry so i've added um, the old with the new here i like it um, i've got the little hedgehog charm that came from jm the little dot there if we have oh, a look. look at the hedgehog so here's a little hedgehog charm now usually i would cut up chains and add one or three chains which i'll show you on the one around my neck in a minute but this necklace has got all of that all i've done is snipped off the middle and added sort of the jump ring which i will show you in the demo so so like i I said to you there's over two i i measured all of this on the on the break and i measured over 21 grams of silver that's a huge amount of silver i would go as far to say i believe that's the heaviest gram weight of silver uh, the heaviest gram weight of silver we've ever done in a kit it's absolutely 
huge. Well, you said that to me this morning, didn't you? There's loads of silver yeah. in, that, in that. huge amounts of silver. What's happened to the price of silver over the last few years? Well, oh. it's risen 30 to 40%. Yeah. It is kind of evening itself out ever, ever so slightly, but it is still considerably higher to kind of pre-COVID prices. Yeah, um, you know, with the cost of everything going up, the cost of living going up, um, it really hasn't helped matters either. We've got loads of people coming through. Your price point is going to come in in literally uh, five seconds time. How much would you pay for over 21 grams of silver and a beautiful, crisp, eye-clean red garnet? Here's, <laughs> this is way too low. This is way too low, in my opinion, for what you're getting. This is the ingredients list of ingredients. $49.99 for everything today. Victoria, Sandra, Susan, Julie, Maeve, Muriel, Rita, Leicestershire. Well done to you, Merseyside. Absolutely fantastic. This is just absolutely amazing. You know, you've got your list together, your best ingredients. They're, it's all free range. It's all organic. It's all beautiful. It's all, you know, it's going to taste. Or oh, you've got things from your garden. It's beautiful quality ingredients that you're going to be getting here to make. Because these are the kind of pieces which are going to, which, which, I mean, you might want to sell them, but these are the kind of pieces which, you know, charm necklaces, charm bracelets, you're probably going to gift them. They're going to stay in your family forever. Not the kind of thing that someone's necessarily going to give away. They're maybe going to pass it down through generations. But, you know, and you want to make it with the best quality ingredients. Perfect for the pieces in Claire's collection. Yes. I had that in mind. Great. I think a lot of us have bought charms yes. you know, as jewellery makers and we have a drawer full of them and we've made things with some of them and not with others and we get them out and we look at them and go, I love that charm. Or you've put it on a charm bracelet and then you're like, that's not really my... my style anymore or it, it hangs in things i tend yes. to find my charm bracelet hangs in my dinner and you know yes. so i don't wear it a lot and I, the, the whole point is to add the old with the new yes get nice. the charms out that you've bought from jm get the charms out that your mum bought you for your 16th birthday that oh. you know, get your, yeah, the pandora cut, charms the troll yeah, piece cut the, the thomas charms off the pieces. old fashioned bracelets that you wouldn't wear anymore upcycle old and new i love that i'm all about that Ah. Is it going again? Are we going again? Okay, right. We, we <laughs> should not be doing this. Um, oh, honey, just a sip of tea. I can't go. Neary, before you... Oh, gosh, no, don't do this. Okay. We, our hands are tied. And if the kit hasn't sold out, we need to go again. $39.99. That's exceptional. Now that... Now... That's exceptional. We do not have... We do not have the luxury that other people have. We have to buy sterling silver at whatever price it is. Yeah. And we have to, the, the reason is, is because we have to, we have to literally sell sterling silver in, 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 in components at 365 days a year. So we can't buy sterling silver, sit on it for a while and have the luxury of going, oh yes, now's the time to bring it into the marketplace. No, we don't have that opportunity. We don't have that luxury. We're currently at 52, is that what it works out to per gram? Okay, yeah, uh, well, I've got 21 grams in this, but yeah, so yeah, go on. 21 divided by, yeah, 39.99, yeah. 52 pence a gram. People 52p you know that's per gram that's of sterling silver. That's I don't know anyone who has access to deals like that. That is crazy. That is absolutely in. Incredible. <laughs> oh, gosh. This week's gram Proof price for sterling silver, the high price was 59 pence a gram. The low price was 55p a gram. We're at 52. So we are literally selling at a loss here. You are getting a better deal than we can get. Have we got quantity of this? Because anyone who makes with sterling silver knows that this is incredible. Look, it's going crazy. Okay, okay. Buy this kit and sell the sterling silver. And, <laughs> probably, and you might get a better price. Buy this kit and sell it on. Just sell it on for scrap. I cannot believe that. That is crazy. We are selling at a loss. We are selling at a loss. Woo. Enjoy. Right, let me show you mine. Crazy. So right, this was well the done. idea behind um, this. I love so all this of that. So this used to be a ring from the eighties. I met the new. I made the ring. What the hand? Yeah, I made the ring so out cool. of a sterling silver wire. 
I put three <laughs> chains on. Now, I've got a little locket on there that I got when my daughter was born. It says Twinkle Twinkle. Now, I'm not going to wear that around my neck, am I usually? I've got a little crystal with an angel on that my mum bought that. me. And on the bottom there is a little what is that? Tibetan temple that opens and there's a little Buddha praying. Now, that's vintage. My son bought me that. Oh, Debbie, that's beautiful. So what I'm saying is add the old with the new. And then I've added on a little I rabbit that. that I used to wear as a little girl. Oh, Debbie. Thank you for sharing all this with us. So, so sweet. My idea, because I've seen it, the designers starting to do it, is to add in. So let's have a look at, at what you can do with this kit to get started. And then oh my you gosh. can go, go in your drawers, get all your charms out, get Claire's charms, get Mark's charms, get your charms that people have bought you and you've never you've never worn or it's just, just not your love style. That. I've got christening things that I've never worn. Get your jade pendants. out. Get your jade out. I oh love my. this. And of course it's just gonna. It's you. It's it, it. That means so much to you, Debbie. Yeah, it means it's it's oh, sentimental jewellery. So on this necklace, you've got a, a little jump ring in the middle, um, and that's fine. I mean, you might want to keep it like this and just do a charm necklace with something else because this chain is worth what the whole kit costs, in my opinion. Um, it's so designer. You've got this paper link chain here. It's very Monica Vinida. It's very Miss Soma. It's it's just very on trend. So what I did with this, and of course when you cut anything off of sterling silver don't throw it away put it in your scrap pot because you can melt it down and you can um, use it for casting or whatever so all I'm going to do is snip off that little teeny jump ring there okay and I'm going to add in one of these nice big jump rings now you can see if I put that next to the chain you can actually see how large that jump ring is which is why i wanted a decent size to act as charm carriers and of course you can solder any of this because you're dealing with precious metal components if you are going to solder this just um be mindful of the little what is that on the end of that is it a topaz it looks like it might be it yeah. should be fine then i'll just add a little bit of solder paste yeah. on there so then all i did so these aren't at all difficult um it does look like a diamond that's what i love about the topaz is um because this is all precious metal anything can be soldered oh dear i think we may have got our maths wrong with uh with working out the grand prize but um but anyway you did still a superb deal oh okay whatever so what you do is you're going to add your little um chain it's a rabbit charm on screen. Where did that rabbit charm you come from? You need a from? little friend of, you need a little friend for your rabbit. Right, let me get my... Um, Very cute. Let me get my necklace down so that we can talk about... Year of the rabbit. I saw a hair the other day. Did you? Yeah, they're big bigger, ears. aren't they? They're much bigger. Their ears are so big. Just sitting there, the sun was shining through his ears. It was all pink. It was just beautiful. So, I've added... Six ninety nine for that, button. I'm just going to... Um, just go go ahead and talk through some of this because I know we're running out of time. So what I've done is added the chain onto the jump ring. And what I've done is added a little bit of 0.4 millimeter wire for this bit of chain because this bit of chain is a little bit thinner to go, than to go through the jump ring. And I've wrap looped okay. the top oh. and I've popped on a sterling silver spacer bead. You don't have to do that. It's completely up to you. Now, this is where the fun begins. It's very, very easy to open and close this jump ring. So this is where you can add whatever you want to the sort of charm carrier I'm going to, to say so you might have a new charm and the great thing about this as well if you don't solder it you're going to be able to take these off and replace them so if you get a charm that you like better that someone's bought you for your birthday or for a special occasion you can add it on now what makes this a bit edgy is the fact now you don't have to do this you might this might not be your personal style choice you might want to just keep the chain as it is and have this at the front to, to, to add your charms to now the one that I'm wearing which I'm actually going to put next to it. I had three chains coming down from my ring. Gorgeous. So, of course, you can do that if you want more of a waterfall effect. I think the one that we have is really elegant and very understated. Now, if you want to add in what the designers are doing, which I really liked, is adding jump rings at different... Um, 
spaces throughout the existing chain. So I've actually done an asymmetrical design. I know that's not everybody's taste. And I've added one of the charm carrier jump rings actually on the left hand side yeah. so that I can add three charms. Now really it depends on how many charms you've got that you want to add to your necklace because possibly you could add a jump ring to the other side. And if the chain doesn't fit through the jump ring, again, just use silver 0.4 wire to wrap loop. Mm -hmm. And then you could add more. So we've got this beautiful, this is actually a pendant that comes in with the kit. But what I did was take the bail off to use another time and put a jump ring. But that still looks pretty with the bail on, I think. Um, I've got, I used that in my kits the other day by just putting a hole in there. That's our little, that's actually a, a new component. And then you might want to think about adding something that is um, special to you. So I've got a little cherub here. He's not, he's not been polished, so he's a bit dirty. Came straight out of my jewelry box. But then I can have my, so then when someone asks me about my jewelry, I can say, well, my son bought me the dove and um, I had this as a little girl. This is from JM, this is new. The chain's new. Um, so there are no complicated. If you want to make it even more, like that's a JM, B. They were really oh. popular, weren't they? Um, you can add more charms actually down the chain as you go. So there's oh, no cute. complicated jewelry making techniques. It's opening and closing a jump ring to add these charms on. The chain that Debbie's using here, by the way, because we've had a couple of people asking, is 20 to 22 inches in length. So that's really great. Black spinel on screen for you, $4.99 for those rondelles. They make lovely little charms. Uh, to go on there but yeah so it's really lovely generous chain that you get here I love all these I, I love all of this adding that you're doing it's and you've got so the lovely. extender chain as well yeah. at the back so you can make it smaller and then what I did because we've got this beautiful garnet and that is my granddaughter's birthstone I thought oh, you know what I want sort of a beaded element in the bottom here so of course all I did with that is find your ornamental um, head pins eye pins whatever um, and just wrap loop those on um, if you're a beginner and you don't wrap loop then you can just make a plain loop that's fine you can mm. even solder uh, these on as long as you've got a solderable gemstone and then again you're just adding those onto so that your little bundle of charms can be as, as, as packed as you want it to be you could even add some of these sort of as you go up if you want a real statement necklace so I went for a bit more understated with my charms because I know that really it's it's down to your own personal style and taste how many charms have you got to go on there is someone getting married could they have their something blue oh how lovely um you know bridesmaid a lot of designers are doing it you're going to see designers coming out with this in the coming months and as i say i personally wanted one which is why i thought actually I can't, i'm not i can't afford 800 pounds and then you've got to choose their charms they have charms to choose you know you can't choose your own charms even. So that's £800 choosing from their charms. Mm. Have you got an old charm bracelet that just seems really dated that you wouldn't wear? Add to this. And you're gonna have so many jump rings left over. So you've got absolutely tons of silver oh, in this, this kit and loads and loads of ideas and it's very designer. So it's very making jewelry that you can't necessarily afford to buy. Look, this one here, this is the sterling silver screw setting. So the bottom, so the top and screws in the top. I had the those the other day stones. in a pearl kit. They're lovely. And all you do is take your um, round nose pliers, pop them into the little grooves at the back. I did yeah. have one. And um, you just unscrew and screw. So there's no oh. metal smithing involved in this very one. Very cool. So birthstone. Do you, have you got some letters, you know, like L's? Have you got the letters oh, of your grandchildren, yes. your children? Pop letters on there to, you know, you can have a whole family. That is just family lovely. Necklace. Yeah, that is just gorgeous. Um, twelve ninety nine for that, by the way. Yeah, look, you can see the little grooves. These there, are interchangeable. They? Yeah. So you've got four gemstones with this as well. You've got amethyst, rose quartz, clear quartz, and by the look of it, some black spinel. Maybe I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, you can see the little grooves there. So you just literally unscrew. Yeah, we did it last time we were clever. together, didn't we? Yeah. So you can go back on YouTube and have a look at that. It's very simple. You just unscrew it, pop it in, screw it back up again. If you want to change the colour of it, maybe it doesn't go with your outfit, or yeah. you just can do that. And make something which looks, so, I mean, it's so professional, isn't it? That's yeah. just gorgeous. Well done. Twelve ninety nine for that. Well done. Victoria's bought five. Tracy, Marianne, Pauline, Leslie, Lorraine. How lovely. Fully bespoke, fully personalised pieces you've got there, um, Debbie. That's just gorgeous. And, you know, if you don't want a charm or someone buys you a charm that replaces it, a <laughs> little cupid you just Beautiful. you just take it off and i've even got the little moon here that i sang cast you know he's a bit heavy um oh, let me see but i put a little <gasps> oh my god 
gosh, so he sang cast. So I did that live on JM. But Look so you can this. sang cast things. Debbie, you're amazing. Yeah, that's a beautiful moon. Oh my god. So he's two sided. So if he flips around, it doesn't matter. He just hasn't got his little bindi on the other side. So that's sand cast. I, I didn't show how to do it, but that's that, that was in the, the show of, of the piece of jewelry. So again, I might want to add him on because I love the moon. Now I've actually got the hedgehog on this one. Are we bringing oh, him? No. Oh no! Have we got him? Oh, oh my yay. gosh! Yes, he's citrine, isn't he? Yes. So he's the one that's actually on the uh, the main charm uh, for my for my jewelry. There he is, and so he goes beautifully with garnet, in my opinion. So um, he's just he's lovely. Nice. What a happy little hedgehog! But of course, you could add on adding charms down as you go. The, you just your imagination. You can do whatever you want. He's, he's got a lovely tummy. I do love um, hedgehogs. So do I. We say we've saved hedgehogs before. We found <gasps> one that was really cold and we took him to the sanctuary. But a hedgehog oh. is a lovely, especially if you're giving to maybe again for prom or people are doing the A levels GCSEs, give them a little present because it's a bit stressful at the moment in our house with A levels and GCSEs going oh, on. Oh, damn. So yeah. um, this is a lovely little present. How much is this? Oh, we haven't seen I that. absolutely love this. Baby hedgehogs are called hoglets. As I know. Well, which is just <laughs> the cutest thing. So ever. beautiful. Um, he is beautiful. He is so happy. I've got no idea how much this is. No, I... um, he looks so happy. So happy. So cute. Um, if I had to guess, I don't know, 20. Uh, oh, no. Uh, there's a lot of silver in there. He's got a um, big tummy. 20. 20 yeah, 24.99 sterling silver. Look at the quality of that citrine. That's pretty much eye clean as well. That's really great material. What a it's happy neutral as well, isn't it? So if you want to put it with other gemstones, it's going to yes. go. Lovely. Is that not the price? No, 24.99. Not not the deal. Okay, Elizabeth, Lorna, Elaine, Julie's got two in a basket. Christine's got two in a basket. Jenny, Katrona in um, in France. Well done to you. Oh. Oh, that's good. Oh, my that's gosh. That's very good. Little hedgehog. 9.99. Oh, that's super good. Oh, my gosh. 9.99 for a hedgehog. I got too excited then. <laughs> Where is he? Oof. So he's on there. He's here. He's What's on the back like? Is it flat? Did you hear my, my hedgehog voice? He's here. It's my animal voice. Oh, yeah, gosh, that's such flat. a lovely... You could engrave on that if you wanted to. You could definitely engrave an initial. Oh, I love this. You and could put course, little initials on there. They've cut the hole out so that the light comes the through. The light comes me. through. Isn't he gorgeous? He is beautiful. Hello. He is. Oh, there he is. Oh, I've got him. There we go. Hello, little hedgehog. Oh, my gosh. He's I mean, I love, um, I love Beatrix Potter, and this is so Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. That he? is. Tiggy Winkle. Oh, my gosh. He's a beautiful little child. So fan. cute. When you think what you pay um, on the high street for little charms like this, like if you go into Pandora and even if you go into um, places like Marks and Spencers or and sometimes they have sterling silver or it's not there anymore, but accessorise. <laughs> A charm like this would, um, with this on, necklace like this would have been oh, so hello. much more than this. A genuine Pandora silver hedgehog charm. Has it got any gems in him? No. Oh, he doesn't look as happy as our hedgehog. Him. He's not as happy as our hedgehog. 24 95 uh, And ours has got a citrine in and he looks really that's happy. That's good for Pandora, 24 95 Well, that's second hand. Ah, right. That's a good deal, isn't look, it? Look, there he is. Really that's good a good picture of him. Oh, look. He's so happy. <laughs> He's lovely. Isn't he gorgeous? Do you, think that's his, do, you think that's, do you think that's his tummy or do you think he's holding something no, that he's found? That's your tummy. I think it's his tummy. But it can be whatever you want. It's what you see when you look at it. But you know when you see them kind of in people's gardens? I think Maybe it's he's his found tummy. Like, he, yeah, you've got to tickle that tummy. Why tickle am I doing that this? Tummy. <laughs> you're going to use the little diggly dummy. Off he's camera, so I'm going, lovely. it's his tummy. <laughs> what are you meant to leave out for hedgehogs? Is it, it's not cat food, dog is food, it? Is it it's dog food, or I don't know what you're meant to leave out no, for They them. say don't leave milk, don't they? Milk leave is milk. the bad thing, yeah. I put some dog food out. They're really noisy eaters, you know. Well, Michael Groves, <laughs> um, uh, Tech Up Michael Groves, uh, uh, had a, had a he, got, he went to a sanctuary and got a, an albino oh. uh, dwarf hedgehog called Merlin. That's the cutest thing I've ever heard. It was his pet. Hello. Uh, hello, Merlin. <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely amazing. Uh, the, 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 oh, it's just, what a glorious piece. 
Absolutely beautiful. Jill, Lorna, Maker, Karen, Maker on the Isle of Man. Sarah's got two. Victoria's got three. What a lovely idea. I mean, $9.99. Great idea is a little Easter gift. Yeah, definitely. How cute would that be? And you could pop him. He could be the only charm on your chain. And then you could collect over the years going forward. And you could tell the person that when you give it to them. Little, yes, absolutely. You know, give it back to me and I'll add your charms as, as, as you um, get Oh, them. I just, I love that. That's just, that's just adorable, isn't it? Rather than an Easter egg. I mean, Easter eggs are great, no, but yeah, and, they come and on. an Easter egg. Oh, and an Easter egg. Okay, fair enough. Bag of mini eggs, come on. Mini eggs, it's that time of year. I've managed to resist so far. I love a mini egg. I have a mini egg. Neary was, got very excited yesterday. He sent us all a uh, picture of, a, of, a, of, a, of, a, of an Easter egg in a cup. We didn't know they still oh, did them. Oh, yeah. Mm. An egg cup, you mean? No, oh, an as in like mug a, cup. a mug. Yeah. So they used to do them all the time. They did. Yeah. Not anymore. Well, I think you're beautiful, little hedgehog, and I think you're 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 going to go to lots of homes, and people are going to love you very much. There's about forty in baskets. It's ridiculous. Okay, star by time for a hollow carved fan. This is an absolute beauty. It's so delicate. It's gorgeous. It's a star by. This is a wafer thin. <laughs> it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, is it a fan? I don't know. Oh, no, no. I suppose you're kind of looking at it and thinking quite possibly. Oh, it's lovely. It is so delicate and so beautifully pierced. Um, it's absolutely, look at that beautiful flower at the bottom. Such gorgeous detail. Absolutely beautiful. It's got that water content, hasn't it? It's got that really high water content, that gem jelly quality, uh, which just looks absolutely beautiful. Look how delicate these piercing uh, kind of uh, kind of apertures are. Thank you for that, Ollie. Uh, they're just gorgeous. I love that because you've got the different anchor points at the top, so that gives you so much more in the way of design possibilities. Like you could anchor it on the two corners if you wanted like a choker style necklace, or if you wanted it to hang down a little bit more, I'd use the two anchor points next to the flower. Um, that gives you, I like the delicacy of this one. Yes, and it's got that lovely kind of almost, they look like plumes of feathers, mm. don't they, going up either side. Like That's a peacock really, tail. Really, yes, like lovely ostrich kind of tail fans that you get. Um, I was, I was going to say like a burlesque dancer, but yeah. Um, of it, yeah, but that kind of kind of thing. And yeah, it's just, it's just absolutely beautiful. What I like as well is, um, although it is type A green jade, however, it's not overtly kind of, um, uh, kind of inspired by Eastern culture no. or by far Eastern kind of, uh, uh, uh kind of, um, icons or, 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 or kind of symbols. It's just a really lovely floral feather damask kind of scrolled pattern. It's just, it's just so beautiful. Um, that would make a lovely pendant. And you've got the apertures to be, uh, the kind of anchor points to be able to make this into a pendant if you want to. Um, also, I can imagine this being kind of um, adhered onto a, the top of a jewelry box maybe, mm. or in the corner of a lovely photo frame. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? It could be quite an art deco feel. Yes, yes, it does. If you added a jump ring to the corners and then just a plain chain so that it's that high yeah. up on the decolletage. Yeah. It's kind of an art deco, very elegant, but in a art deco way. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. It really does make sense. I think you, you, you're dead right to suggest something like that. It's got that lovely shape. That's going to sit really really beautifully isn't it look if you just kind of what there do you reckon yeah there oh just a chain either side gosh that really comes to life doesn't it that's look, so nice i always say that jewelry needs to be worn or hung to see but can you imagine Ooh, the vibe that i'm saying that's there really nice. and you could actually layer that you could have your longer necklaces with that as well yeah you absolutely could can you believe that price 49.99 split payments of 16.66 
Also, do you know what, um, Debbie, if you're making a headdress, that would be a lovely kind of center point, oh, wouldn't it? Yes. Maybe with something dangling down from there, maybe a lovely pearl or something. Or... And you know the lovely headdresses they wear on their uh, Indian weddings. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine? With the chain going down to the nose oh, piercing. That would be Amazing. so beautiful. They're beautiful, aren't they? With the bright red saris. Yeah. And, oh, my gosh, absolutely glorious. Um, it's such great quality. $49.99, amazing. Leah, John in the West Midlands, well done to you, my lovely. Absolutely fantastic, well done. Uh, it's got such a delicacy about it. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Well done, everybody. 0800 644 655. That's our uh, free phone number. Or you can get involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com, or you can even download our app and watch us on the go. It's just a great, great chance for you to own incredible top quality Taipei green jadeite with that really high water content and that amazing skill set used to carve pieces like this. Uh, well done to Tracy as well. That's just gorgeous. Well done. The what? Sorry, Livy. I, oh yeah, I think King is just bringing that out actually. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. Here we go. Thanks, lovely. Oh yeah, we got this one uh, back out. This is amazing. Look at this crown. Um, yeah, it looks like the same gemstone from the uh, from the kit we've just played. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Oh, yes. These are lovely to set because you just need pliers. You don't really need it. And I've got something. I've got something later that would make this so much easier to set. What is it, Debbie? Oh, it's a tool. I haven't named him yet. He's, um, oh, he's gosh. a he. She's naming the tools, everyone. It's almost think of a ball vice but one that you can hold and also the handle comes off and you can put it in your vice as well it's got okay pins, um for you know when you need to set things and you can't get hold of them this is incredible so it's a hand vice this would be great to set. sorry nothing to do with that but i just thought when i was looking at it it's very easy to set but you know holding difficult things this is your tool so you just need pliers. This obviously, you know, I've just literally set it on top yeah. of the setting there. You need to what, open the pliers slightly? Just take your pli pliers with the long, um, the long jaws and then you just go, I'm not going to do it, but you would just go um, opposite and gently squeeze and then opposite and gently squeeze. Yes. Um, and that's it. So you don't that need such high quality, you know, like anything else. This will sit. Uh, sorry, this will fit any five millimeter uh, calibrated stone that you've got, whether it's a, I don't know, a, you know, a garnet or a tanzanite or you know, whatever it might be. Yeah. Um, absolutely beautiful. Whether it's one of the beautiful um, black rutile quartz as we had earlier on. Oh yes, it would go in. That would be nice, yeah. wouldn't it? Because it's it, the setting is it's quite regal and grand and quite classic and traditional, and to have that alongside a gem, which is really kind of grungy is is really really uh it's, it's a lovely contrast isn't it it's a beautiful it, it's a beautiful kind of um uh, contrast those opposites working together um price point for you today here we go here we go look at that isn't that lovely and from the front that's just gonna look absolutely brilliant are you still going to get you know when you set the gemstones in are you still going to have that lovely kind of crown style setting well, you, or is it going to be? It, it folds over. So uh, yes. You get a little bit of precious metal at the sides, and it kind of looks like a little almost star at the sides as it as it folds over, depending yes. on how deep your gemstone is. How lovely! So you've just got this beautiful flash of sterling silver, especially on a stone like this, which has mm -hmm. got such a deep intensity of colour. It just looks so beautiful. Yeah, it really does, doesn't it? Um, absolutely amazing. Well done, everybody. Yours today, enjoy. Uh, this is the setting and the beautiful gemstone as well. Six ninety nine. Oh, <laughs> six. I was not expecting that. Six ninety nine. <laughs> Vera, Lorna, Karen, Julie, Diane. I would be multi, 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 multi buying this. Also, can I just say as well? Here on Jewelry Maker, we've got a, a plethora of um, loose gemstones, which are five mil in size. Get all your birthstones, so get your garnet, mm -hmm. your amethyst, your aquamarine, yeah. uh, your clear quartz, kind of instead of your diamonds, you can't bring you five mil diamonds. Um, your spinel, your, oh gosh, what else is there? Tourmaline, sapphire, ruby, whatever it might be. And once you're really good at kind of make, uh, uh, doing your settings, what I would do is I would is I would take a load of these empty to your craft fairs, have a load of your birthstones and just say, I'll make, I'll make you a piece of jewelry whilst you wait. Yeah. I'll make you a piece of jewelry whilst you wait. Um, and, uh, you know, choose your birthstone, choose the stone that you want. And it's just amazing. Victoria's got 10. Muriel's got two. Well done to you. This is absolutely amazing, isn't it? Well done, everyone. Um, 
Because it's not going to take you long to set these, is it? It doesn't take you long at all. So if you're uh, paying yourself, as you should be doing if you're making to sell, then it's minutes. Um, this would be very, very elegant on a fine silver chain just sitting at the top. If you think um, single diamond, single garnet. Also, if you've just bought the kit for the charm necklaces, this is a great birthstone one to add because you can offer that to people. What are your children's birthstones, your husband's birthstone, your best friend's birthstone, you know, your grandchildren's birthstone? And then you can add it to that. How so lovely. It's a family um, inspired necklace, but not. Obvious, you haven't got names hanging. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that, but some people might not want that. Absolutely. No, 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 I think you're absolutely right, Debbie. And, and you know, if you if you do kind of make these to order, people feel that they're really part of that decision-making yeah. process and the design process, and they get a full, bespoke, personalised piece. Isn't that lovely? But I love the idea of combining the old with the new. I think that's just great. I've got loads of little pendants and charms, uh, which I've collected over the years. Some of them precious metals, some of them, yeah. um, uh, you know, costume jewellery, but they mean the absolute world to me. Enjoy. Well done. Gorgeous. Don't go anywhere. Coming up next, we've got the deal of the day. It is all about Highlight Opal. See you in a sec. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help.
Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Okay, good news and bad news. Good news is we love you. Uh, the bad news is, <laughs> the bad news is, unfortunately, Dave isn't with us. Um, he's not very well today. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna try and get him to uh, be with us tomorrow if he's feeling any better. So unfortunately, that means we're not gonna be able to bring you the highlight, April. I'm so sorry. Um, all, all I can do is apologise. We're absolutely devastated. Um, but there's nothing I can do about it. It's a good job. We've got the most amazing showcase of Grand Didierite. Um, we have got the most incredible pieces, the most amazing price points. And can I just say, because we don't have um, the highlight opal today, what we're going to do is we're going to be super, 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 super aggressive with the prices of the Grand Didierite. Um, this is, <laughs> this is such an exciting moment. Um, I have to say, when we uh, first, uh, when, before we launched this incredible gemstone on Jewelry Maker, what I think was probably mm, four or five years ago, um, every couple of months or so from our buying team, we'd get an email from them uh, saying, Give us some ideas about what you'd like us to um, uh, get on our next buying trip. Let us know what gemstones you'd like us to bring back. And as a joke, one day, uh, Wayne, who's now our sales manager, back then um, he was a producer, um, he said, do you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask them if on their next buying trip they can get a hold of Grand Didierite. And I, to be honest, I hadn't heard of it at that point. And he said, look, it's this incredibly rare gemstone. He'd been a producer on, on another shopping channel. They'd been bringing Grand Didierite pieces to air uh, for, for kind of only, only a small amount of it for kind of a couple of years or so. And the prices on them were kind of thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds. Um, what we have for you today is really the end of the line, unfortunately. Um, 
Grandidiorite is a very, very rare gemstone. If you haven't heard of it, don't worry, not a lot of people have. It's an extraordinarily rare gemstone, which was only really discovered at the, in the early 1900s. And it was discovered in Madagascar by Alfred Grandidia, who was a French gemologist. And he discovered this incredible gemstone. Um, it was never really commercially mined. It was it, because there wasn't enough of it. Um, <clears throat> And really, in Madagascar, there are plenty of other gemstones to be mining, like your rose quartz, your labradorite, your sapphire, your rubies. Um, you know, so you're not going to you're not going to you're not going to invest your time in mining for a gemstone which is incredibly, incredibly, you know, difficult and very, very scarce. You're not going to you're not going to bother doing that. It has subsequently been discovered in other places around the world. Nothing of note that looks anything decent looks like anything decent at all. Um, and in 2014, this incredible gemstone was rediscovered just a few short miles away from where this gemstone was first discovered. Now, I've got a, um, a PowerPoint here, um, which heralds the arrival and the discovery of this incredible gemstone. Have a little look at this. This is from the GIA website. GIA really are the gold standard of kind of reporting on gemstones. Um, and and it, it stands for the Gemological Institute of America. And um, uh, me, along with lots of other, the, uh, lots of, other of um, employees here at uh, Gemporia and the wider Gemporia group are GIA trained. So we've got our, our, our accredited jewellery professional GIA um, qualifications and it means you've got to do lots of exams lots of reading all about gemstones and cutting and all that kind of stuff but the GIA is where you go to to get lots of current information and up-to-date information on gemstones now this article is dated back in 2016 as you can see there fall uh, 2016 uh, a new deposit of gem quality grandidiorite in Madagascar um, and this is just a little excerpt from the um, article the rough uh, blue crystals are manually extracted and sorted on site. The workers carefully remove the valuable mineral specimens to avoid damaging them. Uh, between May 2014 and March 2016, 800 kilograms of rough specimens were produced. Mining is still in progress as of this writing. And that was 2016, yeah? Now, that's only two years after it's been rediscovered, as it were. Let me just address the carat weights, you know, so it, or not carat weights, the physical weights, 800 kilos of rough specimens. That sounds like quite a lot. And actually, it is quite a lot. However, when you compare it to the metric tons of amethyst, citrine, uh, um, um, uh, 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 quartz, uh, I'm thinking of other, even, even, yeah, jade, which are mined each year, diamonds, you've got tons of diamonds being mined each year, you realise that less than a tonne of this gemstone was mined in a two-year period. Two years it took them to get that. When we're talking about diamonds, or even jade, we're talking about tons which are excavated. Actually, you know, we've shown you we've shown you um, um, a photograph of a single nephrite boulder which was discovered in British Columbia in um, in uh, Canada, and it measures what well, it weighs over one and a half tons. That's one boulder. We're talking about a gemstone a, 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 a gemstone that in two years only eight hundred kilograms were mined so that's the rarity that's what we're talking about here and for a while for a period it was commercially mined between 2014 and this article's written in 2016 and then all of a sudden the information just stops there's no information about the gemstone is it currently being mined you know what's going on now there is there is a couple of things that need to be addressed here. Word got out of the value of this gemstone, okay? Forbes wrote a, an, an article in their magazine, and that could be quite damaging, actually, to the gem industry in, in, in lots of different ways. 
But this article was entitled the top 12, uh, top, top 20, sorry, most expensive gemstones per carat or whatever. Grand Diddy Wright is mentioned in that article and it comes in at number three. So all of a sudden word got out that this gemstone, which was being mined by literally about 20 miners, that's it, um, was an incredibly valuable gemstone, much more valuable than the rose quartz or, the, or, the, or, or even the, the, the gorgeous sapphire mined up at Ilakaka. Um, much, much, much more valuable. So it made the mine prime location for being uh, raided, for uh, people to come in and, 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 and steal from the mines overnight, for the uh, mining, um, uh, for the, um, uh, the, the transportation, taking the gemstones uh, to the market to be ambushed. Lots and lots of risk factors there. This incredible gemstone is no longer being mined. It's completely run out. It's completely depleted. There's nothing left. We're very lucky that um, we've got fantastic relationships with lots of gem dealers over in Madagascar. And it's due to uh, lots of different things, but one of the things being our incredible relationship with Yanni Melas, who is a gem hunter. And he is the reason why Pink Sapphire from Ilakaka was mined in the first place. He, he, he found, he found, he, he, he kind of, um, um, he was the main uh, gem prospector when uh, the big deposits of the pink sapphires were discovered in Ilakaka in northern Madagascar. Um, there's a famous photo of him sleeping on all of the rough that was mined, uh, just to kind of uh, to kind of guard it almost. And it's because of our relationships with people like that that we were contact. We were one of the first. Um, uh, gem dealers, uh, Western gem dealers, to, to be uh, contacted about this new discovery. We bought as much as we could afford to, but back in 20, about 2017, 2018, the mine closed. Nothing more. That's it. It's finished. It's gone. That ship has sailed. What we have now is what we have. And Wayne, uh, our, our head gemstone buyer, uh, it's, it's one of his absolute favorite gemstones. It was always top of his list whenever he goes to Jaipur, whenever he speaks to all of our contacts all over the world. He cannot get hold of it. He just can't get hold of it. The only pieces he can get hold of are kind of five times the price that we would have paid for these strands that we've got here for you today. Um, it makes it, it would make it probably the most expensive gemstone for us to source out of all the gemstones, be it jade, be it diamonds, be it sapphire, whatever it is, it would be the most expensive gemstone per carat, probably the most expensive gemstone per carat we have ever bought. So we can't afford it. What we have today, we bought between 20, 2015 and 2017, 2018. That is it, that's all we've got. There is nothing more coming. Now, that's quite worrying times. We're talking here about one of the most remote mines in the world. Have a look at our first collection. 60 seconds and then we're bringing the graphics live. This is where the gemstone was mined. Right down the south, literally just a few kilometers away from where it was first discovered. These are the beautiful mountains, the kind of hills surrounding where the gemstone is mined. Madagascar is a vast island. It's, a world's, it's the third biggest island in the world. It's absolutely huge. Huge, huge, huge biodiversity. Huge ecosystem there. And um, it's the only place where you can get this gemstone. Well, not anymore. The mine is closed. It's gone. What you are looking at here are the last few remaining parcels of this gemstone we have. Now, yeah, we've, we've spoken about this color. We've spoken about this color a lot, and I've spoken about it with Debbie, with, with most of our guest designers. It's that Olmec teal greeny blue. It's an educated blue. It's been to Oxbridge. It's got a PhD, you know. It got, you know, straight A's at A-level. That, 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 that's that color. That's it. It's been to law school. It, 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 that's it. What is it about that colour? It's educated. It's how can a colour have that look? It's rich. It's powerful. Yeah, it is your Liberty Prince. It's the original William Morris kind of Liberty kind of colours. It's deep and rich and Victorian. Um, yeah, it's got the kind of colours that you'd expect to see in an oil painting. 
you know, those gorgeous, rich colours of the land that would have cost an absolute fortune. Absolutely incredible. This incredible gemstone was never commercially mined to the levels of the, in, in the north, in the north of your, um, in the north of your, um, uh, of uh, Madagascar. We're talking 20 miners who use pickaxes. They don't, there's no big machinery that there's, because there's not enough of this gemstone. This gemstone is painstakingly mined by hand and extracted from the ground. We're not talking about deep shaft mining at all. We're not talking about tanzanite mining with huge, great big kind of operations. You know, we're talking about literally pickaxes in the same way gemstones have been mined for thousands of years, in the same way that your lapis lazuli is still mined. Not like the Minas Gerais region of Brazil, where there's, you know, dynamite, where there's bulldozers, where there's, you know, mines bigger than, you know, as big as cities. This is small scale. This was small scale. Now, this gem is incredibly rare. It's also incredibly valuable. And in certain circles, your gem quality grandidiorite can reach $20,000 a carat. Look at this message. Um, I have this box set and several of your strands bought in a previous show. Absolutely gorgeous color and clarity. And that's it, Samantha. What you've got, thank you for that. What you've got here is incredible quality, incredible color. Your textbook clarity and color and caliber. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, I do have another slide that I wanted to show you. I've shown you uh, some slides previously. We had an early bird the other day of your, um, of your grandidiorite as well, which is really interesting. But uh, what I wanted to show you was, oh, here we go. Thank you, lovely. Uh, that, uh, no, this one, there we go. Um, this here, this is just an interesting, uh, an interesting little kind of excerpt from a website. Now, this is a gemological, I think IGS, uh, International Gem Society. This is written by Joel E. Aram. And he is, I, I don't know, he, he, he's, he's got a PhD. He's got a PhD, FGA, don't know what that means, International Gem Society. He knows what he's going on about. He's gonna know his gems. A rather rare mineral, lovely blue-green grandidiorite, is seldom seen in gem or jewellery collections. Hello. Hello, jewellery maker. Um, translucent material is sometimes cut into cabochons. Not here. Faceted pieces are very rare. Hello. But recent discoveries of transparent material may, brings, um, uh, may bring more to the market. Since its discovery in 1902, most gem quality grandidiorite has been translucent. Sorry, has, has, has been translucent. Cabochons cut from this material look very attractive and may even appear jade-like. Recent discoveries of transparent material in Sri Lanka um, and a new deposit in Madagascar have resulted in, a beautiful, in, in beautiful faceted gemstones. This is a guy who knows what he's talking about. And he's saying faceted pieces are very rare. Well, I don't know about you, but here I can see a recording. I can see a recording with seven of them, with seven faceted gems, seven of them. What you have got here has the clarity, has the color, has that punch that you're looking for. It's got that gorgeous, yes, yeah, some of them are gonna be more translucent. They're definitely not opaque. Some of them have got amazing clarity. Look at this slide here. Look at the price points on this slide here. $70, $1,311, two grand, that's for a cabochon. Has that got any clarity? Uh, no. I would say very big, very large, beautiful quality. Yeah, absolutely. That one, yeah, I mean, there are some big pieces. 8.97 carats, that, I mean, that's a big stone. It's a big stone. It's got no clarity though. What we're bringing you today is huge. Two and a half carats of grandidiorite in your faceted shapes. I've got six in this one here in these gorgeous ovals. The ones you're getting on that recording are ever so slightly different. Amazing color, amazing clarity. One, nine, nine. Oh my gosh. And we're not done, nowhere near done. Can I just say to you, I know I bought you a deal of the, sorry, an early bird the other week of your gorgeous um, granddaddy, right? That was wonderful. Please don't think this is going to happen every week. Please don't think this is going to be, oh, they're going to bring us a showcase every single week of granddaddy, right? No, because it's simply not the case. We have got so few strands, so few pieces um, with us in stock. We have nothing 
more on order. Nothing more on order, A, because it's incredibly difficult to get hold of, but B, we're having to pay, we're looking down the barrel of having to pay four or five times the price for grandidiorite, and that's trade. What's that going to do to things like this? 199 is going to be too low. Yeah, we try to be as close to trade as possible. There's no way we can do that. We can't afford to do that. Not with this gemstone. Linda, Julie, Vanessa, Susan, Jackie, Lauren. Oh, there's so many of you. There's billions of you there. Well done, everyone. Here we go. Price point coming in in three, two, one. Enjoy. This is your chance to get, I think, the one generational gemstone. For me, this is it. 99.99. Look at those split payments. 49.99, absolutely incredible. Well done, everybody. This is absolutely superb, an amazing deal, an incredible opportunity. And it's not your price. You have to be there for this. Now, Debbie, I can see your reaction to these. These are just incredible, aren't they? Well, teal is my favorite color. Yes, gorgeous. There's no other gemstone that has this color. Some of those fluoresce, like, you know when you see in the nature programs, the algae and at night it fluoresces? Yes. It reminds me of that. It's a mother nature colour. And I'm just thinking, I thought 99.99 was the price. And I'm thinking the value of the jewellery that you could make with just one of these. Now, Ollie's, Ollie's just saying, he, the teal is Olmec for me. Yes. Imagine how that's going to go with your red jade, with your Ooh. green jade, with your uh, with your black jade, with your nef, with your honey jade, with your mutton fat nef. I mean, it's just going to look incredible. White jade com uh, coming up, yeah, on Wednesday. That's going to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, we're at 99.99. 54321. Price point coming in. Enjoy, everybody. Just get as many of these as you possibly can. Neary's just saying he can't believe he's actually about to do this. Check <laughs> He's just, prepped the, he's just checked the price four times before he dropped it. This is way too low. Jane, Valerie's taken two lows. Well done to you. Don't say we never give you anything. 69.99. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's fair. In this pack, there's six of them. Absolutely amazing. Six of them. Hang around for the next hour and a half. Yeah, the, yeah, the next couple of hours, because honestly, it is absolutely incredible. 12 o'clock hour, by the way. Tooltastic. Tooltastic. <laughs> We have got so many tools coming up at the 12. It's going to be such an informative hour. You're going to learn so much. And please, so please do stay with us until then. Beverly, Muriel, Maker, Brenda, Vanessa, Susan, Jackie, Lorna, uh, Jane, Valerie's got two loads. Well done, my darling. Absolutely superb. Something about this gemstone. And yeah, I would say that some of these are not the $20,000 a carat uh, material. I don't care. I just want Grand Diddy, right? Just to own this for me is amazing. But some of them, you have to admit, have got the most insatiable clarity, the most incredible colour, the most incredible inner brilliance, and they are worth they are worth significantly more than $69.99. You know it, I know it, amazing. Well done, everyone. Fiona in Lancashire as well. Well done to you, just gorgeous. Yeah, Grandidiorite engagement rings, you know, you've got here the most incredible, incredible pieces. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that's so nice. Um, is this from Mark Smith? Oh, lovely. Mark Smith just sent us um, um, uh, a lovely message, actually, attached, uh, attaching a photo. One of his favourite paintings, The Kiss of the Siren. How beautiful. I have not seen that one before. It is very water-esque. It's very evocative of nature and water and... Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? But yeah, says it reminds me of Grand Didier, right? The blues you're getting in there are absolutely incredible. They really, really are. And it is very much of that kind of style of painting, yes. the, the blues. They're rich, they're intense, they're, they're, um, they're, they're, they're deep, they're interesting, aren't they? They're absolutely gorgeous. And she's got an amazing bottom. Um, <laughs> 69.99. I tell you what. Yeah, well done, everybody. Uh, gorgeous, an, an opportunity of a lifetime. Well done. Look at those split payments of $34.99. How wonderful is that? Just to own something like this is just incredible. Well done, everybody. Absolutely amazing. Go, go, go. Um, now, we do have some strands to do. Some beautiful strands, some gorgeous ombre strands. We've got all sorts still to bring you. Um, oh, gosh. Yeah, this... Mm, so we bought you the other day a gorgeous early bird and it was a collection of beautiful, smooth cabochons of Grandidiorite. 
They were incredible. And if there's one cut, I mean, Grand Didier right, suits a whole plethora of different cuts, highly faceted, amazing. But for me, when you've got a gem with this amount of color, this striking amount of energy, there is one cut that you just cannot go wrong with. And it's a cabochon kind of style, smooth, domed shape, whatever it is. And in this particular strand, these are oh, smooth ovals. These are incredible. They look like jelly beans, don't they? It's a but, strand yeah. of jelly beans you're getting here. They're like the most beautiful sea glass that you could ever imagine. Oh my gosh, can you imagine finding you Imagine walking glass? along a beach and picking <coughs> this up. I mean, no. it's, I love the <laughs> oh shape of it. It's, it's almost organic, like you could just pluck it out of nature. So we've, we've spoken about this style of cut before and we had to, it, it was months ago and we had, um, we had Dave on the show. And we were talking about now, what was it? I can't remember what the gemstone was, but we both decided this is like, we described this as a, a, as a native cut, almost as like a river worn cut. Yeah, yeah. Like it's been tumbled in a river. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Now you don't kind of alluvial mine for this gemstone, but you, um, but, but you know, you do dig into the ground. It's not alluvial mine like um, certain uh, sapphires. You don't pan for it in a river like you would for gold and sapphire. Um, you know, this is, this is dug up, but doesn't it just suit this glassy, cabochon, Bulgari, Boucheron style of cut? It seems to intensify that color, doesn't it? Or magnify the color almost. We're at 79.99, believe it or not, we're not done. Look at the size of this strand. It's got real energy. It's got real kind of power, hasn't it? It's got real pizzazz. Look at that color quality. I, it's so tactile. You know, in a gem, you just yes. want to touch it and hold it. It's beautiful, isn't it? On the strand, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 24, 26, just 27 on the strand. 27 of these gorgeous, yeah, grandidiorite jelly beans. I think that's the only way you can describe these. Amazing. Here's your deal. This is brilliant. Susan's already through. This is so lovely to see you all this morning. Thank you so much. Apologies for not being able to bring you the highlight, Opal. It is nothing I can do about it. I'm, all, all, all I can do is apologize. 49.99, thank goodness we've got the grand deal, you're right. Uh, Barbara, well done to you as well. You know, it is such an awesome gem. And what's so nice is as well, Debbie, is it's always so good. It's always so good to, um, it's always good to, see people's reaction people's passion yeah. for this stone is as much as ours it's great absolutely and i think you get such a large surface area of it yes that's a good with point. this strand yeah so you're getting a whole you know big gemstone window, window of color yeah. with this strand and that's what i really like gorgeous loads of you there check out your baskets we've got to move on blimey look at the time okay which is what love faceted rondelles big ombre strand Ooh. This is so cool. Now, most of these gemstones are sorted. They're not faceted, but they're sorted on site. And it's because of the value of the gemstones. Uh, most of them are sorted on site. Um, it's, it's, it's the journey from the mine, or it was the journey from the mine, to the local kind of deposits, um, which was the dangerous part. That's where you're, you're at risk of kind of ambush. But what you've got here is mentioned, and, and, I, and I showed you this article last week, but, I, but I'll show it to you again because it's just so cool. Um, have you got it, lovely? Um, in fact, I don't know whether I've got it on this particular PowerPoint. It might be on the one I bought you last week. Um, let me have a very quick look. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Um, but it was basically an article about the, about the most... Um, Oh, I don't think I've got it. It's an article about the most valuable substances on earth. So we're not talking about gemstones, we're talking about substances. So of course you've got things on there like per gram, saffron is right up there. Um, uh, lots of things I've never heard of, uh, but the most valuable substance in the world is antimatter. Um, and you think, well, gosh, that's, that's just crazy, but, but it makes complete sense, doesn't it? Grandidiorite features in that list. Grandidiorite, we're talking not just about gemstones, we're talking about substances anything and grandidiorite features in that in in that article which i just think is absolutely fascinating and it's from one loca it was from one location in madagascar right at the south there's nothing else there i looked at it on google maps today there's very little else there we're talking about a vast vast island and that's where this one gemstone i mean this is as close to madagascar as i'm ever going to go um, <laughs> i mean it's absolutely beautiful isn't it 
sorted at the mine, mined by about 20 miners, you know, not by thousands and thousands of miners, by about 20 miners, that's it. We're talking, ah, oh, here we go, yeah, this is the article. And it's, I mean, it's, it, it's only just to show you, it's only just to show you the slide, but I just found it fascinating. It's just such a cool thing to think that this gemstone is kind of featured on a list which you would never, ever think a gem, any gemstone would be on. Things like anti-venom and things like that, you know, they're on this list. Um, this is October 2022, last year. I don't know who that lady is. She looks very serious. Uh, but yeah, your grand diddy rights on there. It's crazy. $100,000 per gram or more. Absolutely crazy, isn't it? It's just amazing. Oh, and that's on a banking website, by the uh, uh, by the way. It's not even on. It's not even on a gemstone website. It's just it's crazy. Three more strands. That's it. Three more strands of Grand Diddy rights in the business. That's it. Quantities are literally non-existent. So unless somebody else has scheduled some Grand Diddy rights, that's it. That's it. That is it. Ninety-nine, ninety-nine is not your deal. Look at that ombre. Isn't that beautiful? I've got a strand like this. It might actually be this strand. And it's one of those strands that is in my special drawer and I get out and look at it, almost oh. like it's, you know, and then I put it back. I haven't done anything with it yet. I will. I'm sure you will. I will. You're going to wait for that right. I'm saving it because of the rarity and just the beauty. I think you're absolutely right to do that. And it's getting rarer, Debbie. It's getting rarer. That's the thing. Yeah. There's less of it around. It's becoming more expensive. $34.99. Just completely poo-poos what I've just <laughs> said, doesn't it? But, you know, it's amazing. We, we're in the very fortunate position here at Jewelry Maker where we, you know, bought these gemstones back however many years ago when when it was when the mine was still open just after it had been rediscovered don't forget the mine was only was only open for what four years is that it gosh it's pretty much gone um open for four years rediscovered gone <laughs> that's it you know yeah. we're not talking about the tanzanite mines that opened in 67 or oh, it might only be around for 15 years hang on that was 1967 it's still being mined today this is genuinely the half a generation gemstone. It really is, isn't it? Right, what are we doing? Star by. Oh gosh. S two to. I think I've got them here. Yeah. Two to three more graduated faceted rondelles. This is going to fly. It's a star by. Okay, here we go. So, um, I believe I've got the right. <sighs> Luster. That's not a word I would ever connect with Grand Diddy, right? No. I'd go colour. First foremost, colour. Colour, 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 colour. No, with this, I mean, yes, it's colour, but it's luster above, over and above everything. L you are kidding me. Okay, this is obscene. 20 carats of Grand Diddy. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh I know what that is Neri I can divide that I can work that out I, that's, actually a, that's actually a sum I can work it out Samantha, Susan, Jackie no oh gosh Neri right Grand Diddy right gemstone could you ask for more luster could you get more luster I mean this is crazy okay well if Wayne Del Paso is going to kick off He's not here today. Let's just do it. Stuff it. <laughs> Come on. Extenuating circumstances. Well, blame, blame it on Dan. Dan's not normally here. Blame it on Dan. You're right with that, Dan. You're going to blame all of this on you. He's fine. He's fine. <laughs> fine with it. Absolutely fine with it. Guarantee you, guarantee you, in 35 seconds, this is going to sell out in probably about 45 seconds. Maker on the Isle of Wight's got two. Ro Ronald in Lanarkshire. Gorgeous. Jenny, Samantha, suit. well done. Dawn, well done to you. Uh, Jenny in Wiltshire, absolutely phenomenal. Julia in Hertfordshire, 
15 seconds. This is crazy. We're at 49.99. Neri, you sure you can do this? You sure you want to do this? Stuff it. Come on, let's just do it. Gosh, we're going to get in so much trouble for this. Everything I've just told you. Think of that when you see this price. It's a pound of carrot. One pound a carrot. One pound a carrot. One pound a carrot. Here you are. Here's the Forbes. Here's the Forbes. What's it? Trevor. Trevor. Nice. He's, I tell you what, he's got a lot to answer for. He wrote this article. 12 most expensive gemstones in the world. Number three, grandidiorite. $20,000 a carrot. And I have to say, the grandidiorite you got in those tweezers, <laughs> compared to ours, absolutely ridiculous. One pound per carrot. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. There are over 4,000 minerals on earth, many of which we will never, which, many of which we will never see. I know, don't worry about it. We will never see in real life. Thank you for that, Neri. Whipping the, whipping the carpet out from underneath me there. Whilst I was reading that, well done. 19.99, this is about to sell out. Well done. Judith's got two, Julia's got two, Susan's got two. Did you seriously think when you woke up this morning and you got out of bed, I'm going to be able to multi-buy a strand of Grandidia right today on Jewelry Maker. No, because things like that never happen. Oh, today it is happening. Today it is your deal. Well done to everyone. Tracy, Christine, well done. Absolutely phenomenal. Well done, everybody. I'm over the moon for all of you today. Well done. Three, two, one, take those details. Take those away, Neri, no. He's taking them away. I don't blame him at all. Here we go. Right. Literally single figures left there. Four mils. Hang on. Is this a bundle? What is this? Is this one strand? Is that a bundle? Oh, so it's this. Ooh. I want this strand really bad. <laughs> Look at this strand. You need to take that down, Ollie, because that is just, that is so naughty. Oh, gosh. <laughs> this incredible gem. This incredible gem. Rediscovered over a hundred years later from literally just down the road from where this gemstone was first discovered in 190 something. 12 carats in total, only been to air once. It's about to sell out. 60 second clock. Oh gosh, gee whiz. You've, yeah, you've seen what we've just done. You've seen what we've just done. Oh gosh, these are absolutely beautiful. I love this story, this journey of Grand Dillier Wright you're getting here. These are four mil rounds, beautiful size, gorgeous shape. Lisa, Jackie, Julia. Julie, sorry, Susan, well done to you. 30 seconds and we're taking the price down. Well done, everybody. Absolutely gorgeous. Go, 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 go. Well done, everybody. 99.99, not your deal today. You know, when you see articles online talking about rare gemstones and this is the grand didierite that they get. This is the grand didierite that they show you. And look at ours. Oh my gosh, it's literally chalk and cheese. Literally, I love cheese too, Neri. It's absolutely amazing, isn't it? Well done, sorry, the gemstone, not cheese. Well, cheese is amazing. 29.99, that is absolutely obscene today. Well done, everybody. Julie's got two in Bridge and Mary, Maker, Lisa, Jackie. Well done to you as well, amazing. Something about these in rounds, it's that, that shape looks precious doesn't it it looks really precious and you know you can have that on your wrist and just yeah admire it and there's something about having a rare gemstone as a designer oh baby it's just beautiful but i have to be honest i'd be making it for me i think <laughs> yes that's it it's one of those things that you get and you want and you and you just you just keep it for yourself it's so precious looking isn't it and it is precious let me tell you that mary well done to you as well lots of people coming through beverly well done to you 
Lanarkshire County Durham well done to you 29.99 add it to your order as soon as you can what a deal <gasps> oh oh gosh okay right the only way I can bring you granddaddy right now is is just by bringing you other little bundles of other gemstones which feature granddaddy right as well that's literally it um it's not a bad thing you get lots of other gemstones but you know this is this is as good as I can do, okay? It just so happens that it's been collected, it's been collated with um, some absolutely beautiful gem. Look at the state of that peridot. <laughs> that is proper peridot. <gasps> Look at that tantalite. Just scouring the internet for Grandilio, but couldn't find any decent. Well done, JM. So happy, says Julia. Thank you, my darling. Uh, thank you very much. It, 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 it's great, isn't it? Um, Granddaddy right maker, GM, there you go. Um, so here we go. You got your peridot. That is lovely stuff. There's your tanzanite. Oh my gosh, great with the peridot, isn't it? Then you've got this. Is this, hang on, have you got the, what is that? It's not, that is amazing. Pink tourmaline. Those three colours look amazing together, don't they? Then, the most amazing Ethiopian opal. Wow, wow, wow. And then, Grandidiorite. Oh my gosh. Then you've got your incredible grandidia right five strands in total ronald jackie julie in bridge end well done to you look at the quality of that tourmaline that is proper 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 tourmaline do you know what so much that i'd go as far to say that's almost um rubellite that's kind of your red variety of tourmaline isn't it gorgeous samantha well done to you my lovely lots of you there look at the quality of that incredible opal Absolutely beautiful. 79.99, not your deal. Let's give you a minute clock here. We go, go, everyone. Well done. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. The colors look so wonderful together, don't they? Look at that grand, did it? Look at those rounds you're getting there. Isn't that just stunning? 0800 644 655. Well done. The, the way that uh, uh, Peridot has been faceted is uh, it, it's absolute genius, isn't it? Gorgeous. Well done. Do you know what, Neri? This is about to sell out. Just bring the price in, love. Go on. What's he doing? Hang on. Is this a mid clock crash? It's a mid clock crash. I like this. 29.99. <gasps> That's not the deal. Tanzanite, pretty much rubellite. Peridot, Ethiopian Opal, and Grandidiorite. Oh my gosh, we're gonna go lower. Elizabeth, Barbara, well done to you. What are you doing? What is happening? Four pounds a strand. <laughs> are you trying to kill me? Four pounds a strand. What on earth are you doing, Neri? <laughs> Four pounds a strand. Neri, how can you do that? Do you feel, how do you feel? He's not even talking to me. He's not even talking to me. Nineteen ninety nine. Now, I'll be honest with you. The twelve o'clock is looking extraordinarily good. It's all about tools. The eleven o'clock, which is nine minutes away, Neri. I'll be honest with you. I haven't got a clue what we're going <laughs> to do. This was meant to be the eleven o'clock hour. Ten chances left. Oh gosh. Well, that's eight minutes away. Eight minutes is a long time in telly, though, it isn't is, it? It's yeah. a long old time. It's a lot you can do in eight minutes. If I was given an eight-minute break at the top of the hour, I could literally nip home, have a cup of tea, nip back. <laughs> it's amazing what you can do on, like, a two-, three-minute break. It really is quite incredible. Well done. Genuinely, 
I've never been in this position before where we just, where we don't actually know what's happening in the next hour. Anything, do you know what, stuff it. Should we just do like a click? Text him, what do you want to see in the next hour? Tools. <laughs> that's in the 12, Debbie. And, well, you know, you can never have enough hours, really. I know, that's it, isn't it? Right, what are we doing? Um, no. Kinga. Where have you been hiding these? Oh, it's oh, with wow. those. They are oh, stunning. I see. Look at I see. That. Just giving me half a half an amount there. Oh gosh. There you are. Nuggies. <gasps> droppies. Elongated droppies. Do you know what? Faceted rounds. <gasps> oh, wow. Baby, baby, baby. Five strands of Grandidiorite. That's jewelry makers heaven. Heaven right there. Look at all of those. Yeah, not a bundle of different gems. Literally all Grandidiorite. Absolutely stunning. Oh, my gosh. 30 seconds, we're taking the price down. I've got Ollie and Neary arguing about what we're going to do in the next hour. This is, I mean, it's a constructive conversation. Oh gosh, don't, don't, don't throw things like black shade carvings around. That sounds amazing. Oh my gosh. Yes, let's do that. There's loads of stuff. We could do a pr oh, No, uh, right, uh, uh, this is something we can talk about maybe on the break, I don't know. Oh, gosh, what are we going to do? Uh, Susan, Anne, well done to Julie. Loads of you there. Whatever we do in the next hour is going to be exceptional. And we're just, I'm stuff it. I'm on my own head. We're going to take things lower than we should be going. Yeah? Okay. Anne, well done to you. Julie and Bridget has got two. Well done to you. 29.99 for five strands of Grand Daddy. All right, let's just go for it. Just go for it. You can tell that Neary's head really is just all over the shop at the minute. Yeah, six pounds a strand. Absolutely amazing. Valerie, you've got two there. Well done to you, Beverly, Hazel, and Susan. Uh, the two left. Gail in Gloucestershire could go to you, my love. There's two left. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in baskets for the last one. Right, star by. We haven't got time for the thing. Okay, here we go. Right, all of these. Not your best display, Kinga, I'll be honest with you. Gee, <laughs> Off. Been <laughs> off for a two weeks, comes back. <laughs> Gee, it's all right. <coughs> well, that's not all of them. And neither's that. Oh, my gosh. Garnet, yeah, look at them all. Right, here we go. Oh, oh gosh, here we go. Right, hang on, where is it? Oh, yeah, granddaddy, you're right. There we go. Multicolour spinet. Oh, great. That's going to be one of the most difficult ones to... Tanzanite. Yeah, go on. Oh, gosh, yeah, got the garnet. Yeah, lovely. Peridot, yeah, got the peridot. Yeah. Labradorite. Rose quartz, you're an absolute beauty. Green amethyst. Oh, one of my favourites. Citron. Citron, citrine. Here we go. White moonstone. Oh, blimey. All right, love. Emeralds. Yeah, there we go. Running out of fingers. Lapis lazuli. Amethyst. There you go. Oh, gosh. Hang on, clear quartz and lemon quartz and multicolored spinel. Oh gosh, it's all here. It's the who's who. This is this is like now what I call music 18. That was my first now what I call music album. This is all the hits. This is Charles and Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> Snap. And uh, oh gosh, there were lots of them. Uh, well done. Naughty, naughty, neary. Yes, isn't he just? Isn't that great? I love Naughty Neary, he's great. Muriel, well done to you, Chrissy Maker, Hazel, Mary, Elaine. 99.99 is not your price point. Honestly, I mean, I'm not doing a much better job with displaying these, could I? Kinga could do better. <gasps> oh, Debbie, don't say that. She will literally hunt you down. She will. She knows where you live. No, she doesn't, she's got no idea. Northamptonshire, she'll get there before the end of the show. <laughs> don't worry. Uh, yeah, you've got how many strands here? 15 strands. Look at this. Check out your price. Twenty nine ninety nine. That means each one of these strands is two pounds each. 
That is ridiculous. Amazing. Well done. Loads of you there. Chrissy's got to... Oh, my gosh. Go, 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 go. $29.99. Beverly. Well done to you, my lovely. This would work beautifully with your gorgeous nine o'clock kits, wouldn't it? it yeah, lovely, because you could use your birthstones and have a drop as a charm. That would oh, be really cute. gorgeous. Cute, cute, cute. Absolutely. Yeah, you get your birthstones. I like that, Spinel. That's lovely. Una, well done to you, Barry. Well done to you as well. Dorset, Mary in Cambridgeshire. You want two of these. Well done to you. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Okay, you've literally got 30 seconds and then we're taking the details away. Well done to you. Absolutely amazing. Can I ask you a very quick favour as well? Anybody who's watching now... Anybody who is watching now who's bought pearls from us in the past and maybe you've taken those pearls and you've got them valued, send us in your valuation, just by message, just by text, okay? What we've got now is utterly, utterly spectacular. It's a star by, oh my gosh, it's amazing. I don't know where we've got this from, go. I really feel like Neri. You know those times when you just think, do you know what? Dave's not here today. Yes, a little bit un underprepared. That's okay. So what are we going to do? We're going to put in one of the most valuable strands of gems that we have ever had on Jewelry Maker. Why not? You may have seen this slide before. This is the slide which really needs no introduction. This is the iconic strand of Zhuzhang pearls. Um, these pearls are, oh, well, where do you even start? We were in a very fortunate position during the COVID-19 um, pandemic in, uh, in, in many ways, um, in the fact that we were still very much operational, which was great. Um, very scary at the beginning. It was kind of a little bit uncertain. Nothing really was COVID safe. But, but then as we kind of eased into it, it was so wonderful to be able to come into work. Um, and we were in a very fortunate position that we were able to transmit. We were able to bring you things. We were still able to buy gemstones. We were able to do lots of, um, lots of exciting things. Um, we were still very much open, business as kind of usual. But there were lots of people around the world who, um, who in, in the gem industry who suffered massively. Um, mines, lots of mines had to close. Um, and other countries obviously didn't have the benefit of things like furlough, so people had to go and find work elsewhere. So a lot of the people who were working in, in uh, cutting houses or they were mining for gemstones went to work in factories putting, I don't know, mobile phones together or making ventilators, whatever it may be, and a lot of those people haven't returned to the mines. So there's a lot of people uh, who are still feeling the aftershock of the COVID-19 pandemic. And... Um, what we've got for you today is an opportunity that we had uh, back during the pandemic where we were offered the chance to secure a deal, a closeout deal on the most legendary strand of pearls I think we've ever managed to source. We've always made it very, very um, plain and been very transparent about how much we love our pearls, how seriously we, do, how seriously we take our pearl buying. We visit the pearl farms whenever we can. We um, have a great relationship, which has been, you know, over a decade with the Pearl Farms. And we try to go direct to source wherever possible. Now, we were offered an opportunity by one of our Pearl vendors out in the Far East who were getting ready to go to the Hong Kong Gem Show, which is where main, 
which is where many of the top quality and caliber pearl strands are sold. And they're taken to Hong Kong um, from wherever they are farmed, be it the Akoyas, be it Japan, be it, um, be, it, be it China. And they're sold back into the Far East. Uh, money is no money is no uh, object. So it's literally just like, yeah, whatever, whoever the highest bidder is. And it tends to be somebody over in the Far East. These pearls were never meant to leave the Far East. These incredible pearls come from the Pearl River and the Pearl River Delta in China. Just to, just to show you how affluent this area is, there is a little chart at the bottom, in the bottom corner of this um, slide, which shows you the disposable income per capita in these areas. So the areas in blue are, uh, you've got Beijing at the top, moving south, you've got Shanghai, you've then got uh, Guangzhou and Hong Kong, which are very, very close to each other. I've visited Guangzhou before. It's a huge industrial city. And just literally around the corner is Hong Kong. There's a little island off Hong Kong, which is a gambling island known as Macau. Um, and Macau, as you can see, is head and shoulders above all the rest. But this little area here, you can see here, you've got Guangzhou, Hong Kong and Macau, three of the most affluent areas in the Far East within just a few, a few hundred miles of each other. That really is incredible. That really is incredible, yeah? To have so much money concentrated here. So that's why these pearls, which are literally, which literally come from this river delta just up here, the Pearl River Delta, these pearls are from here. They're taken to Hong Kong to be sold. And then they're just gonna be redispersed around this area here. That's it. That's gonna be the journey of the pearl. But they're over here in Redditch. Now, we've been used to bringing you pearls for years on Jewelry Maker. Valuations, now what I'm about to show you is not for this strand, obviously. But look at this. Um, uh, this, is, this is from a few months ago. Well, this is from last year, I would have thought. So, you know, you know it's probably not going to be massively up to date. But just look at these. These are two pearl strands I had valued. The peach pearls were from a kit I got several years ago. It contained three strands, findings, and a threading pack, which cost $17.95. Gee whiz, that's an absolute bargain. Just the strand was valued at £100 alone. I've added sterling silver findings to it and knotted it. And it was valued at £190 to £200 then. So... That's, that turned, that's gone from being £100, doubling the price of it when you make it into a necklace. The white strand was bought from you at 6 95 Obviously, we're not talking about the pearls that we've got for you today. Um, valued, uh, sorry, 6 95 It was valued at £140 as a strand. JM pearls are beautiful and a total bargain. That's from lovely Wendy. Now, those are your freshwater pearls. We've had a live message into the show. Who's this from? I wonder. Donna. Now, Donna in Greater Manchester says, I bought a strand of six by seven mil potato pearls from JM for $7.99, took them for valuation and was told between 150 to 200 pounds. And that was before using them. Now, guest designer Susie loves her pearls as well. When she gets strands of pearls like this from Jewelry Maker, you know, she will make this into a necklace and it'll be sold for four figures. Please don't think, please don't think that because of the prices we do here on Jewelry Maker, that that's what your pearls are worth from a price point of view. It's simply not true. What you are getting here is a trade deal. What you're getting here is an opportunity that we took advantage of so that you can take advantage of it. These Zhuzhang pearls you are going to be getting here with this incredible color array with your lavender white to papaya is absolutely incredible. Strand wise, oh yeah, all totally natural in color. Totally natural quality you're gonna be getting here. Now, quantity wise, what are we looking at Neri? We have eight chances available, that is it. That is it. 
please don't think that this what this that, that this price is what these pearls are worth. What you are getting here is significantly it is significantly higher in quality and price than what you are about to see. £349. I think you take that strand into a jeweler's without doing anything to it. I would be gobsmacked if they valued it at anything under about £500. And what you've got here in jewellery is not only a state jewellery, is not only an heirloom of the future, but that is four-figure jewellery right there. And in some places, maybe even five-figure jewellery. Another valuation live into the show. This is great. Bought a strand. This is from Kerry in Staffordshire. Thank you, my love. Bought a strand of nucleated pearls from yourselves for £69, valued at £450 in a knotted necklace. Oh, my gosh. It's so good. Now, Debbie, I mean, I know you, you, you know, you've, you've got many a strand from us here at Jewelry Maker. You know, you know the value of these, don't you? You've been lucky enough to work with some of them as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. I mean, I've taken pictures when I've been away and I've seen pearls in, in jewellers' windows and I've put it on my page to show people a very similar necklace. I saw it in a jewellers in the Isle of Wight and it was like £1,400. And there weren't as many pearls as this. It did have some spaces in. Um, and if you look at these, you can just tell they are just absolutely perfect, aren't they? They're perfect. But to think that these colours are natural is mind-blowing. The natural tones you're getting here it's are... amazing. ...mesmerising. The size, the shape... Yep. These are enormous... They're huge, ...pearls they? you're getting here. Yeah. Sorry... Yeah, there are six chances left. There's so many in baskets. Uh, but I don't know what's going on with the computer. We've got six opportunities. Six for definite left, okay? <clears throat> okay, here we go. It is going to be available on split pay today. An astonishing deal. Two, nine, nine. <laughs> Split payments of £74.75. and pence. I mean, yeah. How, where do you even, how do you even, how do you even begin to value something of this calibre? This is astonishing. Yours today, £299. Anybody else who has had, who has bought pearls from us here at Jewelry Maker and had them valued, you know, please do send us an evaluation, kind of, you know, just, just by message. Always great to hear from you. Always great for your input. I can see. How many do we have in baskets there, Neary? Neary? Neary, how many have we got in baskets, lovey? Can you tell me? Or can we see? You're actually kidding me. Let We've got 27 in baskets. 27 in baskets. Oh, my gosh. We are at 29. I cannot believe this. Margaret in Cumbria. I made a necklace, earring and bracelet for my sister from two strands costing £14.99 each. She had them valued at £330. Oh, Margaret, I bet you and her were absolutely over the moon. That's incredible. We've got so many people there. Baskets, Janice Louisa, Samantha, Judith, Maker on the Isle of Wight, Elaine, Teresa, Susan, Brenda, Maker, Maker in Dorset, Maker in London, Beverly, Maker, Janice. Oh, my gosh. Look how many we've got in baskets. Thank you so much. Can I just say, the reaction, the amount we've got in baskets, that's down to you. That's down to you sending us your valuations. You know, this is not something, you know, this is not something we've made up. These are our viewers, our customers, sending in valuations. It's absolutely incredible. Absolutely amazing. Well done, everybody. What a deal for you today. I believe we've got three chances left. Maker, you've got three in your basket. Brenda's got two in a basket. Cambridgeshire. Oh my gosh. Go, 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 go. Add as many ever. Just, just, just add as much as you can to your order today as you possibly can. We've got two, we believe, left. But with, look, 20, 30 in baskets. It's absolutely bonkers. Check out as soon as you can. Well done, everybody. We're going to leave that open as we go to the break. What's coming up after the break? I wish I could tell you. <laughs> We're going to try and get you off the back of that, because that was amazing. You seem to be liking pearls. We're going to try and get you as many different strands of pearls as we can. Some of them, uh, a lot of them won't be in the studio. Apologies for that. But, you know, we want to bring you a great hour. Uh, different prices as well. A lot of low quantities. We'll try and bring some brilliant, brilliant deals as well. 
please don't forget any any pearl valuations that you've got you bought strands of pearls from us here at jewelry maker you've had them valued let us know text us because it's invaluable that information don't go anywhere don't forget 12 o'clock it's all about tools we'll see you in a sec Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide, this will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. to know what's going on in the next show then head over to our website click on the tv guide this will tell you who's presenting which guest we have joining us along with what's going on in each hour if you ever miss a show you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show you can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy catch up on jewelry maker 
Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Okay. Do you know what? When, when, when you don't know what you're going to do... <laughs> Look at those. Oh, my goodness me. They are stunning. When you don't know what to do, bring out the pearls, I say. <laughs> <clears throat> And we've got different price points, lots of different price points, lots of different price points. Oh my gosh, 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 gosh. Oh, look at the colour of those. Oh, look, who's this message from, Debbie? This is from Janet and she says, Hi, lovely folks. Bought a strand of pearls from you at £10.99 and made mum a necklace. Valued at £190 to £220. And that's from Janet. I'm not surprised by this because our pearls are incredible. 10.99. It's a no-brainer if you make to sell our pearls. It's a no-brainer. Beautiful pearls. Neary, could you bring the other messages live that we had as well? The other text messages. Is that all right? Margaret. I made a necklace, earrings and bracelet for my sister from two strands costing £14.99 each. She had them valued at £330, Margaret. Result. Result. Donna, Greater Manchester. I bought a strand of 6 by 7 mil potato pearls from you for £7.99 and took them for a valuation and was sold between £150 to £200 and that's before even using them. What does Kerry have to say? I've got to send this to Neary. This is another, another comparison. Can you read that? I'll read it. Bought a strand of nucleated pearls from yourselves, sixty-nine pounds uh, for sixty-nine pounds, and <laughs> really, it was valued at four hundred and fifty pounds, <laughs> made up into an. That's just necklace. hilarious. So add a little bit of silk and a clasp, and you got four hundred and fifty smackers. What do you? I mean, what? That's... What do you even? Where do you even begin to? Where do you even begin to? buy anything where yeah. the valuation that you get goes up that much goes up you're always told the minute you buy a brand new car you drive it off the forecourt yes. you lose two thousand pounds that's it boom what what else can you buy where without doing anything with it at all as many of you have said you know some of you have made lovely pieces but this is before you know some people have done anything to it at all the value goes up that much but you've only got to look in a bridal boutique to see how much they charge for their jewellery. And some of it, yeah. yes, is lovely, but some yeah. of it is quite basic. Yes. Um, and I, I went to get my daughter's prom dress the other day, and they have a, it's a bridal boutique, but they have the prom stuff upstairs. And I was waiting, and I sat, and I deliberately go and look at the jewellery, because I think, is there something, like, special about this? You yeah. know, is it worn by Angelina Jolie or something? Because it's uh, yeah. hundreds of pounds. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, surely this has got to be different than I can make for the amount they're charging. Yeah. Like, no offence to bridal boutiques. I know they've got all the overheads and everything. But my point being that you only have to look at what they charge for a tiara or a strand of pearls in a bridal boutique to know what you can sell your finished jewellery for. You go to bridal boutiques, I remember getting a veil and um, for my wedding and um, there was just a veil, lovely veil, lovely quality and on the back, uh, and, and there was a, a, a kind of a grip, like a hair comb on it. Um, the veil was something like 120 pounds, whatever, you know, it, it's your wedding, it's yeah. expensive, whatever. The, the comb was plastic. That's what I mean. And it had kind of crystal, Swarovski crystal or something sewn onto the back of it. And I just thought, oh gosh, that's just, that's just so, that's so over, but for me, and, and you know, the, you know and, and so I bought my own veil, I added my own metal uh, comb on the back of it and, and stitched uh, emeralds into it. And it was probably a quarter of the price. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> 
Have you got that near me? I've just sent you an email with a load of value with, with a couple of valuations on. Okay. Um, so really, was it was it really that? Oh gosh, you see, this is this is interesting. Um, so uh, when Ollie got married, which is a year before me, so what you've been married what? Oh, 14 years this year. 14 years this year. Uh, 12 years this year, yeah. Um, you uh, you spent how much? But well, Sheila uh, made all the uh, made all the bridal jewelry and the bridesmaids jewelry, and you spent eleven pounds on each bridesmaid. I'm not I'm not being funny. On, on the high street, what would you get for eleven pounds per bridesmaid? You wouldn't even get a stretchy bracelet, you know, in pearls. No. You wouldn't even get a stretchy bracelet. And people are having more and more bridesmaids these days. <clears throat> so this is from this is from a couple of years ago. So please excuse you know that, but you know it is it is relevant. Pearl valuation. This is from Fran, lovely Fran in London. Um, didn't use a full strand, which I purchased for thirty for less than thirty pounds. So this is a valuation wrist wear. It's a bracelet. It's a double bracelet that she's made there. Um, she didn't use the whole strand. It was valued at one hundred and ten pounds. This is an email from Sue, which I got. Um, and it says, hi, Carol, it's Sue. Yes, I made the necklace. This is for a deal of the day that we had ages ago. Natural multicolor pearls are my favorites and the iridescence on, is amazing. I would have no problem at all asking three to 400 pounds for them. And I believe we did that strand for something like, um, for something like 99 pounds or something like, you know, it's, it's just you, you, the quality you are getting here at Jewelry Maker And the potential. Oh, the colour of these. So let's take one pearl. Let's take one pearl. Yeah. Yeah, so one thing that we do better. If, if, we, ha if we only have one gemstone from here to eternity on Jewelry Maker, and it was the one gemstone that was going to keep Jewelry Maker afloat, pearls. Pearls. Every day. Every day. There are people who, do, I mean, I probably shouldn't tell you this. There are people who, you know, industry professionals who just buy pearls from us. They don't buy anything else, just buy pearls. And they buy maybe the threading materials, you know, the, the silk and things like that. But that's it. Um, and that's, you know, that's absolutely fine. But, but we have really made a name for it. We've carved a name for ourselves in, in the industry. That pearl, that pearl there, one on a, one on a head pin. How much are you going to sell that for? Well, yeah, you go and look on any of the mid-range designers' websites. Put that on a paper link chain, very similar to the 9am kit chain, on a bracelet with one of those, and they're all over £100. Yeah, £129, £149. Now, there's a suite of jewellery. Now, everybody knows if that's £129 for three pearls, you're not going to charge three times the amount. You're going to charge even more because it's a suite. It's, a, it's done. Yeah. It's ready-made. That, in certain circles, yeah, easily 500 pounds worth of pearls right there. But here, you've got all of these. Wow. Oh my gosh. I love the color. Yeah, this lavender tone oh. you are getting here, exceptional. That color, by Is the it way. natural? Natural. Seriously? Totally natural. There was a Whoa. there was a story um, a few years ago about somebody who found a purple pearl in in an oyster that they were eating, oh. and about how rare that was. Look, nothing like these, as in size wise, it was absolutely tiny by comparison. You get this purple colour naturally by the, from the lip of the oyster, so around the edge. Very very unusual colour to get. Arguably the rarest colour to get. This along with blue, um, is 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 the rarest colour to get. Um, we're going to go to the lowest ever price. Well, why not? We've got nothing to lose today. We've got nothing to lose. We meant to have Dave with us in the last hour. Grandidiorite was meant to be this hour. We did Grandidiorite in the last hour. We had nothing to do in this hour, so we thought, stuff it. Let's just do <laughs> big, beefy pearls for lowest prices ever. Would you mind counting these? No, not at all. So, you can touch them. So, we've, we've shown you, we've shown you comparisons. I bought this strand from Jewelry Maker and you know the three strands were 17.99. Amazing, incredible. 10.99 strand. Valued valued 100% higher. There's 32 there and they're different um, shapes and sizes so fabulous for designing. Um, just slight variations and slight they're just oh. Okay. 
That colour, I can't believe it's natural. I mean, I don't, not in a way that I don't believe it's natural. It's just, just, I'm absolutely flabbergasted that it's natural. It's just stunning. Mother Nature's treasures. 499 divided by, how many was it? 32. 32. That's going to be 11 pounds. 11, 12 pounds. <laughs> 15 pounds, 62 a pearl. And you could literally sell one of these for 10 times that price and make the easiest necklace, the easiest pendant, the easiest. And keep the rest. <laughs> and keep the rest, yes. <laughs> Amazing, okay. Lowest price these have ever been. Lowest price this has ever been to. We're not taking 50 pounds off. We're not even taking 100 pounds off. I tell you what, we're not even taking 150 pounds off. We're gonna take 200 pounds off that price. It's the lowest price these have ever sold at. Lowest price ever for these 10 and a half to 13 mil natural lavender pearls. This is an opportunity to make money. This is an opportunity to make profit. This is an opportunity, but off the back of all of these comparisons we've shown you, all of the comparisons we've shown you, the ones which we've prepared and the ones which have literally been sent in over the last hour from our viewers. Okay. How many of these do we have, Neary? Please tell me we've got a decent amount. 11. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Gee whiz. That's it. 11 available. Valerie Susan Maker, Maker, Maker in Cambridgeshire, Anne in Nottinghamshire, Maker in Dorset. 20 odd seconds. 32 pearls here. Oh, my gosh. These are absolutely incredible. The quality... The colour, the natural colour you've got. Look at that natural colour you're getting there. Un -be that's an ombre one there. That is amazing. We're already at the lowest price ever at 299. We're going to go lower. Geraldine in Surrey, well done to you. Go, go, go. Absolutely amazing. How many of this did we commission when we first made it? 30. That is it. Your deal, 299. Nope. We're going lower. 299 is the lowest price they've ever been taken down to. We're about to go even lower. Sue in Bedfordshire, well done to you. Here we go. 249 pounds. Oh my gosh. That is 50 pounds lower than the lowest price ever. That is amazing. And you're getting here approximately 32 natural lavender pearls. Ladies, stunning. Boom, money maker. <laughs> yeah, Caroline. Caroline knows as well. She buys all of our pearls here from Jewelry Maker. Look at these baskets. They are absolutely rammed. We had every reason to do this today because, of course, you know, it, it, today's show has not gone to plan. Uh, but we've adapted. We've reacted. We've gone off what you seem to be loving, which is the pearls. And off the back of all of your incredible valuations, we're able to bring these to you for the most sensational prices. These purple pearls are so beautiful, would look so pretty with kunzite and cream Ooh, yeah. Uh, pearls. Yeah, Jill, I totally agree with you there. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. I think as well with the lovely ruby red, they'd look amazing as well. Gillian in Tyne and where if you want these, check out my darling. Well done to you. Uh, Maker in Cambridgeshire, Judith in Surrey. If you want these, five chances available. That literally is it. With one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, ten in baskets. Helen in Suffolk. If you want it, go for it. Do it now. That is an amazing hand. Look, just... 249, I, you know, look at this, look at this. When we talk about magic numbers with pearls, we talk about sizes, we talk about seven mil or 10 mil. I'm gonna pick up the largest pearl and the smallest pearl. 778 a pearl, that's the largest and the smallest, yeah? When we talk about seven mil or over, we're talking about something very, very valuable, very rare, very desirable. Anything over 10 mil, we're talking about something exceptionally rare. All of these pearls are over 10 mil. Some of them are over 13 mil. Wendy in the United Kingdom, Helen in Suffolk, Judith in Surrey, you've got to go. Four chances remaining, an hour, sorry, an hour, 60 seconds, and then we are going to take the details away. Well done, I've got so many in baskets. Four left and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 in baskets for the last three. Well done, check out my loves. Oh, there's another one in baskets. I, can't, I don't know who that is actually. Another maker. Oh my word, well done. Go, 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 go. They are superb. They are absolutely amazing. And that natural color, 
natural. Can I just say one pearl with a hint of that colour, but you've got 32 naturally coloured pearls. Can I just say? <gasps> yes, you can. Right. This. <laughs> Thanks, Susan. Oh my god. 150 quid at a wedding fair any day of any the week. Any day of the week. Paper yeah. link chain, can be gold plated, verme, whatever. One pearl, 150 pounds. You're getting all of these for 249. I would do that every day of the week. And you know, it's incredible. So you know, you've made your money back with like one, two pearls, depending yep. on what you do with it. Absolutely. I could not agree more. We have three left and uh, yeah, about 15 in baskets. Crazy. Okay, we've got a star by coming up now. Time for, this sounds crazy, Tahitian <gasps> Keshi's oh. star by. When, when do you see where these incredible pearls are from? Geo, geographically. It's just, there's nothing there other than ocean. And I don't need, do you ever go on Google Maps and it, and it really bends my mind as to how huge our planet is. Oh, and how, how densely populated it is where we are and how isolated it is where these pearls are from. Um, you have a vast expense, expense, expanse of nothing but ocean. And then dotted, not too far from the international date line, not too far from, oh my gosh, literally there is nothing there apart from little French Polynesian islands scattered wow look at that paradise that's Tahiti and surrounding it can you see the really beautiful lagoon blues look at oh my gosh this is crazy that puts it into perspective. Literally one of the most isolated regions in the world. What's that, to the, what's that to the left of French Polynesia, I wonder? I don't know what that collection of islands is. Maybe the Cook Islands? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, my, my, my geography is not that good. I always thought New Zealand was north of Australia as well. It's not south, but anyway. Yeah, look at it on Google Maps. You can't even see it until you zoom in. You can't actually see. The islands are so small. They're smaller than a pixel on a computer screen. <laughs> and you look at how vast places like China are. And Australia is. And where this... I want to go there. I'm going there after the show. <laughs> where these pearls are from. Collect pearls. And the pearl farms, where these are from... Um, the way it works is, is you get big people, big vendors like uh, Charlie Barron and other pearl investors who what they will do is they will effectively bankroll the pearl farming season. And what they'll say is, I will fund the next three years of pearl farming for you, but everything that I, everything, everything that you farm, I'm going to have or anything over a certain quality or a certain amount, I'm going to have. And that's brilliant because it provides a livelihood for the local community and that's absolutely wonderful. But it's, 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 it go, it's, it's, it's above and beyond a job. These people, the ladies in the local, in the local um, villages sing to the oysters oh. because they believe that that makes the mollusks more relaxed and it makes them produce better pearls. It's believed that um, in, in, in kind of the local areas that pearls are from are the kind of the t are connected with tears of goddesses and water and it just it, it makes complete sense um tahitian pearls are some of the world's rarest some of the world's finest and what you are getting here are these exceptional 
free-form Tahitian pearls, which are natural in color. Unless it's a Tahitian pearl, it's going to be dyed. You only get Tahitian pearls in these colors. Um, and these are genuine Tahitians. These are from as far away from the UK as it's possible to get, pretty much, there or thereabout. It is bonkers. I, how do you even describe the range of colour you're getting here? It's incredible. Debbie. I, I just think that a Tahitian pearl is the sort of pearl that you thought that you would never be able to afford to own. Totally. Let alone to make with. Like my mum had a Tahitian pearl necklace and I was like, oh, it's a Tahitian pearl. And it is that colour that sets them aside. You can tell that because it's not like any other pearl colour, is it? No. When we first launched Tahitian pearls, and uh, not even on Jewelry Maker, I can't remember when we first bought them to on JM, but I can remember the first time we launched them on... Um, on Gemporia and it was a, it was over a decade ago and I remember the designs that we did and I remember it being literally like you wanted to wear white gloves when you held mm. these pieces of jewellery because uh, it is such a such a rarity um these are incredibly beautiful I love the natural form of these I love the natural shape of these um you have got here such a narrow gene pool as well. Um, they are absolutely incredible. And I think a, a little bit like you, um, um, Debbie, with, with Tahitian pearls, I'd heard of Tahitian pearls before I'd heard of South Sea pearls. Oh, definitely. You know, of all of the kind of the seawater pearls and the rare rarest pearls I'd, I'd never heard of cortez pearls never heard of flame ball never heard of south sea but i'd heard of tahitian I oh yeah most people have yeah it's the sort of thing that you think that film stars wear and something to aspire to yeah isn't definitely it? Mm. nothing else like it and as you say there's no other pearl in the world like it color wise um 299 and in nottinghamshire susan in norfolk it's nowhere near your price have a look at the price point these launched at. This is embarrassingly low. This is embarrassingly low. Yeah. This is the price point these launched at. Ready? £149. Can you imagine what you'd, if you got those valued? That's why I smiled. I thought, imagine taking those to the jewellers. Freshwater pearls <laughs> that you can buy for, freshwater pearls you can buy for, you know, a tenner or whatever. You take them to be valued. Yeah, 10 times the price. Oh my gosh, that's absolutely amazing. Tahitian pearls, yeah. genuine Tahitians. And with this strand, please, can I say, please, 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 please get your authenticity certificate. Yeah. 25 pence. Anybody who's bought Tahitian pearls from us, please send us a message. What price did you buy them at? What price did you get them valued at? What an amazing size as well. I think the size of these are so workable. Yeah. So you could use them all together if you wanted a wow piece. But you could certainly use them in your earrings, in your rings, sort of anything really. Yes. Um, at this size. Mm. And then add a Tahitian pearl in. So Absolutely. you could put it with other pearls if you wanted to make your strand go a long way. You just put one of the darker ones in the middle of some other pearls. So it's still, you know, a pearl and Tahitian pearl piece yeah. of jewellery. Yeah. You don't have to use all of them. Now... Tahitian pearls are right up there with some of the world's most prestigious pearls, most popular pearls. They're a real status symbol, aren't they? And to own Tahitian pearls, you own something. It's like owning diamond studs or that little black dress. It's like own, it, 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 the name, the providence, the pedigree. We're at 149. We're nowhere near done. Your price point is coming in right now. Susan's taken to Karen in Hampshire, Karen in Berkshire. Anne in Hampshire, well done to you. Maker in Dorset, Anne in Nottinghamshire. Before we do the price, have a look at these. The Desire Collection, Baroque Tahitian and Pearl, uh, sorry, t Baroque Tahitian Pearl and Diamond Earrings, $530. They are lovely. Yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? Yep, like those a lot. Elizabeth, well done to you, my lovely. Enjoy. We're going. Come on, do it. You know you can. I like it when the producer says, let me double check. Hang on, I'm let me scared. double check. Let me triple check. <laughs> let me quadruple check. Lorna in five, Sandy in Manchester, ready? 99.99. Look at your embarrassing split payments of 33.33. <laughs> it's utterly ridiculous, isn't it? It must be amazing. an angel number, that 33.33, mustn't it? It must mean something good. Do you know what? Absolutely. And it <laughs> makes me feel so proud. Yeah. 
that we can do this. Swansea maker. Look, guys, we've literally bought you two opportunities in this hour. It's been ridiculous. Um, we hardly bought you anything. Um, we bought you great deals, don't get me wrong, but we haven't really played enough. We are going to have to move on in a couple of seconds. Anybody who wants us, just check out now. Chrissy, Jeanette, Leslie, Janet, maker, 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 Sandy, Lorna. Minute to close. That's it. Okay, because these are absolutely flying. Stephen and Susan, check out. Look, we've only got a few chances available. These are flying. They're absolutely amazing. Baskets are rammed. What have we got? 20, 30 in baskets almost? Elaine, Stephen and Susan, Chrissy, Jeanette, Leslie, Maker, Maker in Swansea, Maker, Lorna, Elizabeth, Anne, Maker, Anne. Well done to you, Carolyn, Devon. Look, and that's what we've got in baskets. 12 chances left. That is it. Noreen in Dorset, check out. There's no good in your basket. No good in your baskets. 10 opportunities remaining. Oh, my gosh. These are Tahitian pearls. Tahitian pearls for 99 pounds. Literally, the other side of the world. Well, it's just the reputation that goes with them for me. You, you think, sorry, you think to drive from here to, like, I don't know, the Alps in France is a day and a half. Yeah, yeah a day and a half. That's, that's literally a stone's throw. How long would it take you to drive? I mean, we talk about, we talk about, you know, um, uh, oh, you know, um, I remember I remember going to Borneo years ago and thinking, gosh, we're only 2,000 miles away from, um, uh, from Australia. You know, that's really quite close. Yes, it's close. But when you imagine the proximity of places like Tahiti mm -hmm. to big land masses, you are talking the most vulnerable, isolated regions of the world. I can't believe we're bringing you genuine Tahitian pearls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at least 10 calls waiting to be answered. Oh gosh. Yeah, there's a queue of about 10 or 11 of you. There's plenty more in baskets, but there's a queue of about 10 or 11 of you with these in baskets. Please, please. Mm. Oh, are they next? Oh, hello. My favourite necklace has got one of these on. I've had so many comments. One. <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. I don't know why, but I, this is making me think of... Do you know when you... I love, I love washing my um, bedding. I love doing it. Um, I change, tend to change my bed kind of once, once a week just because I love the feeling so much of getting into a bed oh, with yes. crisp, yeah. clean sheets. That feeling. I don't know why, but when I looked at this, I felt that, I felt that feeling, that satisfied, ooh, that's so worth it. So, that feeling, you sleep better, you feel like an absolute queen. You're just like, yes, this is so nice. <laughs> um, these are papaya pearls. Sorry, you were saying you've used just one of them in a piece. Just long line necklace. I bet you get, I bet, yeah. All the time. That's not a real pearl. I didn't know pearls came like that. And then you start a dialogue then. Do you remember, um, guest designer Kleshner, gorgeous yeah. woman. She would wear what, this is before we even did strands like this. She would wear one pearl on a chain. I remember always looking at it and going, Kleshy, that is just the absolute bomb, that pearl. Yeah, yeah. And then we started doing them and I was thinking, hang on a minute, jewelry like that, that's actually achievable. How on earth is this possible? The quality you are getting here is absolutely sublime. There's not enough superlatives. This is next level. Yeah, this next is level. absolutely gorgeous. On the strand, look, two, hang on, two, four, six, eight. Totally lost count. Two, <gasps> 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, there's 19 on the strand. Six available. Oh gosh, well, we've got more than that in baskets, right. Not quite a valuation. I made myself a Baroque pearl and Tanzanite necklace. Somebody asked how much it would cost to buy. Must get it valued. Oh. That's the best way to sell your jewellery is wear it. Like I'd had a lot of years of doing craft fairs 
and I've had things that have, I've sold off my neck. I've had, and the reason I started doing that was because people wanting to buy my jewelry. And that great thing about a strand like this, if you put one around your neck at your stall, at your shop, wherever you sell, it opens a dialogue. So people are like, is that real? I didn't know. And then you go into that dialogue and then that tells them all about, it gets them to you. It gets them more knowledgeable about something like this. And you know, they'll start to look for things like this and they'll see online the comparable prices are ridiculous. If, if it wasn't for jewellery maker, I would not know about pearls like this. Anybody else? I wouldn't, I just wouldn't know about no. them. Wouldn't know. Last time it was on air, he's going to show a stupid... Oh, well, that, that is ridiculous. <laughs> there's no wonder there's only six left. Last time this came to air in February, it went to 299. 32nd clock, we're going lower. Oh, my gosh, I feel... I, this is crazy. But do you know what? I, I'm not, you know, sometimes I get a bit shirty with our prices and I think, do you know what? We're totally undervaluing this gem. We're doing ourselves a disservice. But in actual fact, I know that our viewers understand yeah. the quality that they're getting. I know that they understand the real value and the true, the true value. Oh gosh, there's so many in baskets. Look, if you really want this, just secure it like Valerie has in Aberdeenshire. This could sell out before, yeah, well done. Oh my gosh, go, go, go. Two seconds, one second. Susan in Norfolk, Valerie in Aberdeenshire, well done to you. Two have already gone, four left with, oh, loads in baskets. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, there's, yeah. Oh my gosh, three left, two, four, nine. Each one of those pearls could be, could be, could be that. I took a photo of a necklace that was made up of a lot of pearls like this. Um, I, I won't get my phone out because I've got a Sony picture of my granddaughter. It will probably be like, take me 10 minutes to find it. <laughs> but um, it, it was a few pounds short of 900 pounds. And it was these pearls. And not as many because it had a chain at the back. So I don't know. Let, let me estimate. Maybe. So that was on a, on a you know, all in of a them being used in, in one window. necklace. And I was trying to. I don't think that's a silly price. It's, well, no. And I was trying to take deal. a photograph, but she was doing the window. I was trying to wait for her to walk away so I could take the photo to show people. Get out of the window. <laughs> because, you know, it, that's a real thing. I mean, that's quite reasonable, isn't it, really? If it wasn't for Jam, I would know nothing about pearls and their value. Do you know what, uh, uh, Josephine? I don't think you're alone there. And, and I, I certainly wouldn't know about pearls like this. But the interesting thing is, is with pearls, people, you never have to justify the prices of your pearl pieces. People understand yeah. the value. A lot of people understand the value. They, it, they understand the pricing on pearls. Oh, not the pricing necessarily, but they have a, a perception of how much pearls should be. Yeah. And because we can do them for such an amazing price point on Jewelry Maker, it means that it means that you can start those businesses. You can make jewelry. In-house designer Anne, she just, I think she pretty much just sells pearl jewelry. She buys her pearls from us here at Jewelry Maker. She makes her jewelry, she sells them on. She's got a nice little, a nice little business doing that. It's great. I gave my ex-mum's uh, uh, JM Peacock pearls knotted on silk with JM Black Diamond box glass for her granddaughter's wedding. She cried. Oh. oh my gosh, that's absolutely adorable, um, Ms. Janet. That's really sweet, isn't it? How lovely. And you've done that. Yeah, you've, you've made that, that happen. Yeah. The pride. I mean, I made my mum a gorgeous pearl pendant and gave it to her. That, that was it. It was just one of, you know, a pearl, not like these, but kind of a nucleated pearl on a peg. Li literally gave it to her on a gold chain. She, I, I was so proud of that. So proud of that. And that's without knotting or anything fancy. I would say as well, with pearls like this, with any of the pearls that we bought you in this, in this amazing showcase, keep the design simple. Keep the design simple. Don't undercharge. Please don't undercharge. Please don't undercharge. Because you won't sell anything. Because but they won't believe they're real. So they won't buy them? They'll think, oh, that can't be real because it's only 50 quid or it's only, you know, have a... Have don't a, sell each don't one Don't undervalue yourself. Quid. Oh, my gosh, if you do that, you are massively underselling yourself. And also, you'll find people will not buy them. They don't just take you seriously. Fake. Precisely. Well done. We're about to do a mad deal. Oh. I'm going to give you a bit of a teasy-weezy with this. I've seen this. This is amazing. <laughs> okay, right, here we go. Right. You get a beautiful little, beautiful little velvet bag, which I love. Inside your pearl. Sorry, inside your pearl. Inside your bag. Come on, come on. It's hiding. Oh my gosh, look oh at this. Oh my Lord, look at that. Oh, imagine that on a chain just there, just sitting half, there. Half drilled, that is a ring. Star by, oh, yeah. do not go anywhere. This 
is this is a biggie. Don't go anywhere. You know something, I'm going to get a piece of paper because you've got to see this. Kerry, what's Kerry got to say? I recreated a design of Susie's, a three-strand choker, and I sold it for three figures. Oh, you little fighter. Ooh. Right. Love that. It's amazing. You can, can't you? Look at this. Oh, this is not coming across, and it's really annoying. Right. Uh, what I want you to do is focus on the bottom of the pearl. What colour can you see there? Green? Yep. That's actually one of the rarest colours to get in genuine freshwater cultured pearls. A veil of green or turquoise is pretty much the rarest colour you can get. And the reason why you're getting it is because of the incredible orient the pearl has. Why has it got amazing orient? Because of the layers of nacre, nacre, which have been deposited over the bead nucleus. The reason why uh, it... it, it it's the layers, is it's the thickness of the layers. The more layers you've got, the better the pearl. The more gemmy it is. It's when, it's the point at which pearls cease to have pearlescence and we start describing them as being gemmy, as being gemstones almost. It is really quite incredible what you're getting here. That veil of like satin. It's beautiful, it's like treasure. You know, when you think about, you find going to the cave and you find the treasure, it's pearls like this. Can you imagine working, in a, working on a pearl farm? Oh, you yes, see thousands is. of pearls each, each, each year, yeah? You open a mollusk and you pull out a pearl that looks like that. You are literally going to be, that's going to be a good day at work. I'd definitely it? be singing to it. Yes. Little pearl, come to me. Yes. <laughs> I, like the, I like the thought I'm of that. Over here. Oh, come, come. <laughs> this is so beautiful. The shape. The orient, the nacre, the character, the oh. gemminess, the everything about it. The range of colours you're getting here is astonishing. It's almost like you can, yeah, see the water moving across the yeah. top of the pot, uh, 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 over the top of the, uh, the mollusk, kind of the pearls, just kind of the mollusk literally just attached onto these kind of long rods. And they're just literally free to do that in the water. It's just beautiful. Check the reflection, yeah. Oh, yeah, check the reflection. Nice one. So you get this lovely kind of... It's not going to be a mirror shine. That's your Akoya with a different kind of molecular structure. But what you're getting here, it's not fuzzy. It's not chalk. It is really reflective. Yeah, it does look like the Northern Lights, the way that the, the shiller, shimmer kind of appears and disappears. It's kind of transient almost, isn't it? It's beautiful. Um... Stephen and Susan went uh, to the Isle of Wight pearls and started to talk to the staff, telling them about the pearls they offered me a job, all because of learning from you. I've been there. That it's amazing. Is wicked. I love that. Offered you a job. You what? You could move to the Isle of Wight. I didn't see where they're from. Actually, that would be a um, nice little summer job, wouldn't it? it would be. And How gorgeous would that be? Get discount on the jewellery. <laughs> yeah. Do you want pay me in pearls? Just pay me in pearls. Pay please. me in pearls, yeah. please. Thank you. Um, now, let's face it, we don't all have £500 as a budget. We don't have £300 as a budget. But you want to make something really lovely for a 21st birthday, for a 30th birthday, for your wedding day, for your bridesmaids. Well, already we're under £100. It is half drilled, so just get your peg, adhere it in there. You're making beautiful jewellery and it's taken you 10 minutes. OK, um, we're not done. There's a reason why this is kind of one of your last opportunities in this showcase. Oh, gosh, it, I mean, it is a great deal, but it does. It does literally get it does literally take everything we've just told you in the last hour or so and turn it on its head because there is nowhere and I can say this with confidence we're always told here at, at the Gemporia group never make absolute claims um, you know always always kind of a, a suggestion is much better if you make an absolute claim and you get called out then you know you get in trouble mm. in my opinion there is nowhere on earth 
that can bring you this, this level of quality, this level of size, calibre and versatility and quality for anywhere near the price that we do. 49.99, not your deal. Drill holes in the top, my lovely. Yeah, so it's half drilled at the top. Put your little peg in the top. I'm just trying to look, I don't have a peg here, but yeah. Yeah, the black diamond peg that we've done, the white diamond peg that we've done, if you want to drill into this with a burr and put your gemstones in there, you absolutely can do. It's that green across the top, is beautiful? You can really see the green. You can always um, glue some sterling silver wire in and then pop another gemstone on top and wrap loop. That would work as well if you haven't got a peg. Nice. We're not done. This is your chance. This is giving you access. This is giving you access more than anything else. I think as an individual piece, as a pendant, this could easily be valued over a hundred pounds. We're at forty-nine ninety-nine. We're nowhere near done. Susan's got three. Jeanette, Susan, and Brian's got two in their basket. Julie in Merseyside, Dawn in Kent, Jeanette in Northampton. Sorry, Nottinghamshire. Well done to you. Ready, steady. Here we go. Amazing. Yeah. Don't worry. It's okay. Come on, Neri. Oh, he's feeling. He's feeling. He's feeling very upset with these <laughs> prices today. $29.99. Oh, gosh. Everyone is multi buying Claire in Staffordshire. Well done to you as well. More makers there. This is great. Well done. That is a... That is such a top-end piece. You'd struggle to buy a fake plasticky pearl in a high-end, high-street shop that, that specialises in clothes. Yeah. That has Absolutely. this as a side. In plastic for that, for twenty nine ninety nine. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're so right, Debbie. Uh, and this is not only a genuine freshwater culture pearl, but it is, is of the highest calibre, isn't it? It's just amazing. London's just taken to Lorna in Fife, Mary in Cambridgeshire, Anita in Yorkshire, Toyin in Kent, Alison in Kent, Claire in Staffordshire, Maker, Alan in Bedfordshire. Well done to you. What a deal. Amazing. And it comes with a little bag as well, which is just adorable. That just adds to the drama, doesn't it? Doesn't it? <laughs> well... You buy 10 of these, you take them to your, the person who, who you're doing a commission for, yeah? And you say, I've got 10 pearls, you choose whichever three pearls you want for your suite of jewellery or for your three oh, bridesmaids yes. or for your, you know, whatever it's for. So professional. Amazing, gorgeous, right. We are going to replay. The early bird special. Don't, I want one. <laughs> I know. This is in danger Don't of bring completely them back. selling out. This is amazing. <laughs> this is the way all black rutile quartz should be seen. Early bird. So do I. I just, hello. Oh, I didn't uh, realise we were on it. <laughs> I love these. <laughs> they are so, they're just glorious. They are. Where do you even start with these <laughs> bad boys? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I, I put them on a piece of white paper just to kind of show the inclusions more. It's probably not going to work, but oh my gosh. Look at you, you bunch of absolute beauties. <gasps> This is black rutilated quartz. It's totally natural. It's amazing. You need it, These basically. These deserve to be sung too as well, not just the pearls. Yes, they These definitely do. Look at them. I love them. Black rutile quartz is absolutely superb. We were talking about this earlier on saying what an amazing, yeah, talking about what an amazing rebellious gem this is. It's not about consistency. It's not about all of the kind of consistent colour or the clarity. It's not about like when you look at a, I don't know, what's it, a tanzanite or a, <clears throat> or a, or a, I don't know, a, a chrysoprase. It's all to do with the consistency of colour. It's to do with being rebellious, having loads of inclusions, having loads of character. And sparkle. What gemstone do you get that <laughs> interesting inclusion and sparkle at the same time? Yeah, you're That's absolutely right. It. All of these include, look at that. I think, and, and it reminds me very much of your Herkimer diamond, yeah. I, which I absolutely so love. I. Just gorgeous. <laughs> love it. Look at that, that recording. Oh, beautiful. It's a feast for the eyes, isn't it? $29.99 was nowhere near. 
And I mean like this could not be further away from your <laughs> price. It's embarrassing. Well done. Um, this is an add to your order price that we're going to. Like, if you've ordered anything else, you're not even going to pay postage. Yeah, just an added to your order price. How often, when you buy the uh, when you buy the um, the checkout at the supermarket, you go, oh yeah, oh lovely, oh yeah, I'll have two of those. Lovely. That's an extra few quid, isn't it? But you know, it's just it, this is Debbie's absolutely right. This is just an added to your order price. This is just literally a nothing price. This is a I'll try it out price. This is a well, I may as well. I've well, got my order open. Paying postage, so something as inexpensive as this. You know, you're not even paying postage on it. Twelve ninety nine. That's that's great, isn't it? No, it's not your early bird price. I know it's crazy. We were um, we were kind of likening this to your Lowry sketches, to your Jackson Pollock pieces of art. You know, perfection is wonderful. What is perfection? Though? I mean, we say you know, perfect, you know, consistent, uh, completely flawless. No, that's you know, it's lovely, oh, but it's a bit dull. Mm. You know, I want character. I want to know each one of these gems. I want I want to see how they formed. I want to say into the soul of the gem. Ooh. It's much more interesting. And of course, with the with the with the popularity of things like your salt and pepper diamonds, we were saying earlier on, this is a great alternative. And at twelve ninety nine, it's great. But I tell you what's even better, under a tenner. Are you ready? Yeah, it's low. I tell you what, I'm just going to tell you, seven ninety nine, seven ninety nine. Go, fifty pence per gem. Oh you've got there, which is absolutely brilliant. And that's with what we've got here. Uh, yours might have slightly more, slightly fewer in there. Uh, but I think I had 16, 17 in here. Jenny and Wiltshire's got two. Jill's got two. Samantha's got two. Janice has got two. London's got three. Anne's got, so, uh, yeah, Anne's got two. Well done to you. Amazing. 7.99. That is utterly brilliant. Isn't that just gorgeous? Well done. I'll see if my gem picker up is working. It's very taut, so I'm a little bit worried it's going to ping up, pick up a gemstone and ping it out the studio. But anyway, well, we'll give it a go. Notoriously bad with these kind of tools. Me too. I ping them. Just such a wally with these, but look at that! Isn't that just amazing? Look at that! Isn't that just exquisite? And then you can go for one which is not as heavily included, one which is kind of a little bit lighter. Look, this one here. Oh, hang on, which has got yeah. fewer inclusions in. It's entirely up to you. Whatever mood you want to go for, just gorgeous. Well done, everyone. I just love it. I just, I would love to see this against something really bright and white and kind mm. of perfect, like your perfect pearls. Just mix it up. Or if you just want to experiment with something like this, you know, and you use a lot of, you know, colored gemstones, amethyst or chrysoprase or peridot, whatever, have a little section just using these gemstones and just see what people's reaction. I can almost guarantee you it's going to appeal to so many people and to, um, younger people as well i think this is really yeah. cool it's not full of angst but it's full of kind of chaos but in a good way i love it it's just great lots of energy it's wonderful hormones 7.99 well done, <laughs> oh no um 7.99 well done everybody we've got to move on because we have got all the tools in the next hour haven't we debbie we've got all of them we've just got it's everything it's absolutely Desk everything game changers yeah when Total I, game when changers. When I put this on Facebook, I had other uh, guest designers going, I've got that game changer. They didn't get it from us, but, you know, it's it's tools that you didn't know you needed, and then once you've got them, you don't know how you ever live how without them. How you ever live without them, yeah. precisely. That's exactly, And that's what's so great about things like this. It's all coming up in the next hour. You, uh, we're taking the details away literally in 10 seconds. Um, I love those black retail quartz. If there's any of those left, Debbie, I'd love to see what you make with that. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get some if there's any left, but it's not looking <laughs> promising. I know there's so many people there, literally so many people up, uh, with these in the baskets. Check out when you can. Do not move a muscle. We will see you for the biggest tool hour uh, of this year so far. It's absolutely incredible. Don't go anywhere. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. We're in the proper workshop. We Aren't need we business just? today. Yeah, I like this. You love a tool, I know. <laughs> I, I love a tool. I just, you know, you can never have too many hammers because you never know what you're going to need to do with them. When someone tells me I'm having a tool show, they get an email back going, tools and loads of smiley faces and the professionalism goes out of the window. But I... <laughs> When, when you've, got the, you know, you've got things in life that, um, let's imagine you've never owned a vacuum cleaner. And the way that you vacuum your house is with a dustpan and brush. Yes, good. That's a really And it good takes a long time to do. I mean, it does an all right job, but it, take, or, or, you know, it, it takes a long old time, yeah? As soon as you get a vacuum, oh my gosh, it's a game changer. Game changer. How on earth did I ever not have this? And I can't live without it and, ah, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I can do it in the fraction of a time. That's the kind of thing we're talking about with these tools. Or yeah. you don't have um, a set of scales at home to measure ingredients. You just do everything by eye and things turn out a bit dodgy and, ooh, you know, ooh, should have put more of that in, more of that in. Then you get scales. Oh, my gosh. I wonder how, I've, you know, I'm, I can't live without them now because all my cakes now turn out beautifully. Exactly. And that's exactly what we're talking I about think, with these. So, what we've got here as well are tools that you can use for yourself. Like, everyone needs to know their ring size. Everyone's got a ring that doesn't yep. fit them anymore that they might like to stretch. She's um, go nuts. You know, everybody w wants to be able to look professional, measure other people's 
uh, fingers so that they can offer a bespoke service. So it's almost like even for your friends and family, for your own jewelry making, for your self experience, yeah. these tools are super useful. Yeah. And what I like about our tools is we offer alternatives to the really expensive tools yeah. as well. Because who's got like 500 quid to, to spend on one tool? That's I it. Mean, some people will, great, that's wonderful. But everybody should have an opportunity to be able to use the tools that are gonna make your jewelry making experience easier, more efficient. Yeah, it is, it is an opportunity. It is an opportunity to get things which is going to make you more respected as a jewellery maker. It's going to give you more kudos. It's going to massively expand, as you say, your repertoire of what you can do as a jewellery maker. Because it's not just about making jewellery now, you can now adjust pieces. Yeah, and there's a lot of people that, when you start your metal working journey, if you want to work with metal, you start with your basic tools because you don't want to pay out on loads and loads of things. You might not be any good at it, you might not like it, you might not be able to keep up with it. But as you go forward on your journey, you find that there's more and more tools that make your life easier. And it's tools like this that are game changers in certain respects. And these are the sorts of tools that we're bringing today. It's not some obscure tool that I might use once a year. It's tools that I've got on my bench in my workshop that I use weekly, daily. Yeah, yeah. We have got an array of tools here which honestly, these are all game changers. All of them, all of them. What should we do? Should we, should we put them all on pre-order? Let's put them all on pre-order. Yeah, because the last time we did tools, I think I counted to 10 and it had gone. I can't remember yeah. what it was we did. But because we do such good deals, and you know, our viewers aren't silly. They price compare, they know what things cost. As soon as we bring the graphics, they're gone. <laughs> So let's put them all on pre-order. Oh, we're great. going to put the graphics live for the one. Are you the kidding? Wonder. It's called the Wonder Ring Stretcher. That is amazing. I just love the fact we've called it the Wonder Ring Stretcher. Do you know why people are going okay? But you had a ring stretcher the other month, and the tall one, and it was whatever. Oh, ha, 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 you ha, ha, can stretch ha. rings Hello. that have gemstones set in them. You are this. kidding me. So I can take off my diamond ring that I've got on this. Actually, I did it with this. I deliberately wore this on purpose. Right, I've had this ring, and I can't remember where it came from. I think it might have been in my nan's, but she had really, really small fingers. Right, that's diamonds. Um, I'm not going to put that in my upright ring stretcher that you pull. All these diamonds are going to pop out. I'm going to ruin the ring. So I put it on here and now I can wear it. And before I couldn't, sorry. <laughs> I can wear this because I stretched it, I think probably half a size. Okay. So if you've got diamond rings, you've got gemstone rings that you've made with us, some of our lovely settings, you can use this and I'm going to tell you all the rules and everything that you need to do to use this tool. Now, it wants to be um, screwed down. I don't like to have things screwed down on my bench. And if you've got a really beautiful, one of our beautiful Durston benches, you're probably not going to want to screw this down. So the way I get around that with my tools is this is just a shelf that I had in the garage. I've screwed it down to Go the shelf. Go, Debbie. Now, not everybody. Like my son said to me last night, and he's very true, I'm very lucky now to have... A, a big space, a big workshop. I used to work in the corner of my kitchen in our last yeah. house. There's no way I could start, you know, drilling things down to my kitchen surfaces. No. Now, I can put this against the wall once it's drilled and it's out of the way. I can put it in a cupboard. Absolutely. So, basically, also, it, it's much easier to use when it's screwed down. So, don't worry if you haven't got room in your space that you use for jewelry making. Get an old piece of wood, an old shelf from the garage and screw it down. Then it's portable but still functional. Right. Okay. So, um, uh, as we can see, this is extraordinarily popular. <laughs> it's going crazy. There's loads of people there. Quiz. So, this comes with 17 dies. Yes. What, how, do we, how does this work? Do you want to show us how, to, right. how, to, how it works? So, I'm going to tell you all about... Oh, I thought that was a butterfly. No, it's not. It's a piece of paper a sign. from Hobby Maker. Right, so what you get is 17 dies. And when you talk about rings, I've got lots of different rings here to show you. This is so cool. You get different profiles of rings, don't you? So if you think about the oh, wire oh that gosh. we sell, some are made with D-shape wire, aren't they? So that you're often your um, rings with diamonds and things in are made with the D-shape profile of the wire. Some are made with more of a flat shank. So if I can show this to the camera... This is a Gemporia ring that I bought ages ago, but this is made just oh, with nice. flat wire. Um, 
Yeah, hey, have a little look at this. So this is what I'd class that as a flat ring shank. As you can yeah. see, it's just flat all the way around. If you have a little look, I'm going to bring another one into shot. This is made with D-shape wire. So it's round on one side and flat on the other. And if you have a look at rings, a lot of rings, not all of them, but a lot of rings that have gemstones set into them, the bottom is the very thinnest part of the shank mm. and then it gets wider as we go up to the oh, side. Oh nice, I like that. So yeah. these are all things that you need to take into consideration when you're sizing a ring. Now you get these 17 dies and they correspond to lots of the different types of, of shank. shanks that yes, you get. Yes, look. Rings. Okay. So I'm going to show you. Are you okay, yeah, go if you go close on there, yeah, then, then I can, can talk to you. Yes. Yeah. Here we go. So you've got some, I've just written some notes here to make sure I'm telling you all the right things, but you've got some D section dies, some flat dies and some plain dies so that you're covered with whatever profile of ring you're going to stretch. You can stretch a ring all the way around. So you could stretch a wedding, a wedding band. If you haven't got our other tool, which was much more expensive than this, still really yeah. competitive, you certainly can. But what's great about this is you can choose the part of the ring that you want to stretch. So you're not going to be popping your gemstones out, ruining your settings. That is absolutely ingenious. And so that is absolutely invaluable in a studio. Even wow. if members of your family say, you know, I've got arthritis in my knuckles, I can't get my wedding ring well, on that's, anymore. Well, that's, yeah. I can't get my engagement ring on anymore. And you have to wear it on a chain around your neck, don't yes. you? It's just kind of, oh, it's nice, but, you know. You, you, you want to still be able to wear it. You want it, to be able you? to wear it. So yeah. the, the trouble with the isn't the other uh, tool that we had, it's not a trouble, it's a great tool. I love it. I use it every day. I don't do gemstone rings on it because it will pop them out. And I've tried. I've taken rings out of my scrap pot and tried it on that tool, and it's popped the gemstones out. Mm. With this, you have got much more control over the part of the ring that you stretch. And I'll talk more about that when we, when we come to demo with it. But you can see that I've got a ring on here. Yes, nice. And if you come in, I don't know how close you can come in from the side, but the die that I've chosen yeah. fits very gently and comfortably into this die here. So this is one of the 17. So you wouldn't want it so that your ring was outside of that die, so it was bigger than, and you wouldn't want it so it was absolutely lost. You just find sort of a comfortable fit so that you can move the ring around the die. That's awesome. And that's what, what the different dies are and why you've got so many. Now, there's a couple of things to bear in mind when you're stretching a ring. One I've just said, which is often the shank of the ring will be thinner at the back than it is on the side. Yeah. That's not always the case because in this ring, it's the it's, same all the way around. Yeah. So you don't want to always start at the bottom. You've got to make sure that the side of your ring will fit into that die as well. Yeah. So if the side of your ring is wider, then start that as, as your point of, of choosing a die. Yes. You also need to look at the underneath, at the bottom, if it is thinner, and make sure that this is going to be able to take stretching. So what this does, it's a bit like um, the same action as a rolling mill. A rolling mill will squash and flatten out your metal, and that's exactly what this does. So you've got to have enough metal to do it with mm. i would only recommend that you ever try and take a ring up half a size to one size and no more than that okay after that you need to start doing it by cutting out and actually yeah. putting in a piece yeah especially if you're dealing with diamonds if you're dealing it's not something that you want to use in your best rings the first time if you've never used it before because you know you don't want to be doing it wrong have a practice with something from your scrap mm. pot on an old ring that that you're not bothered about mm. So, do you want me to show how to use it? Yes, that please. Right? That would be lovely. Okay, so what you've got is, in this part of the tool, you have got um, a screw and you've got a little sort of cog set up there. And in each die, you've got a little hole and it just pops onto the top. So you can choose any one of these dies from your little box of 17. And the way I decided whether my ring fitted in was I just made sure that it could go and move around 
comfortably. Now there's a couple of Ooh. things to bear in mind before you stretch, but first I'm gonna show you how to set it up. So what you do is you take the die that you've chosen that works absolutely the best fit for your ring, and then you just pop it into the hole. So just basically popping it on top there. This I'm gonna pop good. it into my tool, and then I just pop the the little screw on. This is such a cool piece of I need of kit. my glasses. Why have I not got my glasses on? I don't know. I don't know. Why have I not got my glasses on? And then you just push it down like that. What so a cool simple. piece so of that's kit. That's as, as simple as it is. Now, there's a couple of things to bear in mind before you even start stretching a ring. And I wanted to show you, I don't know if we can get how close we can get into this ring. I'm trying to sort of see this little... Oh, yeah. Okay. So... There you go. So can you see that with some gemstone rings that are set, they have like a little tunnel inside. You wouldn't want to stretch over that part. And as you move round, uh -huh. there you've got sort of the shank. So if you were looking at stretching a ring like that, you'd have a look inside. You'd see where your little tunnel finishes. Yeah. And what I like to do, where's my permanent marker, is I get a permanent marker and I will just mark where I don't want to stretch. Okay, so mm -hmm. I don't want to go over that little tunnel that's inside, that little no. space in the ring. And that's what's wonderful about this tool, is it's going to be able to stretch just this part of the metal. Very You're cool. not going to be disturbing any of, any of the tension. You're not going to be popping these gemstones out and ruining all your hard work, Very all right? Cool. So with something like the one that I actually have in here, this one is, hasn't got any of that. So it hasn't got any sort of tunnels really in, inside yeah. of it. It's, it's got one just under the top, but I wouldn't go up there anyway. Yeah. So I know that I can go round sort of a little bit further. So that's how we would... Um, now, mm. it's not something that you get in there and you do in one go. It's a nice, gentle, relaxing process. So what I'm going to do is I'm just lining that up with my die. And then all you do is you just turn... Ooh. I'll have a look at that message. Hold on a oh, second. Oh, wow. There's some smart there. I purchased the tall ring stretcher slash reducer for £90 more than this one. I just ordered this one as well. What a game changer. Game changer is the word. And the thing is, I use my tall one all the time and I use it to, I think I showed you when I demoed it, to actually make rings round as well because this, it's amazing. This, this is not going to be £90, by the way. We have seen it elsewhere, £50, 20p. That's amazing. I don't know what this is going to, gen genuinely. Okay, this is going low. How many of this do we order? How many of this do we have? Oh gosh, okay. Well, we had 120 available. Um, over half the quantity is already gone. Okay, I don't know what this is going to do. Okay, are you ready? Uh, right, I would just say get it. It is a game changer. Um, there's already loads of you there. Have you seen how many people have already come through to get this, Debbie? No, have a look no. at the call screen. It's gone absolutely bonkers. Let's see that screen, uh, Neary. Neary, let's see the screen, darling. There's absolutely... No, there we go. I... <laughs> There's droves of you there. Well done. Uh, 20 seconds, we're taking the price down. Oh. Right, this is amazing. Absolutely incredible. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, gosh. This is crazy, 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 crazy. Not going to £90. Not going to £50.20 or whatever that price comparison was. Are you ready? Here we go. Five seconds. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Oh. Okay, so that's... This is a substantial tool. You get 17 dies in there. Yep. This is one of those tools. You, you look after it, you know, oil it regularly, and it's just going to last you for ages. Oh, my gosh. Ladies, uh, Debbie, what is the widest band this will take? Well, well this you... one, this ring here, will that need to be that one there? Yeah, but you've got a plain one. Where's the plain one? There's a... Here it is. Go on. Look, I'm going to just drop them all out. Right. Yeah, go on. Let me show 17 you 17 different... If you There's have so a look... Coming through. Look at this. That's... A... Oh, so that's up to there. You've got a plain That's dye. totally brilliant. So this one has got no indentations at all, so that you can actually... Wow. And that's... Well, I do... do you have a ruler, Carol? Uh, a ruler. Yes, I do, Levy. So busy. There's so there's millions of you there. I mean, I, I've... 20 left. Oh, my gosh. Look at every... There are so many people there. 46 in baskets. We started with 120. 
This about nine millimetres for this one, I oh, would brilliant. say. Oh, brilliant. That is like one of the thickest bands I would have seen, actually. That's, um, um, I told you that's this one here. Because the prices that we do for the quality of our tools are incredible. That's why I get behind them. That's why I get so excited. Yeah, amazing. At $29.99 is an affordable, for most people, price. For, and just think about the postage. I know I always go on about this. Oh, but crazy, the postage yeah. for heavy things so can sometimes be eight, nine pounds. Yeah, it elsewhere. absolutely. That's amazing. Well done. Um, the fact that it doesn't stress any of the kind of settings is absolutely brilliant. Um, it's just great. Well so done. I'll show you, but can I just say hurry up? Because I get so many messages. Yeah, I've got billions of people saying, "Are you going to get any more in?" And we are doing more sand casting. We are, we're on it. But you know, it doesn't oh, take please. five seconds to get these tools in. Can you use it on her half eternity diamond ring? Yeah, because I just used it on this, and I'd class that as a half eternity. What diamond about ring. a half eternity chat? So you see mine. I mean, you you wouldn't be able to do mine because mine's no. eternity all the way around. But if it was like half, right? So half, could you like do that? my mum's ring, which is this one. Oh, brill. Right. Needs a clean, excuse me, That's sorry, right, every right. day. <laughs> so I've got a double row of diamonds there. Ah, yeah, okay, could you do And that? what I could do is stretch this part. Just do the back, yeah. And let oh me look my inside. Gosh, that's so cool. Yeah. Four left. There's four, four left. left. It's going to New York, oh my gosh. Big up. So let me show you, the answer's yes. Don't make it your first, um, the first thing that you do. Make sure you get used to yeah, it first, because there's a few things it. you need to bear in mind that I'm gonna tell you now. No, don't go straight on a diamond. <laughs> you know, get one of the ones out of your scrap pot or one of your, you know, silver rings. Well, that just, just go and buy to... a little ring for like a five. Make or one. Yeah. Because we've got tools for that as well. Yeah. Right. So what I'm going to do, and I need to hurry up because the time's going. Okay. Is all you do is move this little lever around, and all I'm doing oh is going. Gosh. I'm going just <gasps> That's to the such mark. a lovely movement. So if oh, I, so you don't good. have to have like. Uh, be very strong and if you've got dexterity issues then you just unscrew it and have a look now I've done one so very I've done it a lot so that you can see what it looks like when it's done just let me find it so you can be really prescriptive and precise with yes. how much you're going to be stretching from between those two angles I was wondering why you've got those two points Right, okay, this is cool. Right, so this has only been done here because so cool. I can't stretch here because I've got a channel. Now, I know I'm going to get messages about this, so this is why I'm telling you this now. It may distort the shape of the ring, and yeah. that it's supposed to. There's no other way that you can do it. And then if you look that way, you might get a couple of ripples on the ring. Yeah, okay. So you're going to have to do some finishing. Of course you are, because of the, you're basically rolling the metal. Mm. So then, once you get this, very, you want to get it back clever. to a polished, shiny, uh, shiny state. Anybody who mm. makes jewelry knows that you don't stop at, at state, the last stage. Then you finish and polish. You have to do that with this. So what you need to do is get your mandrel, if, if the ring distorts, it depends a lot on how uh, much you've changed the size. You're going to need to get a nylon, it's sold out. You're going to need to get a nylon hammer or a oh, rawhide, rawhide mallet. Yeah. Give it a bash just to get it back into um, shape. Sometimes just pushing it down will do it. Please be careful yeah. if you've got stones in it. Don't whack it hard. Um, so then I'm back. I'm back to my yeah, nice perfect. round. Well done. And then I'm going to need to finish off. Um, if you're lucky enough to have a pendant motor with that. If not, then you might need to just add some shine back again with your sanding your sanding stick, yeah, and then you're right. literally back as good as new. But I need to say, again, that I I did this one. This is a diamond ring, and I, I did this. That's so, so cool. That went, I that's what I'm saying. And there are so many people who, who I see wearing rings around their neck, their their neck, neck. because they, you know, it's a ring which has been passed down to them, and, and I'm never back gonna, in the old days, people had small exactly. fingers. Exactly, and yeah. you know, I'm never gonna say to you, to do something that I've not tried myself. It's not how I operate, you know, my reputation depends on it. I've been yeah. in this industry a long time. So if I'm gonna do my diamond ring, I didn't do it first, I played with it, and I did, and got used to it, be very gentle, do it, do it gradually, put it on the mandrel, do not try and take your ring up two sizes. Go to a jeweler's if you haven't got the skills yourself and get them to put a piece in. Yeah. But this, the sake of half to one size, in my opinion, 
you're totally safe to do. And that's all there is to it. Different profiles, different rings. Make sure that you don't go over if you've got um, an indentation on the inside or any detail. And so then what it enables you to do is actually stretch just the part of the ring that you want to. So you're gonna get a bit of a deformed shape. That's natural, it's nothing wrong with the tool. It wouldn't be able to do it otherwise. Pop it on your mandrel to get it back into shape, finish it off. We, we've got other tools to get to, but if you have any further questions, as usual, JM guest designer Debbie Kershaw, message me, I'm always happy to answer Awesome, questions. thank you so much, Debbie. Okay. Right, next tool, which one are we doing, Neary? Ring oh, ripper. game changer. Oh, I love this tool. The, I'm not, I'm not sure about anything else. This looks like a garlic press. <laughs> Right. This looks like a garlic press. Let me move my piece of wood um, out. I literally have. I mean, some things you could, you, you look at and go. Well, I reckon I could try and work out how to how to how to uh, how how that works. I've Have got we no sold idea. this out? I was going to no, say. No, the other one. I was going to say. <laughs> Give him a no chance. Point, no point. Okay. What what do we do with this? Right. So that's that. We don't need that. That okay. just makes sure in transit that ah. the little pegs don't get lost. Right. Thank you. So you've got a a um, gri ring gripper. It's not a ring gripper, it's an, an anything gripper. I and it's a, know. You know, like if you've got a hobbyist, if you've got somebody who makes models, because they can hold like little things in here. Oh. What this comes with are your pins. And then you've got this little, uh, so if you've got a ball vise, it's like a mini ball vise. Yeah, I so know. So you can yeah. open and close. But do you know what else is super cool about this? Is that the handle comes off. So if you... Oh. Oh. oh, yeah. Please don't, Janice, don't do that ring oh, straight away. Oh, Janice. Get yeah, please don't try tool. it out with that ring Get straight away. Get used to the tool. Once you're happy, then use it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm, oh, and you're going to start me off now. I'll be able to wear my late mum's ring. I'm crazy. You are going to start me off. I'm so pleased How special is that? I'm such a sap. How special is that? That's gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> sweetie. I know. Isn't that beautiful? Because, you know... Please, yeah, do, do not start off trying it out with your late mum's beautiful ring. Do Please not do not do that. Make Work sure up to it. I didn't do my, my diamond until I'd got some out of my pot and some that I don't wear. And I'd got used to it. It's a gentle, slow, gradual process of, of stretching it, putting it on the mandrel, stretching it. So do you pop your ring on here and then open it up? Yeah. You. But do you know That's what? That's an amazing tool. tool. You can take your handle off and put it in your vice. Oh, that is seriously cool. Uh, Come on, what's this message? Game change, game changer. Oh, for us with rheumatoid arthritis. What a great... I've um, got um, arthritis in both of my thumbs. I've had it for years. And obviously I broke my finger a couple of years ago. So I yes. do have issues with my hands. Anything that makes awesome. my hands not going to hurt the next day, because obviously I do it for a living, is so important. Um, I think what's really important about this tool is that you can put it in your vice if you want both of your hands free as well. So, yeah. and, and it does exactly what Carol's done with it. You can that's, demo. <laughs> that's great. So you, this literally, you just make it, um, uh, just tighten it up till it's finger tight, I would have said. That is amazing that the, ha that, that the handle comes off. That is absolutely brilliant. Isn't so it? it's like ball vice is, is a quite a fairly um, consi considered purchase. I mean, mm. even ours were really good price, but still a considered purchase. I don't know what this is going to, by what, the way. What, uh, the ball The ball um, vice. Ball vice, a b beautiful tool. Oh, I've got, yeah, it's on my deck. It's absolutely beautiful. But the but thing yeah. is with this, it's like a ball vice. You know, like if you're trying to polish, especially, yeah. and you're trying to get your little polishing wheel into your tiny little, oh, or, what, or you're trying and to- you need three hands, don't you? You need three you? hands. Yeah. There's so much you can do with this, and you this can move great. these pegs so that, I saw somebody using this, um, and they made little models and they'd, they'd got a boat that they needed to sand, you know, a little tiny oh boat, God, and they'd gorgeous. put it in there. Well, if you're making, if you're painting little yeah, paint. soldiers, little eyes yeah, on like soldiers that. with one of those paintbrushes that's yeah. got one hair on it, you know, tiny little things, holding your hand, your heartbeat is going to make it, is going to make it vibrate and move. So holding it in something like this incredible, um, uh, um, ring gripper which which you can hold in your hand and and to make it even more so you can put it in a vice is absolutely brilliant. anything small so a solderable accent that you're working on yes nice um you can pop in there now i've just opened that so that it's got this that's not going anywhere now if i want to get my polishing mop right into there sometimes you know with our ring holders which i use all the time our wooden ones a lot of the rings inside the holder isn't it because you put it down the middle with this i can polish this i can file it i can do what i need to do i can 
can adjust the prongs and then I can take it off and turn it over and then open it out and do it again. And I think anybody who works with metal will agree with me. One of the hardest things when you're soldering and working on something is how to hold little fiddly Yeah, Yep, yep, yep. You know, you've fiddly. got the reverse action tweezers, you've got all those kind of things, but this is just gonna, this is gonna make it even easier. 20 quid. Oh my gosh, is that it? is amazing. Okay, get, just go. <laughs> just go, 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 go. Oh, the ring stretcher, they want it back in stock. It literally just, uh, we will pass it on. Um, okay, I'll We did it. say last week when, when we knew all these tools were coming to air, we said, look, uh, you know, great quantities, but. You oh, could. nice. Use your jump ring to saw your jump ring. Because you, can, you don't idea. have to use the pegs. You can pop in. Yeah, so you'll know what your speciality of jewellery making is. You don't have to be a metalsmith. Some things are so fiddly, aren't they? And, you know, I don't know about you, but grab it. Like, my nails are too long at the moment because I'm just, just slightly before a nail appointment. I don't have them this long. They get on my nerves. So I can't grab things. It's even worse. So actually putting this on is incredible. We've also got a, a comparable tool like this for soldering where you can actually, this is game changer. So could we use this for soldering or no. not? You can't use this for soldering, but you can use this for finishing, filing, painting, setting. Yeah. Um, you know, if you've got a little, say, star component that you wanted to put, awesome. get your burr and make a texture on, hold it in here. It's another pair of hands, but it's a steady pair of hands. I don't know about you, my hands aren't what they used to be and and they do kind of shake every so often you know rather than being dead flat and just having that it's having a solid base to and work if you from. don't want to hold it you take your handle yes. off pop it in your vice totally free hand and you've got Amazing. a teeny tiny ball vice type that's so cool um no no, 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 no. I can't imagine this stretching. This doesn't stretch rings. This is a holder. This holds things so that you can work on them. It's one of those tools that once you've got it, you don't know how you ever held anything fiddly. That's the main thing for me that I spend the time doing, especially when I'm soldering and finishing off, is trying to hold things to do what I need to do. So I might have my rotary tool and my Dremel in one hand. I'm trying to polish that. or I'm trying to get off a scratch that I made when I was making it. You know, I can't put that in my ring holder because no. it will go inside. So this, honestly, you'll you'll find things to, to use it for that you didn't even think of. No, we've got 16 chances, 15 chances Ooh. left and uh, we're taking the details away in 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of your pegs as well, which is absolutely brilliant. So um, I, I can just imagine, you know, we've, we've mentioned so many other mediums that you can yeah. use this with. Model making. Model making Any really hobby comes to mind. where you need to hold something. Yeah, you know? absolutely. I mean, I've got a bit of sheet here that you could put in. Oh, right. Ceramic rod with holder. Now, uh, this looks like bauxite or whatever it's called. What's it's, that stuff? It, borax. It's borax. Not, it's not borax. This is, you know, your fire brick that you used to solder. Oh, on. gosh. So this is for soldering. Oh, game changer. Oh, my gosh. So, you know, Yvonne. Hang on. You know, Yvonne, our finalist in. Uh, yes. In I've, uh, my, even before she was on here, I've admired her work. She's an incredible she filmsmith. She is. And she, she put on my Facebook yesterday, I've got that game changer. It's a game changer. Yeah. How many times have you got your reverse action tweezers? Yes. You've got your, your ring that you've just made. All your apparatus. You get your, you get your torch and the blooming thing crazy. falls over. This is going to absolutely fly. Also, because it's ceramic, it's going to take, you know, you think of ceramic brake discs. They're, they're <laughs> or, or ceramic brake calipers. They're designed because they can withstand huge amounts of heat. That's exactly what so, this will do. You need to obviously so cool. still put this on a, a, a fire brick surface. You don't want to just do it on your table because your heat from your torch will go down. Yeah. So if I was soldering this, usually I'd get my reverse action tweezers and I just I'm here Amazing. and I'm getting it all you know if I'm just trying to solder the joint I could put a bit of um, solder on the top there solder this game you know what this changer is? game changer it's a game changer <laughs> I know we just keep repeating but it is that's a blooming game changer that really is isn't it I love that so here's a question for you Debbie if you, you've got that ring on there presumably if you heat that from the bottom the top is going to get extremely hot as well. This is a heat sink. Mm. That's what a um, fire brick is. It absorbs okay, the so heat. Okay, so it absorbs the heat. 
so what you're going to do is just solder move your flame around as you would usually but you know what's great here as well is if you were soldering on a um let's have a look at say this if you were soldering on a ring shank so you'd already made your ring and what you're going to do is pop a little bit of solder there mm. and a little bit of solder there because this is a solderable accent by the way That's you so cool. could pop it on here and leave it on here to solder now you know yourselves how long it takes to set up with those blooming reversible <laughs> tweezers yeah. to get everything in the right place then you get it in the right place and when you get the flame on it it moves and you have to start again i see pickle start again this is a very very simple way to do it so think of this as a as a fire brick what you'd usually solder on can i also say that it's adjustable so if i turn it sideways you can change the angle of it so you can turn it upwards you can turn it sideways that way you know whatever angle you need to work at yeah. you just adjust it with this little peg here and then it, it will move as well so and then you've got the weight so it's weighted this leaves both of your hands free so that you say you've got torch in this hand solder pick or tweezers in the other hand if 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 am i going to need to buy a separate one if i'm doing copper and a separate one if I'm doing silver, or will one 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 size fits all, as one, it were? One, I don't. I mean, you can if you want, but I don't know what this is going to. Is that is that the price? <laughs> <laughs> We've got like 26 <laughs> left. It's literally flying out the door. You know what that is, Debbie? That's a game changer. It's a game changer. Can I, can I ask you what? Because I'm going to change your game. What is it, Dan? It's a, How it's a game much? changer. So softly spoken. If you buy this and this. And this, how much does that come to together? I don't know. 20, 20, 70 quid. That's incredible. It's going to change your game. It's a game changer. Also known as a game changer. It's going to up your game, <sighs> isn't it? That's amazing. Gloria. Uh, got mine between one, yes. uh, got mine, been wanting it for so long. Oh, Gloria, you absolute legend. Well Do you know, done, it's Spooky. that sort of thing you see people using and you think, yeah, oh, professionals, wow. like you were saying, Yvonne. Yeah, you, you, you tend to have your the... kit and you think, oh, no, I, I don't need that. You know, I use my tweezers. Oh, there's only nine left. But it's like I said earlier on. Let's say you've never owned a vacuum cleaner and you clean your house. You vacuum your house literally with a dustpan and brush. Then you get a vacuum. You think, oh, my gosh, how did I ever clean before this? This has saved so much time. <laughs> or you've never used a pair of, you know, a scales to weigh cooking ingredients. And it, or your cooking's always a bit dodgy. Too much bicarb, too much this, that, and the other. And then you get a pair of scales. You're like, right, that is a game changer. And it's going to save you food poisoning. This is amazing. Right. Oh, I've got three of them. This these. is going to go nuts. So Just, This is, oh, this is honestly, Neary, this is going to go nuts. Oh, gosh. Okay, graphics are live. Best of luck. Um, this is going to go nuts. Um, Debbie, this is, I, oh gosh, now, this is going to go crazy. You need crazy. this for so many reasons. Go on. You need this to know yours, your family and friends ring sizes for when yep. you make their jewellery. It looks so professional when someone Doesn't comes to Doesn't it just? For a bespoke commission or comes to your stall and goes, what ring size am I? And oh. you get this out and go, well, let's see, shall we? And they think, wow, she's really professional. So yep. if you're not a metalsmith, if you just sell rings, um, or you need, I had one of these before I even made jewelry because I needed to know what, my fingers change, they do, don't they? Yeah, like, absolutely. As you get older, your joints change and your fingers change. Uh, one thing I would say about this is when you're using it, the rule that I, mm. I stick by is you should be able to put it on and then wiggle it off. So it shouldn't like smoothly go on and off because then it'll probably be too big. Go. So I always want to put the loop on and then wiggle it, it off. So that yeah. is a size, let me just see, that is a size seven. I see, oh, I see, oh, this is really cool. Look at this, sorry, um, we're not done, by the way. Um, so uh, look at this, so you've got here, is this going to work for me? Please work for me. So look, if I show you this, you've got a size, okay, this goes from large to small. Let's start off with the small. You've got size eight there, you probably can't see that there. Then you've got the next size up, which is still an eight, but an eight with a little dash. Uh -huh. Then you've got the next size up, which, which is still a size eight, but an eight with two dashes. Then you're into a size nine. And then you have a size nine, but with one dash. Yeah. Then a size nine with two dashes. That is so cool. That is brilliant. 
That is absolute. Oh, I love that. Different times of the day, your fingers can be yeah, slightly different. Yeah, and if different. it's hot or if it's cold. Absolutely. I mean, this is ideal to work I with your this. mandrel. Four ninety nine. Oh my gosh! Got two ring sizes from Jome over the years. One is metal, and I've got this plastic one. Something else. I this is great for transporting. Invaluable. Yes. Because it's not heavy. Yeah. If you're going to a craft fair, you don't need something else heavy, do you? Look at everyone coming through to get this. It's absolutely brilliant. Isn't that just fantastic? You are going to use that again and again and again. Also, this is the kind of thing, you know, because it's plastic as well, you know, your metal ones, yeah, it's going to be more heavier, but it's got maybe a little bit more, I, I, I don't know, but the plastic one, literally have that on the front of your, um, on the front of your craft stall. You know, you can, you can measure your own finger. You can, you know, they're all kind of divided up into different sizes, the rings, aren't they? And you choose whichever ring you like. Gorgeous. How wonderful is that? My, um, my couple are on my essential tools thing on my desk and yep. I hang it off a nail because I'd get it off all the time to measure rings. Absolutely. And... That's just brilliant, isn't it? Four ninety nine. Well done, everybody. Um, we've got to move on. We've still got two, th two more things to do. Ring bending pliers. Now, is that these? No. That's not that. Yeah, half round pliers. Basically, oh gosh, you... I have got oh my word, a is. row of tools that I use all the time. Essential tools there oh, and the non-essential tools there. This is on my essential tool rack. And the reason is they make a circle. So, so this part is round. Rounded and this part is flat. This part oh, is rounded. Oh my gosh. This part is flat. And you know when you're making a ring and you put it round the mandrel and you've got your circle and you know on the ends are never quite, they stick out, don't they? Well, I always use this. So if you look at the end of, of this, make sure that you've got the round part away from you. And as you, I'm going to try and get it sideways. There we go. As you work, it goes round. So that it makes, and if you keep going, that will make a full circle. So it actually makes your ends, you could, if you don't have a ring mandrel, you could make a circle with these pliers. Um, and with this end, I did the same. So often we'll make a ring, we'll put it around the mandrel, we'll snip it, and then when we take it off, the ends are kind of sticking up. So the main thing that I use this for oh. is just to, to curl my ends so that my two ends will meet for soldering. Lovely. I've got three pairs of these because I use them all the time. I bet you do. That's, they're absolutely brilliant, aren't they? How fantastic. Your price point's coming in. There's loads of people coming through to get these. This is great for kind of finishing off that little shape, just those so tiny little adjustments. They're called ring bending pliers, but what they actually are are half round pliers. Yeah. They are a workshop essential for any person working with wire because you can make mm. um, circles. So with both pliers, you'll go like that, you'll get a right angle, won't you? Yes. With, with these pliers, when you turn, you get a gradual circle. So if you keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, you'll get a circle. So very useful for wire workers as well as metal smiths as well. Anybody who wants to manipulate wire, these are incredible. Six ninety nine. Oh, wow, that's good. Six ninety nine. Go, go, go. And as Debbie says, you know, Debbie makes a lot... Uh, you know, makes a lot of uh, jewellery and these are on her essentials, you know, part of her essential kind of um, um, uh, kind of collection of yeah. tools. Uh, we do have one more tool to bring you, which <sighs> is going to sell out in seconds, just so you're aware. One minute to close. OK, one minute to close. I am amazed we've got any of these. Um, uh, we can't have many Ping. of these. Sold out. Ping. Literally <laughs> magic wand. Uh, so uh, we've got we've got one more. Uh, oh, Look, there's loads of people coming through, but we... Oh, OK. Right. This is coming up, the mandrel. Um, just prepare yourselves. It's going to go absolutely crazy. You know why way. this is, is a great tool? And even take away whether you work with metal or not. The amount of people that might come to your stall or come to you and say, oh, I want a ring. Well, what finger do you want it on? This one. What size is it? Don't know. Don't know. So you can take a ring that fits on that finger. You can pop it on this... Mandrel, you've got UK sizes and US sizes, and it will tell you very, very precisely. Yeah, it's a half a size. It is half a size. Yeah. What size your ring is? So, if you're using your ring stretcher, I would always recommend that you make sure that you know what size your ring is, so you're not stretching it too much. So, if I was looking at that, and then I put it on my ring stretcher, I do it gradually, put it back on, I can see if it's stretched a little bit. If it hasn't, I might add a little bit more pressure to my ring stretcher to stretch it a bit more. So this is your gauge as to how much you need 
to stretch your ring if you've got your ring stretcher. This is an essential tool if you haven't got one to have with your ring stretcher. It's the only way you're going to know how much you're stretching it. It, give, it gives you, uh, by the way, UK and US sizes. It does. Which is invaluable. You've got um, UK and US. There's only 60 of these. Oh. Yeah, because this is, what is it? Game changer. Game changer. The fact that it's metal <laughs> as well. Now, the fact that it's metal is amazing. Um, the, the other metal ones that we've done in the past have had the have had the numbers and the letters etched into the side, which is great, but after you use your mandrel for a long, long time, they are going to wear off. Slightly. And also... And you can't hammer onto the plastic and wooden ones. I wouldn't want to hammer onto this. I'd want to keep this really nice. Mm, um, because absolutely. if you look at what happens... Oh, when, when you make, what a mess. That's, you know, that's... This is to measure accurately. If you're going to start hammering it, you're going to mess with the accuracy. I wouldn't yep. be able to see exactly how much I'm stretching or reducing a ring. This, this is, is so cool. Unique. I love this. I've no idea what this is going Price to. Price is unbelievable. Ding! Uh, Hello, Amora. Metal. Six ninety nine. Guardian Leviosa. Leviosa, not Leviosa. Have we got uh, one? Six ninety nine. Uh, no, we got sixty. Oh, that's no. it. Sixty. Um, I'll be honest with you, this was, uh, we, we bought this, it was accidentally launched on our website, which is why there's only 60 chances available. <laughs> oh, like the end of it, that's Our, our cool eagle-eyed well. viewers. Yeah. Oh, they did it. It's a trick. <laughs> Literally, go. Six ninety nine. Well done, so everybody. So if you did get the ring stretcher and you haven't got one of these... Yeah. You need one because you can accidentally... If you stretch a ring too much, you will break it. So I would say half a size to one size is a comfortable... Um, stretch without having to you know take metal out and do it all properly yeah and this you can show really really accurately to half a size to the millimeter how much your ring is stretching there's only 10 of these left you need turn left um absolutely amazing well done <sighs> incredible now got too excited yeah do you know what it is it is it is but it's a game changer I'm going to get the Ooh. ring gripper. Have we got some left? The ring gripper. There's still some of the ring gripper left. Not many. Nine left. Um, yeah. You get eight pegs. I, what is this little ring for? Is this just for packaging? Is yeah. this packaging? The little um, ring is just packaging. It makes sure that you don't lose your pegs. You don't just get four, by the way. You get eight. You get eight. Yeah, that is so cool. I love that. That is just absolutely brilliant. So if you've brilliant. just joined us as well, just to remind you, I know I'm obsessed with the handle coming off. No, it's great. But you know that if the handle comes off, you can put it in your vice. It gives you so much more opportunities of what you can do with it. See. Yeah, absolutely. And um, uh, not just for gripping rings or earrings or whatever it might be, uh, <laughs> but if you want to hold something still, if you are going to be painting a small yeah. object model or a making. model, or if you're going to be gluing something really, really finely, you need to hold something really nice and still then um yeah amazing 19.99 nine left uh that's it that's absolutely brilliant well done everybody and um, just incredible um i hope you well got done. what you wanted do you know what and debbie thank you so much your your knowledge and your passion for all of these tools is just great well i just love them <laughs> they're great i really want to be with you next time we do sand casting i really oh me just, too i um, love don't anneal a ring with stones in Unless they can stand the heat. Yeah. So usually, no, you wouldn't have to. And you know sometimes when the bottom of your ring goes flat because you've been wearing it for yes. ages. Yes. It's not necessarily um, you too to small. Anneal. You've just kind of... So no, oh, you've just anneal. squished it. Don't anneal because if you've got stones in that can't take the heat unless you know they can. Yeah, then they'll crack. The ring gauge and mandrel are both essentials when doing craft fairs. Yes. And it's very professional. Yeah, Agreed. there you go. Uh, they're absolutely brilliant, aren't they? Um, yeah, you've got your gauge, you've got your, yeah, you've got your mandrel. They're absolutely brilliant. Well done. Um, just brilliant to have your company today. Thank you so much. We did say that was going to be an amazing masterclass. Hour. Thank you so much for your support. Please have a, have a look on our website, jewelrymaker.com. See what we've been uh, bringing you for the last hour and throughout the entire show. There's the early bird if you want to get it. The black root I caught. So it looks like there may be one or two left if you want to get that, Debbie. I know oh, you good. Well, I do you? want to get that. They're gorgeous. Oh, there's one wandering stretcher left if you want to get it. Keep checking because sometimes, the, you know, it doesn't go through, does it? Yep, things do come out of baskets, so just add them on. Or put it order. on your wish list. Yes, put it on the wish list, definitely. Thank you so much for joining us. Please make sure you join Hobby Maker uh, after the break. They've got a fantastic afternoon. Gorgeous colours, beautiful. There's some beautiful pieces. Oh, my gosh, look at all of that detail. Thank you so much. You've been amazing. <laughs> okay. We'll see you the other side of this for a fantastic afternoon on Hobby Maker.